<laughs> Very witty, Tom. Very witty. Oh! Oh! oh. Hello, welcome, friend. everybody. Yes, welcome. It's poker time. It's that time of year. I look forward to it, Tom. I know you do, too. Oh. Because we get to sit and watch some of the finest yogs play some of the finest poker the, here. You'll ever see. Towers. Oh, or here or anywhere, indeed. Uh, I realize we are a little late, and for that we apologize, but we wanted to make it technical issue free this year and that oh. is the yogs cast guarantee a yogs cast guarantee yeah. um it's going to be a very special special uh game game today a series of games <laughs> many games oh i am very excited to see how this all goes i've i've been spending the last couple of days obviously people get oddly enough people get quite um not anxious mm. not trepidatious mm. But uh, anticipatory mm. of the, the, the poker stream. They, they look forward to it. And in a weird way, because they know I'm going to be watching with the eyes of a hawk, oh. uh, looking at their plays and studying them, they always say to me, Period, I haven't done any studying or learned anything, and I haven't played since last time. Uh, I'm sorry. They get that in there nice and early. Okay, yeah, yeah. You've got to yeah. set the expectations low. Very low. Real low. Uh, the thing is, I, I don't think they understand that I have zero expectations going in. I'm not expecting, as should none of us should be, in fact, mm. top, top poker play. Many of these people have never played before, barely played before. Some of the people that played, I said, how have you done this year? And they said, you know, in terms of learning poker, and they're like, nothing. I read an article two days ago, or my friend sent me a big Discord message and I couldn't read it, so I just didn't bother. That's where we're at. So going in, low expectations. But there's no wheel boy this year. What? I know. He's back Good. in the basement. He's been, he's been out a lot lately. He's, I, you'd always say that he's being worn out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you'd always uh, say... Uh, One could say that. That uh, maybe that, that throwaway joke has gone a step too far. Yes. That... that, that uh, that, that may have reached uh, the limit. Uh, Wheel Dad, I think, had some, some legs, but uh, Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. It's, it's just we can't just base the entirety of every content piece we put out around Wheel Boy. Yeah. Because they, it's a little much after a while, you know what I mean? Wheel Boy, we had him for one Dota game. That was 45 minutes uh, of, of Wheel Boy. It's just a bit much after a while, isn't it? Oh. I just having to do a stream for three hours with him. That's Wheel Boy. <laughs> Yikes. So basically, we killed Wheel Boy. Uh, and we burned him, so you're never going to see him again. Happy Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Cheers Happy to that. Happy Christmas. Uh, so, this whole stream, it is just poker o'clock. And uh, what they are all fighting for today is a very generous donation mm. from Displate. Yes, indeed. Do, uh, I, do I hold these up at any point? Uh, yeah, if you want to uh, just hold up hold up the whole stack. I will hold up the stack. And you can just display. slowly just go through. And I will reveal them. Just go through talk. a couple of them. You get the old man to do the heavy lifting. Uh, <sighs> I've got the strong man to do oh, the heavy lifting. Well, well done. Uh, so they've donated $50,000 $50, to the winner's table, uh, where the, whoever wins the overall tournament is going to choose $20,000 to go to... Uh, a charity of their choice. Yep. Second place gets $10,000 to go to a charity of their choice. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. Crack on. And then uh, everyone else that takes part in the winner's table. Uh, so that was one of the ones that Simon selected uh, for... Cat titties. ...display to send to him. Uh, he was very hot for the... Who's, which classy bugger wanted a Matisse? And who wanted the original Batman logo? Look, there's a real, there's a real range of different stuff on uh, that's on for, this place. for young Bond, surely, or for yourself, perhaps. Um, that's very cool. I would have that one. Yes, I would have that. One. Absolutely. Are you Ugh. sure you weren't tempted by the cat girl? Let me have a look at the cat titties. You know, just not a real person, so that kind of counts against it in my book. Hang that up in your office. No, I don't really like cats, and that's not a real person. So I'm going to say no. Mm. Pass. That's a good pass. Yeah. Uh, so a big, a big thank you to what? Display for sponsoring this. We got uh, game hand number one is almost underway, Tom. Oh, okay. Well, let's crack straight in. Let's um, crack straight into and it and find out who's even playing today. Oh, the card reader has already thrown a hissy fit. Excellent. This was working fine when we tested it. I am not even kidding. Uh, don't even worry. You know, it's your cost guarantee. It's all fine. I guaranteed no technical issues, Tom. And as anybody knows, the PFLAX guarantee 
genuinely is a guarantee of quality. Well, you did give a yours cost guarantee. That's and true. And yours cost guarantee is pretty, pretty loosey goosey. That's true. I tell uh, you what, I'm going to give a P flat guarantee. They're going to be starting in a moment. That I think we can. We, we can, can trust say. That guarantee. Um, and so, do you even know who is in the first game? Yes. By their hands, I can see Ozzy. And I think I saw Duncan. And I believe Lulu. Right. Uh, and perhaps Mayhap. Okay. Oh, look at Dav has come as any Welsh lad. So. Just <laughs> some lad straight out of the valley. Bree has come as... Now, I said that he looked like Ricky Gervais when he was having his pop career in the 80s. Okay. He's coming as a kind of new romantics thing going on. Or a vampire, depending on what you want. Ozzy has come as... Is she she has a banana. Is that a monkey costume? Is she Donkey Kong? She could be. Uh, L Lewis is Waluigi. Is that not Waluigi? That is Waluigi. Okay. And uh, Xylus is just Happy Christmas Xylus, I it's think. It's just a Christmas Xylus. She's monkey. Okay. Oh, I see. We have a flop. It's a deuce, a nine, and an eight. We don't know what anybody's cards are, but that just adds to the intrigue. Just adds just a little bit of excitement to what's going on. Uh, so... What are they even playing? What is this? They're playing poker, and looks like the first hand is going the way of Lewis Brindley of the Yogs cast. Okay. He's, he's bet some money, and everybody else folded, and he has swept the pot. The early pots... Um, so this is a very fast blind tournament. Uh, the stacks are 2,000 chips, and the blinds, I think, start off at 25 and 50, and then they go up, depending on how we're doing for time, we ramp them up. I've given them a ramp up option and a let's slow down a little bit option. Um, so it's either, you know, slower and deeper or faster and more powerful, depending on how uh, we want the poker to go. Uh, and then the green chips are worth 25. The black chips are worth 100. The red chips are worth 500. And if we should need them, Thomas, there is the backup. 1,000 chip value chip, which is, which is white. Ooh. Uh, so everybody's getting their cards back on the reader. They're okay. thinking. One, two. There. That's it. They're discussing it. And now they can all take their cards off the reader because this is working better this year. Uh, reminder for anybody about the rules of poker. This is no yeah. limit how, Texas Hold'em. How does, how does poker even work? I don't understand. Is it a bit like Snap? It, I suppose it is. <clears throat> and then it is a card game. And you are looking for other cards that match your own or form a sequence with the cards that you have in your hand. So you are dealt two cards. These are called your whole cards. And you'll see in the middle of the board there where it says the Yogg's cast displayed, that is, that is the community cards. So five cards will eventually be dealt in there, assuming the hand doesn't end early because everybody's given up. And you then make the best five card hand with the two cards in your hand and the five cards in the middle. So you are looking for, let's say I have ace king. I would like to see aces and kings coming out into the community area and hope that my opponent has either a weaker ace, like maybe they have ace queen and I have ace king and then I have the more powerful kicker. Uh, or that I can get them all of the same suit, or that I can get a, a straight a sequence like five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that my hand will be better than my opponent's, but not so much better that they don't think I reckon I'm good here and put money in. So you never want your opponents to have nothing. You want your opponents to have just less than you. That's how you win in the game of poker. Um, when do you untap your cards? You untap your cards for mana in the upkeep phase. Right, okay. I believe. Is that correct? Is that correct magic terminology? Yeah. yeah the beginning of the upkeep phase there, is when you un untap, untap your, your, so your do lands. You, does that happen in poker as well? It should. I would like to see a magic poker synergy where you can summon Gabnor, the god of Ace of Diamonds. Gabnor? Gabnor. Instantly on board with Gabnor. <laughs> Big fan. Okay, this is poker lore that I didn't, didn't yeah, understand. Well, I didn't want to get, to, I didn't know how deep you wanted to go. But yeah, Gabnor's so got a lot of lore. Is there a chance that we may accidentally summon Gabnor? Uh, <laughs> well, we f fingers crossed we don't. But he uh, is the god of the Ace of Diamonds. Uh, I suppose that uh, that we, we could go down that road and, and summon Gabnor. But for tonight, let's take it easy. They're just beginners after. Okay. Wow, Gabnor, <laughs> live in fear, Gabnor is coming, we are going to see him eventually. Oh mighty Gabnor, spare us! Wow, I think it's uh, if Gabnor comes down um, on the be. river, right, that's the, the first sign that, that Gabnor's on his way. Yes. Are we going to get a look at the graphics at any point and see what people's cards? Oh, uh, we will be there soon. I did coming. offer a Yogscast guarantee that counteracted the PFLAX guarantee, hmm. which means that, of course, we have run into some trouble. But just know this. 
a king of spades, a ten of hearts, and a, a tray of diamonds um, have been dealt. Lewis has played every hand so far, and I believe has won every pot so far. So let's see, there's a little two hundo bet from Zylus. His arms are folded, he's leaning back, and he's saying, go ahead, test me. Let's see what Lewis comes up with. While Luigi checks his cards, he's folding. So someone's called. I believe that's Bree has called. Let's have a look. I reckon I reckon Zylus has king ten. He, he's seen the jack. He hasn't reacted. I think he's worried that Bree was chasing uh, some something there, some kind of straight or something. But we'll see. I could. I just got a read on Zaris's face. He said, "Did he say all in or I check?" He said, "I check." And Bree has bet. It looks like another two hundred. Okay. <clears throat> Zaris calls. It's a quick call. It's a seven of clubs. That probably doesn't help anybody. It doesn't help any of the hands. Um, if a seven isn't going to get you there if you weren't there already. So we might have a little bet from Bree, a little value bet from Bree. Another 200. Silas might just call him here. Someone's got a king. Someone's got a 10. He's thinking. Is he thinking about raising it? Or is he thinking about calling? He's raised it. He's raised it to 500. And Bree has called. Let's have a look, gentlemen. Okay. I reckon someone's got king 10 and someone's got king jack. 9, 10, 6, 7. Oh. So it goes to Xylus with the pair of 10s? Why was I even trying to commentate like this was real poker, Tom? <laughs> Why was I giving them any credit for any hands at all? Bree had nothing. He, he bluff called, the classic bluff call. He had it's a, a Yogg's Cast pair Poker of classic. Sevens, right? Only on the end. Uh, well. So he's calling with 6 7. Nothing is coming. And then he hits his seven, miracle seven on the end, gives him fourth pair, I think. Oh. <sighs> so who do you think is, uh, who's your money on in this starting team? Uh, I hate to say it, because I know what he'll think of me, but I would say Lewis Brindley, but my money might be on Young Dav. Really? He's just got the, the heart of cards, pity, and the heart of the cards. That's he, a he does love it. Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. But that is also a card game. Is it called The Heart of the Cards? No, uh, that's what they say. Oh, really? Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Heart of the Cards. Okay, You're I like, see that's a reference I can imagine Dav making. He is younger. So my mates were telling me about Yu-Gi-Oh! It sounds insane. There's, uh, there's a card where it's like a giant dude who has a dragon for a dick. And I'm not even joking. That is literally one of the cards. This is a game for children? Yep. Okay. But it's, you know, cartoon dragon for a dick. Oh, sure. Like all anime. So that's fine. Don't worry, parents. It's fine. Zork. Zork? That's his name. Look, I'll, I'll show you on this like side uh, side thing. And so you, I'll let you see <laughs> if you think this is appropriate for kids. Uh, here you go. It's Zork. Zork Necrophades. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's... I don't know what the hell that is. That is something. That is something. Get it off my monitor. <laughs> we got a four-way pot here, I think. Or oh, maybe it's just three-way. It's hard to tell who's oh, folded. We have icons. We uh, do. We, we have graphics. Stuff. Duncan's got pocket sixes, apparently. He's raised it. And we've got ace-deuce. The board has come down 798, all spades. Uh, Xylus has top pair and a gut shot to the straight draw. Is Ozzy in the hand? I don't think she is. But she's on the... She has a king high flush. Is she still in? Uh, can we... She's got her cards up by the banana. So, all right, Ozzy has flopped second nuts. Actually, third nuts. What Sorry, is poker fan. third nuts? N the nuts, in this case, would be 7, 8, 9, 10, jack of spades. The best hand. Cannot be beaten. Flop the nuts, right? Um, the second nuts would be um, five, six of spades mm -hmm. to give you five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've got the lower end of the spade. Okay. She has fourth nuts. I take it back. Okay. All right. We, we get it. We get it. Um, the uh, third nuts would be the ace high flush, which would be like ace plus any card that were both spades. So your flush is ace high. Right, okay. And the fourth nuts, therefore, would be the king high flush. Chat, I'm very sorry if that's incorrect, but on the flop, those would be the nuts. Uh, so there is the flop right there. Jack eight. Oh, so now 
T pair of eights is also potentially out there, but we don't have that. We have a pair of sixes. Duncan's folded. He didn't make a full house, so he's now... He's done. Did tell me Ozzy didn't fold. She didn't fold. I think can she's hundred percent. Can we get that screen on this screen? Because uh, the cameras stop us being able to see the cards. Yeah. Um, I think it'd just be easier. Yes. The the main monitor on this smaller monitor instead of the, the table shot because obviously thinking about it now this is much more makes much more sense. Mm. Uh, I think so. Yeah. This is actually an interesting one. Xylus does have two pair, but the king high flush takes it. What on O's? Okay, perfect. Uh, so OC won the hand? She did. She had the king high flush, flopped it, got paid off a little bit. I'm not sure how much she made, but she made a decent amount. Very. She's still in the game. Very good. Uh, how big are there? Stacks? What do you call? What do you stacks. call? Stacks. It's stacks. Yep. The chip stacks. Uh, I think Lewis is the chip leader, then OZ. Oh, maybe Xylus is now because you have that big pot with Bree. Once we get the graphics back, we shall see the chip stacks. But um, there we go. So uh, OZ, OZ is now the, the runaway leader with 4.5k. Duncan and Bree have seemingly lost a lot of their chips. Yes, yes. Bree lost a lot of them to Xylus. Duncan lost a lot of them just then, I think. And Xylus, I think, won some and then gave it all back to OZ. <clears throat> Lewis was doing some blind stealing, which is why he's only got 2,200. Winning those early hands, if you're playing a short format tournament like this, Tom, you don't want to hit big cards early. You don't want to hit your hit your cards early because you, you'll generally, over a long enough tournament, everybody gets a run of cards. Okay. So you've got to ride that wave and try and get paid out as much as you can. Let's say that I've been playing it fairly steady, Eddie, and then I suddenly hit all my big cards. People are going to say, wow, he's been a nit, which means he's been a very tight player for ages. Now, suddenly, he's spunk of money around like uh, like uh, uh, Zork. Like Zork would. Like Zork the mm, dragon, right? Yeah. So, you know, they'd, they'd be careful. So you want to play, but when you do hit your big hands, people will stop giving you credit for having a decent hand. The third time, you're like, well, okay. I'm all in. They're like, bullshit, and they'll call you, and you're like, meh, I just happened to be on a great run, and now I have all your chips. Xylus is going to go to town here with King Queens. Lewis has Jack 10. Ozzy with the Ace, ace 8. Bree 9 10. So Duncan and Dav's hands are the only hands here you wouldn't really want to play in any situation. They're kind, kind of garbs. So they have both folded out. They have indeed folded. Bree might just bang it all in here. He's raised it to 500. Bree wants to go home. Uh, why would he keep hold of just 250 if he's raising to 500? Uh, actually, sorry, he was getting change. Okay. He's called 300, which is a half of his stack. At this point, Bree, you should just bang it in. There is no, there is no calling when it's for half your stack. Uh, Ozzy's thinking. I think she's mucked. She's folding the ace eight. A good move. The dead man's hand. Get it out. Lewis also fell, so we got King Queen against 9-10. Doesn't play that well. Suited King Queen is much stronger than 9-10 unsuited, but we shall see. Two over cards makes him uh, odds odds on to win this hand. And there is a four, a two, and a four. Uh, no clubs. No. No. Spades. Spades. No yep. Spades to help. You got it. Uh, Xylus out. Bree. It's kind of just hot garbage at this stage. He's Hollywooding, but he's going to do it. He's going to go all in. Bree is going to be your first first exit from the tournament here, I believe. Oh, <clears throat> do you think? I mean, Xylus has whiffed. He hasn't hit anything. And he's going to put Bree on like a small pair or something. And he's going to think, God, you've got a two, haven't you? And now I'm drawing. But he's going to call. He's going to call. He's going to look him up. He should. It's not for much. The pot is like 14, the pot is 1,500. So even if Xylus folds, I think he, he still wins some money, I think. I don't know why he said the split there. That was a bit of an odd one. I, I don't see how it's a split pot. Let's have a look. Turn him over. It is not looking pretty. It's a nine and a 10 versus a king and a queen. Bree needs a nine or a 10 Ooh. to win. And there's a king has just come out. So, so GG. Bree is going home. There's no way no. that... Bree can win. Absolutely the worst poker at the table yet played. So 
Duncan will be following him soon. Okay, well, he maybe has set a new speedrunner's uh, record <laughs> at leaving the table or focus. Any percentage lose, uh, get out. Yeah, that was a, that was like hand four, or hand five, maybe hand seven, but I don't think we were into double digits for hands yet. So very, very poor from Bree. Okay. Disappointed. Got all dressed up for Nout. Wow. On your bike, son. Wow, wow, wow. Um, well, you know, we're, we've got to make up some time. We're running a little bit late, and so let's just get them out of there. You're right. You know, we've got to start picking them off. I don't know what he was thinking. Cull the weak. You know, what's the what's the thing? You have to keep the herd alive. Yes, you must. But, Cull um, the weak. Get them out. The herd must be strong. And we are all as a species now stronger. The Bree has been disintegrated, as you can see on your screens. Okay. Wow. So uh, Duncan's gonna go to town here with King Ten, but Xylus is waiting ooh, with Ace King, and Lewis has Ace Jack. Ooh. This sounds amazing. This feels like they are going to be clashing into each other like rams in rutting season. <sighs> Just picture that. Imagine the smell, the musk, <laughs> oh. the odor of rams in rutting season, cracking heads. And that is just a fraction of the smell that is currently coming out of that room. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure when Duncan last watched that onesie, but... Snorlax, as a character, doesn't strike me as a laundry doer. No. He's too busy snoozing. Also, uh, not a lot of self self cleaning. Wow, Duncan is all in. Yeah, Duncan is all in. He has to be. He is, however, dominated uh, by Xylus with the Ace King, because this means that even if he hits one of his kings, Xylus has the better kicker with the Ace. Right. So he's basically he has one live card. They say live cards means cards that if you hit, it gives you a chance to win. Um, so I believe Lewis is also involved in this hand. So they've both called Duncan. The smart thing to do here is for the two bigger stacks to just check it down, get rid of him, and level up in the tournament. But I don't know if they're going to do that. Top two go through, I believe, to the grand final might be the format. There Ooh, is a 10. An 8, a 7, a 10, and a 9. We'll get Bree in after this hand. Uh, so that is a 10. So Duncan is going to double up if neither of them hits. Oh, there's Lewis's Jack. Wow. But what does the board say, Tom? The board says, you know, just everyone's having fun and doing a great job. It says seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack, baby. That's a split pot. That is a split pot. Everybody has the straight. This is a disaster for Duncan. Seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. Everybody gets back. A f well, you've got a, probably a side pot. I don't know if there's a side pot. I don't know if Lewis and Xylus have put any more money in. Divvy it up, chop it up three ways, baby. Oh, no. Well, okay. Well, now's a great time to get Brie in because this is going to take them probably about 45 minutes to work out. Well, the, get, the, the hand is still live, so there's a oh. chance that one of them decides to try to bet the other off it here. They are discussing. Can we listen on their table chat just quickly, please, TJ? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they both just have this straight. So now he divvies it up. They've all got a straight. Uh, okay, let's get uh, Bree in and have a little chat with him yeah. while uh, they sort this out. So sorry, Lewis, of course, made the straight on the turn. Seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. Bree, grab a chair, slide it in here, yeah, yeah, and be prepared yeah. to defend yourself. I've got no defense. Well, I've got one defense. No, no, right the way over here. Oh, all the way up to there. So yeah, yeah. Sorry. This side. Um, um, that I think he's saying, actually, go sit over there. Sorry, that's my bad. I've misdirected you. No, you still need to squeeze onto your camera. <sighs> here, you can uh, shimmy on in. Shimmy. Crap, ah, shimmy. Ah, ow. Really oh, the earring. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, them one as well, that has the headphones. Yeah, you might have to squeeze a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be with you in a moment. Just uh, do please. I mean, I can just hold it like this. I, I don't need to put them onto here. Oh, yeah, sleep, that's, no, so yeah, that's okay. It's not like we're really listening to anything. Yeah. Uh, so, did you, did you have a fun time? Um, not really. I feel like I've, I've massively let down, well, November, because I was going to champion them. But I've left OC in charge of that at the very least. So Amazing. Hopefully. With her really early flush, that she can like just take that home and then 
get into the final table and take some money back from November. Very. That is the only shining diamond in what was a terrible, awful, awful series of events. Oh. Well, you, you're owning it, and I yeah. admire that. You're not trying to say, well, I this, that, and the other, and I was no, trying to make I a move. No, I had no right to be in that hand with Xylus. I maybe, like Lewis is right, I could have bullied him off it. And then... I don't know, once... it is Xylus, and he is pig-headed when it comes you know, to Pokemon. The man a bit, he is a bit. clings on like a terrier to a mouse's tail. Yeah, and then for the second hand, the only thing I had is that the Nine of Diamonds came up again, and I felt like I just had to play it all the okay, more. Well. And... If it wasn't for that king, it would have worked because of the last nine. It was very close. But I mean... Yeah. Well, know, you played poorly and you are our first Exeter. But fear not, we thank you for your time and for your effort. Thank you, thank uh, you, thank you. Can we also oh, just reveal the... Um, <laughs> Total absence of just, shirt? It's like, just the flex. Of... It's, not, it's not a real shirt. <laughs> it's not a real shirt. It's, 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 it's not, not a real shirt. It's a bit. He actually yeah. lost, <laughs> lost the shirt off his back. That's how, how brutal. That's how poker wins every now and then. That's <laughs> my favourite part. Favorite <laughs> uh, thank you so very much, Bree. Thank, thank you. Until, Until next time. Adieu. Until next time. Until Adieu. next year. Because I will not be in the final table definitely. <laughs> so, Duncan in here with a pocket fives. Uh, Ozzy has called with Jack Deuce. Uh, Xylus with the ace jack, he's been hit some cards. Dav has had nothing. And when we get him in here, when he gets knocked out in fourth, I just didn't have any cards for him. I didn't have any cards. It's just, uh, you know, it's just going so fast that the veins are going up. I just didn't have any cards. Uh, Dav has faulted. He had to, he has queen five. It's not a good hand. So do you think Daff is out next? No, I think it will probably be Duncan out soon because even if he doubles up here i think zas is going to look him up and this is the classic race where it's an under pair against two high cards uh these odds are oh wait a second sorry the the flops come down so he's all in so there's is there a side pot i think ozzy and xylus are just checking this down just trying to get him out okay sorry i didn't see that the flop had happened there's a seven at the moment He's uh, Duncan is sitting pretty. Um, he just needs to dodge an ace or a jack uh, or a nine. Because if the nine comes down, it'll give them both the straight and they'll oh. split the pot. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, TJ. It's an ace. Xylus gets his pad. Xylus gets there in the end. Is out. Yeah. He's going to bet. Ozzy can't look this up. Don't call. Please don't call. Please, please don't call. Silas does the bet. OC must know she doesn't have anything here. Fold. Oh. She folds, thank God. Look at that shrewd player. <laughs> Duncan was good until the river. Shows his little fives. Oh. And he got there on the river. Brutal. So yes, I believe that young Dav will be our next Exeter. Can you be an Exeter? Exeter, yeah. I mean, Exeter's a place. Yeah, it's I a know place. That. You can be an Exeter. You can be in Exeter. That's true. Uh, I think I played in a Blood Bowl tournament in Exeter once. Did you? <laughs> like, many years ago. <laughs> yeah. Come to Exeter and play some Blood Bowl, Tom. <laughs> you know, it was fun. It was nice enough. It was in, like, a community center. Yeah, I think an Exeter. Good point. An Exeter. Much like a Brexiteer. An Exeter. Makes it sound like a musketeer. More, makes it sound a little cavalier. Mm. Uh, so we'll be joined by Duncan very soon. Yeah. These people are playing hard and fast. Hard and fast and, and loose with the rules. I love that. Um, if you would like to take a seat, there is an extra long headset for you to put on and Hi. Just wheel towards me. Oh, oh. Young Look, Snorlax. This young, oh, God. Sweet young boy. I'm honestly glad because. Fucking hell, is this thing hot? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm dying in it. Don't let you stink out in here. Oh, 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 that's oh. The, 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 the Snorlax <laughs> musk. The rams in rutting. We'll have a female Snorlax running in here any second. Oh, um, oh, I can keep going. So There's that a lot did not more go well. Here. You got rivered there, but um, I did get rivered. I had, I, I. There was a hand prior. You lost a lot of chips. I had to go for the straight flush. Okay. I had to do it. Because if it come up, it would have been fucking amazing. I see. And I had an open end of straight flush, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it. And, and it didn't uh, come up, and I lost all my chips. Indeed. And that's how it goes. 
But that if it had indeed. come up, imagine how cool that would have been. It would have been, been cool. cool. But that's why people don't chase those, because of course... I it know, really but does. this is a fun, quick game, and is I thought, it? why not? I've got five I, more I hours thought, of this, why Duncan. not? And I, res now, I respect yeah. And now I, I've yet to see a play that really uh, makes me happy. Oh, yeah. I feel like OC has played very, very solidly so far. Yeah, she's played solidly. She flopped a flush and made money off it. Which is good. And she has folded out of hands that true. she true. Uh, did not need to be part of. It's a true truism. Which a lot of people, <laughs> they don't. Yeah, yeah, mm. Right. Right. Yeah, so I just... Oh, just play for fun. You, Fuck you, it. I think you did great. And now right. I don't have to come back at like nine o'clock. Indeed. Now <laughs> you get so true. <laughs> it's so true. In that regard, well played, sir. Well uh, played. Just get out as soon as you can. All right. Just... I'm going to go and get out of this fucking sweat machine. All right. But... Uh, amazing. Thanks, guys. Have Thank fun. You so Cheers. much. Have a great rest of your evening. So Dav took down a pot there, uh, which he needed because he, as far as I could tell, hadn't won one yet. Had King 10 suited oh, and managed good, to... Good job to Dav. Well done, Dav. You know. He's well done, great. well done, we dev. Uh, while they're doing this, let's read some donations. Oh, um, how do I turn this bad boy on? Uh, if you just do a click, uh, more I can clear it off. Oh, there we go, I got it. Uh, from Elg, love the poker stream. Thank you for over a decade of entertainment and for making a solid Christmas tradition. Greetings from Norway, and I have a tiny star, 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 star. That could be anything. Oh, Garvoon, one hundred and sixty-nine. Point six nine. Hey guys, love you all. Well done, the University Challenge win. Indeed, we were superb. What is currently? Uh, oh, what do you mean we? We it were, was, we it were was a team. You. It was. It was. Big. What is currently your favorite band to listen to? What are your current favorite bands to listen to? Oh, Louis Zong. Louis Zong. Is this a joke? Not even a joke. Look him up. He does a album called Business. Okay. And uh, Louis Zong. Look it up right now. How do you now. spell it? It's on YouTube. Is it Z O N G? Louis. Yeah. Z O N G. Look, people have heard of it. Louis Zong. Yes, Louis, Louis Zong. There we Louis go. Zong. Okay. I didn't make it up. Or did I? Well, I shall look it up and I'll be presented with a um, dragon with a giant penis again or something like that. The Ghost Song. Yeah. If, yeah. You'd know him from the Ghost Song. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite band to listen to at uh, the moment? I, I really love Sam Fender at the moment. He's really, really good. The Geordie Springsteen, they call him. Big the, fan. The Geordie, the Geordie Springsteen. Springsteen. He's, okay. he's excellent. Um, Everything, Everything remained my favorite band at the moment. Um, but yeah, all kinds of stuff. I've started to go back and listen to a lot of 60s and 70s soul classics, especially those groups. Oh, okay. So like the OJs, right? Who you said people are like, hmm, do you remember um, people all over the world join hands? Yeah, I do know that song. That's the OJs. Uh, there's a ton of every. You'll hear it. You'll be like, oh, I know this song. It's the OJs. I guarantee you. They wow. were prolific and they're really, really, really good. So bands like that. Commodores and all that kind of, you know, when they do okay. the thing where they snap and and then they all turn left and then they all turn right. Okay. And I it's like, like that. that's just the stage stuff, but they're all amazing vocalists, great songwriting, real bangers. And and if you look at those, Spotify or something will be like, check out these other amazing soul acts that you've never heard of. Ooh. And I was like, oh wow, some of this is really, really good. So I'm digging oh, into that. It's a lot big back catalogue. A lot of forgotten bands. What's happening here? Dav is involved. I think Dav's making some big plays. He has a six and an ace versus a pair of sevens on Xylus. Unless he gets that ace. Or a three. Uh, oh, the three would get him a straight. Uh, he's all in for 500 and Xylus has called. Okay. Three oh, needs. Dav. Threes or aces. But anything can happen. He needs an poker. ace. Or a three, it's an eight. It's close. He is out. Dav is out. I said he'd be going out next, and I was correct. Oh, the young man, man from... sweet. He's from Cardiff, isn't he? He's from Wales. He is from Wales. Interesting. Pob E. Quim, or whatever it is they say. Hobby Quinn, a uh, kapla, yes, <laughs> yes. I too speak the language. <laughs> He's, he's out. Um, yeah, so uh, it's a speed run. We're, we're down to three. Before Impressive. you knew it. Before you knew it. We're going to get... Look at Mike's serious little face, by the way. Oh, doesn't look like fucking good. Dressed like that. I just want to take him home. <laughs> have him just, just set up a little bar and, and have him just in the corner. I want him just cleaning mugs and just be able to come over and just have a chat with him. He'd be like, how was your day, Tom, while he's cleaning the mugs? And I'd just be like, oh, oh. 
can't tell you about it. <sighs> well, you know you can always tell me anything. Oh. Can I get you a drink? Oh, yeah, give it's me a... just me cleaning a mug, but... Give me a, you know, a strong one. Get you a strong one. All right, right we are. And just... <sighs> oh! I came to, I came to return this. You came to return this. Yeah. Um, if you, you got to put, put the microphone uh, on. Yeah. And wheel a chair in. Hello, everyone. You've come as a a, a, a youth. I thought this was how you normally dress. Yeah, what do you mean? A road man. I didn't realise it was fancy dress, to be honest. So, uh, You're <laughs> looking <laughs> very lovely. I'm techno boy. I was going to be doing that, but I was too into the game. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, we can you tell up. you were really into it from from how well you played. Right. Well, I I got shit. <clears throat> I got shit cards. I did. Chat. <laughs> if anyone can remember what I said, Dad will come in and say, I got shit cards. I, I did knew. get shit cards, so I did. They were all shit. I got I, the decent ones I got then. I, I could have been a bit braver, but um, but you know what? I'm going to a rave after this, you know? So. Nice. Um, <laughs> um, how are you? Having a delightful time? It's been, it's been great. Do you want all to bring, the better for seeing you. Oh, do you want me to bring the bubbly in? It's been f chilling in the fridge. How about if Lewis gets knocked out, we have a celebratory Prosecco? That sounds mean, but yes, we will celebrate. <laughs> well, he's, look at him. He's riveted. Look at him. He is <laughs> he, super enthused. That's the face of somebody who wants to make it to the final, isn't it? Um, Ozzy's moustache as well. Oh, you you have to have a little feel of it. It feels amazing. I don't really? like fake moustaches, mm. but I will. How do you know it's fake? Oh, that's a good point. It's November. I'll ask her. It? It's good to have just prevalent hormones. Women love just... that. Is that a real moustache? <laughs> <laughs> um, did, so you won this last year. Well, you didn't give it to me. In the, there's a clip of it, and it's like, shit, yo, okay, see you later, everyone. It's like, shit, we didn't give Dab the trophy. Oh, well, well done, Dab. We'll give it to him later. Fuck. That doesn't sound like that. That's what happened. And then we, we were probably drunk. Yeah, you were. And then we did a weird ceremony where you gave me the trophy, and oh. you're doing like almost like Oh, robot. I remember that. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I drank some milk. I drank two liters of milk. Cause remember, I was a fireman who drank milk. It was a dumb yes, guy. No, that was a weird gimmick. I never fully understood it because you were like, you know, Penny and fireman, they drink milk. I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, uh, yeah. I was going to come as a milkman, but I don't know. I don't have a drinking milk. I have no memory of this whatsoever. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's a year ago. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a great time. Um, thank you. Thank Dan. you so much for taking part. You're amazing. Thank you. And thank you for all you do. All thank you. you do. Yeah. Without, without you, you're our best boy. Oh, well, thank you very much. We um, love you. The Sacco's in the fridge, if you're amazing. Thank you so very much. Bless you, young Dab. Oh. Young Dabford. Young Davy Davlington. Just what a, what a great boy. Love him. Just what a great boy. Uh, so, Lewis versus Silas. Lewis is. Silas is called. <laughs> and Lewis is all in. And Lewis is raised. Uh. Is Silas really considering this? He's looking at the camera. I know what Pidian's going to say. I know what Pyrrhon's going to say, but in his Dutch accent, so he'd be saying... Well, Zazonis doesn't have as Dutch an accent as some Dutch people I know. He, he's not like... Uh, I can't really do a Dutch accent. It's, it's, it is quite tricky. My, I can only do my friend Shiva, and she's like... Uh, <laughs> she goes, oh, oh Pyrrhon, I, I had a 10 and a 2, like that. That's how she would talk. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so it's quite interesting. Oh, do, do, you, uh, do you know uh, the only word you need to know in Swedish? Um, slut. It's not slut. Which is... It's a good one. I think uh, it means exit. End or end or, exit? Yeah, exit. Yoho. 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 Uh, and you can say it in a bunch of different ways. You can say... Uh, so you could be telling me something. I'd be like, yoho. Yoho. It's like, mm-hmm. Or you could tell me something surprising. And I'd be like, yoho. Like... <laughs> I've never heard this before. Yeah. Uh, or I could say it as in sort of... Like, no, this was not Rydian. This was not Rydian. I'll tell you who taught me this. Any Swedes in chat, <clears throat> I believe I'm correct. Your whore. You could have a whole conversation with someone. Your whore. Like that. Like, come on. Like, is it a could, bit like saying like, uh-huh? It is it is like that. But it, it, it can be used and stretched and used in so many different ways. Uh -huh. It's a wonderful word. <clears throat> Your whore. Your whore. So, yeah, that's pretty much... Thank you, Swedes. I, I learned this from the makeup uh, ladies at um, Stockholm Major. Uh, why is Lewis sad? I think he just won. Did he win? Or yes, did he, he lose? did. The chips are going towards him. Oh, because did he want to leave? I think he may have. I, I think he thought he'd been defeated, but then he hadn't. Your whore. Uh, I like it, um, puss. Puss, puss. What's that? It means kiss. Oh, <laughs> but you to say, you know, puss puss, puss, puss to someone as you leave. Your whore. They also say, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hey, hey, hey. 
<laughs> I, w- I was in a McDonald's yeah, one time, thing. and the lady went, the lady behind the counter went, hey, 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 can I that's, take your order? And I was like, enough with the haze. That's a lot of haze. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. You're hot. Oh. But oh. once you've learned it, I, I say it all the time. My wife knows that, I don't know if it's the same in Swedish, in Danish, she has a Danish colleague. Fadapt is one that they say. Fadapt. Fadapt. I Fadamped. think, like D-A-M-T. Any Danes? Is it for damped or for fen is the other thing she says. Fen? Which, Isn't fen it's a like, bad it's slur? It's like saying word. for fuck's sake. For fen. She says that's it all a the bad, time. That's a bad it's swear. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I'm pretty sure that's a bad swear. This is a family-friendly stream. We don't do a bad swear on here. Think of the children watching. Fan means fuck. It's like saying for fuck's sake, isn't it? Ah, for fen. Anyway. But what about all the Swedish children? The little kinder? The little Swedish... Uh, the Danish children... Mama, why did the bad men say Mama. Fen? Yo. Um, A6, A643. Lewis is going to make a bet. Helvetta. That's it's the not bad Danish? Swear. I was told it was Danish. I that's, apologize. That's the bad swear. You don't say Helvetta. Mm. There's a couple of really bad ones that I know that I won't say. Mama, why are you making me watch this? That would be, yeah, that would be Mama, the more important question. Mama, no. Um, Mama, please. The Vagician. <laughs> the Vagician. Wow. Okay. That's a good name. Okay. Love the addition of Simon Clark's Yogg's Challenges here in Can't Wait to See Period. Bust a nut on the terrible poker plays. Oh. Busting a nut is a good thing. I'm hating this. From Zeus. That's with a, or Zuche. Il Zuche. Been watching you guys since... Lewis and Simon's original Minecraft series. So you haven't been watching us since then, because of course we weren't in those. But the 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 uh, the sentiment is is uh, is good. Tom, you're literally the best. Will boy is a twat. Oh oh my god. Oh I lo- no name provided. No name Love provided. You. You're on. Absolutely. You're on the team. You're like you are. You're a good person. Merry Christmas from Sarah and Tom. Thank you. Sixty nine sixty nine. Saying the big lids for the win. Oh. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we've seen Lid's outfit. She looks fabulous this year. She might just dazzle the opposition. Dorak. Not with her skills, though. Greetings from Denmark. Another great year and Jingle Jam entertaining as ever. Oh, I fucked the mouse. Are you, have you fucked the mouse? Just like, just give you a little hand. A little hand. No, no, stop, stop moving. I've got it. I've, I have retained control. All right. Um, how can I get rid of this fucking stop sharing thing? Oh. It's you. Oh, see, is it you nudging? Oh, that's studio. studio. It's, it's not me. Bloody I'm, studio. My hands are... Here, I think. Oh, well, I saw the notepad, didn't I? But I will. Is this is this what you want us to read? Oh. Uh, okay, so uh, thank you to Displayed for paying for the creators' travel and accommodation so they can be here for the stream. That is, in fact, what Displayed have done. They have kindly aided us in our quest to deliver the worst poker ever seen by humanity to as many people as possible. So thank you. That's 20K goes to the winner's charity, 10K to the second place charity, 5K to third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So you make the final table, your charity is getting a big chunk your, of change. You're a charity of your choice, courtesy of Displayed. And it is a donation. It's a that they donation. Are this is not a sponsorship. They have donated up to support the Jingle Jam. Apologies. We are just not very good at reading. Idiots. We are fools. They pay us to lead, mm-hmm. not to read. <laughs> or bleed. I don't or want to do that bleed. either. Or bleed. Um, no, we'll just do that for free. Yeah. Uh, so everyone is still in. Lewis is accumulating chips at an alarming rate here. He has now got 4K. Zylus is down to 5K. OZ2250. See, you've got to get involved. You can't sit back and wait for good cards, Oz. Cause... Mix it up. The what is the the blinds now? Yes, exactly. The blinds, the blinds. Well, what is the the pot? The, the pot preflop the is six hundred, which would tell me that the blinds are probably two hundred and four hundred. If you look at the bottom of the screen, SB two hundred, BB four hundred. Those are the BB. forced bets. BB. So the dealer button is the button. You can see it says BTN next to Lewis. That means that he is the nominal dealer. He's not actually dealing. But for positional purposes, that button moves one place to the left every hand. To the left of the dealer button is the small blind. 
has to put a little bit of money in, and to the left of them is the big blind. They have to put in double the small blind. So it's a bet to get the action going, otherwise everyone will just fold. There's no cost to sitting there. Right. The point of poker is you have to pay to see cards. You've got to put some money in the middle, otherwise you just wait for aces. The game would suck. I have to get involved. you got to get in the mix. 96. Okay. Okay. Loving this chill, almost slide guitar. Love a bit of country I was, western. I was thinking, I, I feel like I've played uh, like, you know, sort of railroad management <laughs> simulators <laughs> yeah. that have this exact type of exactly music. Exactly right. Exactly. Or like a Rimworld expansion or something that's got... Very Rimworld. Yes, I do, I do like a, a relaxing country tune with like slide guitar. It's got a certain tempo. Like it's that. just real, real relaxing. Real nice. Uh, so, uh, next hand, uh, OC with a 9 and 6, mm -hmm. uh, Lewis with a 5 10. That's and called the Zions. Saturday night. The, the 6 and the 9. Oh, why? Because the 9th of June every year is a Saturday. Every year without fail. That's is, the only reason. Is that, that can't be. That can't be true. It's true. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they see some doubts in <laughs> chat. Um. Stop pressing X. Um, so, uh, Ozzy looking thrilled here with the 9 6. Uh, looks like we've seen a flop. We have. It's 3 8 king. I see money being shuffled about. People are involved. Why are you getting tangled up with a, a 9 three, 6? 8 and a king. Doesn't she might have been the big blind. She's great out. For anyone. And they, she, she's folded, and they've reminded her, you can just check. I guarantee you that's what's just oh. happened. Oh. Now, Lewis is going to try to pinch it. Peels off a bet. He's going to put, like, 500 in here. He's putting... Uh, he's counting a lot of money out here. I think Lewis wants to go home. He's, he's betting a lot. Those chips did not cross the, the line, so... Are they... He's stolen this. Well, so he only needs to get this bluff past one person. And that one person is Ozzy, because... And OC uh, Sorry, it is Xylus, because, of course, Ozzy has revealed that she's that's dog shit, because she tried to fold when she could have just checked. It's a classic play. Lewis has gone all in. I think he has gone all in. Okay. And he's saying, call me. Oh, he's doing Waluigi noises. Okay. Can we, look, can we uh, listen to the table chat, please? You got small line. You, got, you can double up with him. You can double it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got it cool. All in. What are you doing? <laughs> Fuck it. How much is it? So it's 1,500. OC is all in. 1,450. Nice one. 1,450. Really, those? You won't make me come back later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Five. Ten. Five, ten. He's got a six, nine. So, eight, nice. So all right, let's nine. kill the table talk. <laughs> so. OC has a pair of nines now. Oh! She hit a miracle nine. She got the pair of nines. Lewis needs a ten. <coughs> and the queen and a ten came only. out. OC takes it. Bam! She just doubled up. What a gambler. So, okay. Do you think OC is actually a card shark? And that, like, oh, I'm going to fold. And then them reminding her that she didn't need to. It was all, <laughs> it was all mind games. Well, if she'd had a hand, Tom, I would say yes. She's <laughs> actually Moriarty pulling the strings. I, I mean, it is, it is a great angle shoot. That's what they call that kind of play, which is within the rules, but which is unseemly. Mm. So angle shooting, um, there are some famous examples I, I could give you. Uh, angle shooting is, is that kind I'd of like thing. like seven. I can give you... I can give you two good ones. Okay. 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 Um, so that. she went to fold. The dealer reminded her, you can just check. And she was like, oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll hold on to my hand. If you actually turn over your cards, you had aces. That's an angle. That's oh, an angle. People would be like, you motherfucker. You angle shooting you piece of shit. Fucked my mother. Pow. That's, that's, guns are drawn. You know what okay. I mean? That's like the Wild West right there. That's an angle shoot. Uh, oh, Zylus has picked up. What, what is the nickname for this hand, Tom? Pair of Kings. Um, Cowboys. Bro Brokeback Mountain. Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, Brokeback Mountain. That's it now. It's Cowboys. Keep it out there, you Kings. 
Lewis has Jack get, Queen. You go to those mountains. And uh, eight six for oh, she's folded. Lewis is the small blind. Zaz is big blind on one k. That's how big the blind is now. They just ramping it up. He's all in. I think Lewis is going to call him. We're gonna. We could be down to two. What? It's the, just, it's the, the two fucking cowboy emotes just really, <laughs> just really fucking tickled me. <laughs> They're so goofy looking. They're just so goofy. Uh, sorry. Uh, so, um, why is it called an angle suit? I, I guess you know. I guess it's like, I, I don't know the exact origins of the term, but it's kind of like you're angling around the edges of right, what's okay. acceptable sort of thing. So, looking for any angle. So what's like a another sort of popular sound? <laughs> just spamming that cowboy on me. I love it. <laughs> just broke back mounting it up. Uh, so what is the like another sort of? So there, there's a clip you can look up on YouTube um, of one of these. Uh, oh, that is quads for Xylus. <laughs> he has broke made back quads. Mountains. That's the double broke back. That's the broke back orgy. Wow. Right there. Can we get four cowboys in chat? Anybody? There four we go. Four cowboys. Let's go. Let's Zylus see. didn't need quads, but he got there, baby. That's how it Holy goes. Holy shit. That's a lot of cowboys. That is a lot of cowboys. That's the real Saturday night right there. Four cowboys just having fun. Just um, doing cowboy things. So there was a tournament. It was... Uh, do we stop now, by the way, TJ? Because there's the two left for the grand final. I think we do stop. Oh, Oh, do we? Or do they keep going? I don't fucking know. No, but there's no need to play for a winner because it's pointless, right? Unless we're saying that... No, no, because they take these chip stacks to the final table, I think. Oh, okay, um, sure. Is how it works. And which means, also, I will need to come up with a new blind structure for the final table, which I shall do. Once I see their chip stacks, I'll have a better idea of what it of needs how, to be. How yeah. it's looking. So I guess we'll... Are we going to take a little break here while we change the teams over and get some I new think, players I in? I think we'll be taking a quick five-minute break. Fünf Minuten und then we will return with the polka for you all watching from your house. Ja, <laughs> ja mein Freund. Sehr gut. Uh, so, sehr gut. we will take a short break of fünf Minuten and then we will return. Join us then. Dankeschön, Damen und Herren, for watching the polka. We will be right back. Und die little Kinder. And welcome back, everybody, Wee! to Hello! Jingle Dam Poker 2022. We are joined by the most fabulous <laughs> most, Halloween. Most third placey, Lewis Brindley. Hard table. Hard, Hard table. table? It's the first time I've not made the final table in a while. How, how, uh, how was your outfit? Was it hot in there? It's all right. It's all right. What am I supposed <laughs> to say? Wah. Man, I'm, I'm mad! I'll get my revenge one day on those chuckle fucks. Chuckle what was I supposed fucks. to say? Was it, what, 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 what very, was very say? Nintendo, I feel. I think so. They, they, Nintendo loves the term chuckle fuck. Tossing they it around. Throw really that around it's in every game. Time. Zelda, oh. Mario. Uh, no, I don't think you can be tossing oh. that. Yeah, no, <laughs> we, can't, we can't have that sully. Uh, <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I keep it it's safety. out of my reach <laughs> again! <laughs> <laughs> very good. Uh, but did you have fun? Yes! It's really fun. Silas is fun. Ozzy's fun. Bree's fun. Duncan's meh. Daft's fun. You guys are quite fun. Quite fun. It's well, been a fantastic. It's like saying my dad's fun, isn't it? It's like, it makes, makes your dad fun. Yeah. Did you occasion. enjoy yourself? Yeah. Okay, cool. I said that. Yeah, I liked it. it was <laughs> that's, nice. that's great. What do you want? What do you want from me? Some uh, in, human emotion. Fucking height. hell! All right, fine. Look, I feel like I was robbed. Oh, okay. there we now go. We, this is the, the journalism what I want. that we're the trying juice. to do. Oh, look at the new stuff. I shouldn't interfere with these okay. guys. <laughs> we got I was robbed. These, these I was robbed. Heroes. All right, thank you, Waluigi. Thank you. I'll get those guys next time. <laughs> Could you slide that chair out of view, please? I thought White Luigi would do it, but he, he refused. So we got Mr. Cock. Mr. Cock. <laughs> We've got Just Harry, Thursday, Vegas Ravs, Kirsty, and Cincinnati Slim. Although Mousy is from Texas, I believe. Uh, where is Cincinnati? Not in Texas, baby. It's in... Uh, don't tell me. Don't tell me, chat. Cincinnati... 
is, let me think. It's kind of, I think, I want to say it's in one of those kind of boring ass places. I have no idea. Uh, US geography. Cincinnati, it's kind of got, the name I would say sounds like uh, a Native American name. Like Milwaukee, Cincinnati. Oh, okay. It's not from. It's not an Anglified or a French or a Spanish name. It sounds more like a Native American name. Right. Because um, there are a lot of places like named like that. Is Albuquerque? Um, is that a is that a Native uh, American name for somewhere? Chat. Let us know. It might not be. Maybe Cincinnati means something. I don't know. But it's I'm saying it sounds like Roman it. So I'm going to say Northish. I'm going to say Black. Roman. American. Idaho. Idaho. Well, I don't know either. Um, and I'm sure someone will tell us. Alaska. Ohio. Okay. Close. It was one of the hoes. It's the same place, right? One of the hoes. Uh, so... What is going on here? We've got... Uh, I mean, I'm loving... Why have we buffed ever? Oh, so I see Mr. Cock is out. Mr. Cock is out. Yeah. Um, Mr. You know. Cock has not... Mi Mr. Cock is not out. I don't mean it in that fashion. Well, Mr. It, Cock is out. Yeah, I'm, don't... I, His name is Mr. Cock, Save and he is out later. of his hand. I've, I've only just started drinking. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not ready Tom. for Mr. Cock to be out yet. Al although we did say that as soon as Lewis Brindley of the Yelks cast was knocked out, that we would celebrate with some Prosecco, so... That perhaps is true. if someone in the office, if I do this... Prosecco oh. will manifest before us like one of the many miracles or signs. Can hopefully I, I, I'd like Mike to deliver it. <clears throat> I would also love Mike to deliver it just because I want to give Mike a, a little hug. I love Mike. Little hug. I just want to see him you know, all dressed up. Yes, that's true. All dressed up and ready to deliver. Let's talk about this plate again. Yes. Gah! Which plate? D's plate. D's plates. Displates. Uh, so, uh, Displate has made a very generous $50,000 donation. A dono of 50Ks. Match that, you bastards in chat, absorbing this free entertainment into your brains. Displate have stepped up to the plate. And Displate. And there's only 50,000 buckaroos. 20K goes to the, the winner of all this, this uh, cavalcade of poker. 20K to the charity of their choice. 10K to second place. 5K to each of third, fifth, Third, fourth, third, fifth, sixth, and fourth. I'm correct. Those are those are numbers. Um, and they also thank you for paying for the creators' travel and accommodation, so we can be here for the stream. Oh, it's much appreciated. We got Lewis Brindley himself Lewis to Brindley. bring us the, the the bubbly we're celebrating his demise of with. Of the You can get cat tits. You can get Empire Strikes Back. You can get cat tits. You can get Batman. Thank you very much, Lewis Brindley. You Lewis can Brindley. get uh, this Matisse painting that I have upside down of goldfish in... Ow! Fucking hit myself with a face with a display. <laughs> I almost chipped a tooth. That's supposed to use them. That's my bad. Well, I that felt my of, teeth clank. That is one of the things that you can do. Uh, amateur dentistry. Yeah, yeah you, you could just, just your bang! Way. Suck yourself in the face with a fucking display. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a great... It's a great shout out. Uh, uh, <sighs> Okay. You're doing you're doing so good. Thank you. So who do you think is gonna be winning in this uh round? Uh where we had a table of champions in the last game. We now have okay. <laughs> you're right. I'm okay. Do you Thanks need for some asking. delicious Prosecco? I think to... that, that might help. Uh, Give myself a little bit of a fat lip <laughs> with a display. Pow! Right in the kisser. Okay, I'm going to arc this away away from you. As... A lot of PFLAX haters out there clipping that and fucking jerking off to it all Who night. You're a PFLAX hater. God, just half the world. Well, you know what? If only if half the world then loves you. No, right? half the world is indifferent. The other half hates me. That's how it goes. Oh, there might be a tiny nubbin of people, a nipple on the world of people. <laughs> Thought that was one of my many assassins come to do me in. Finally, <laughs> one of the firing displays at me. My one weakness. <laughs> um, Straight to the teeth. Oh, it's Kirsty v Harry, King Ten against Six Seven. 
and she has a six, and he has a t she has two pair, and he has one pair. So, uh, Kirsty uh, scooping that pot. Look at her rubbing it in with a. <laughs> oh, <laughs> chill, Kirsty, chill. So Kirsty was one of the players who uh, did not know how to play poker and was having a little lesson from uh, Nalzi. Uh, before the stream. So Nalzi is pretty good. I've seen Nalzi play. Nalzi is an actual professional poker player. Actually knows player. how to play poker. Uh, actually very, very, very competent. Yeah. He, 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 is he playing? I have no idea I can't what's remember going if on. he's playing or not. He's, he's a little too good. He's a little OP for the tables. I'm, I'm just wheeled out to be the Watson to your Sherlock Holmes. Well, that's generous of you. Uh, Cheers, sir. Yeah, thank okay. you. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'm... You Merry know, Christmas. Who's the um, who's his, who's Sherlock Holmes' housekeeper? Maybe that's who I'd be. <laughs> no, I would say... The one who shouts at you, Stop doing cocaine, Mr. Holmes! <laughs> what? It's opium! <laughs> How dare you? It's opium. Um... Equal, equal to, to Frankenstein. Frank that sounds That's even, even better. meaner. No, I, I would take that role. I'm Master Superior! <laughs> Master, Master Perian. I have your Prosecco. How does question. poker work? Which cards are the good ones? <laughs> <laughs> uh, love that. <laughs> Paul to my Barry Chuckle. I went, neither okay. of them was the lead brother in the Chuckle Brothers, were they? It's actually pronounced Igor. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Davis uh, the monster? No. Oh, oh, the music. Bam! Stop the banjo. Stop Something's that. happened. Mr. Cock nodding his head. He knows what's up. Cincinnati Slim should fold Jack Deuce, but I don't know what the situations were regarding the blinds. 866. Six. Anybody got an eight? Anybody got a six? Anybody got clubs? Nope. Then it's anyone's game. Uh, so I think we can safely say that Mr. Cock is still in He's at in. the moment. Mr. Cock is safely tucked away in this game of poker at oh. present. But mayhap, Tom, drama is afoot. Okay. Uh, so what do you think of the players who are taking part? Um, well, they're all lovely. But in terms of... Hard poker skills. Ah, yes. So, Mousy is one of those, I don't know what I'm doing. She says that and then wins. She likes to present herself as, I don't know what I'm doing, and then casually, effortlessly, almost as if it was willed by God himself, Ugh. wins. So, she has been smart enough to give for herself a name like Cincinnati Slim, which implies a famous poker player. Um, but so she will, she will give you the, the, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing guys, but I guarantee you, first of all, Xylus loves to win at the poker. I oh. bet he's been couching it. They got to fly over, flights back, coach, 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 books, 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 all this kind of stuff. So I, I think she's a dark horse. Okay. A dark horse with fair hair and fair skin, but dark horse she remains. Wow. Ravs has... The air of a businessman. Ravs looks great. He does. He looks like a businessman who owns a chain of successful fish restaurants. <laughs> That's exactly, exactly and he's come the, in way, here. That's the way that I see him. And he's coming here to spend some money. Uh, it doesn't matter. I can afford it. I've got loads of money. Oh, he had good oyster season this <laughs> year. <laughs> oh, the oysters are biting. <laughs> Throw a line out. You'll be lucky not to come back with an oyster. A thousand so oysters a swing. <laughs> Uh, Harry is a drug dealer that they met on the way in, and he's he just popped in. He does look like, you know, someone that the, the house has provided to just be there yeah. to help keep people, you know, nicely refreshed. He's got some packet knocking about, that's for sure. Uh, Thursday, I can't rem remember this lady's name. I met her earlier in the week. <sighs> TJ, help me out. Uh, who is Thursday? What is her actual name? <laughs> we'll <laughs> find out. We do know I've spoken to her several times. Alex, thank you, Chad. It's Alex. It's all right. It's Alex. God, I knew it. There's so, listen, Alex is not an uncommon name in the Oscars. There are like eight of them. The, yeah. There's a million Toms. There's a million Alexes. There's like a dozen Joshes, it seems like. So forgive me for, for forgetting, but it is Alex. Thank you, Chad. Thank you. The wig kind of threw me off. She's actually got short hair, if I remember rightly. She's very nice. She did a game show that we were on, and the main the, the the main issue was that it was hosted by her, who's a good host, and then the guy who normally does the tech stuff, 
and he didn't <laughs> he kind of was a little nervous but uh it worked out it was fun but the other issue was the two contestants was rose was ozzy and um and boof and it was a how well do you know each other competition and the other pairing was me and daltos and i don't really know daltos <laughs> and he doesn't really know me so it didn't really work out in that regard it was like what is Pyrian afraid of? And he was like, um, spiders? Like, we've Dis spoken a handful of stuff. Displates to the teeth. Displates to the face. Does it, it looks a little, I think I caught myself quite a meaty wallop. Are you okay? Do you want, do you want me to kiss it better? I would love a kiss better, but not from you. From Harry. Oh. My secret crush. What's... Secret Pyrian's memoir. secret crush? Now I know that. There you if go. he had to do the, um, <laughs> the Mr. and Mrs. Oh, oh dear. Oh, so the other angle shoot I was going to tell you about. Okay, angle shoot. So Right, this... so when people were trying to be a little bit sneaky, pull some extra dirty tricks. Absolutely. So it's not against the rules. Uh, for example, um, if I was to steal your chips, that's against the rules. Yeah. If I was to sneak a peek at your cards, that's against the rules. If I noticed that you did that when you looked at your cards, and I would always lean back and have a look at them, that's technically against the rules, but it's kind of an angle shoot because you should protect your cards. If I just happen to be looking in this area and I see your cards, that's on you. It's up to you to protect your cards. Um, so there are other things that you can do. I'll give you a second good example as well. Okay. This one guy, um, this is the lesser one. That I'll give you the best one last. The, this guy would, um, whenever he was in the tank, in other words, he's put a bunch of chips in the middle and then he will go into the tank, which is like going into the tank generally means you're doing a lot of thinking. But he would like put his hood down and just look down and not react and just like hide. So you got no information. So the guy he was up against. Sorry, TJ, can we bring the music down a little bit? It's like being at a, at a, at a Muse concert. Thank you. Um, he would. So what this guy playing against him did was if you move your chips, that's fine. If they cross that little line you can see in the middle, that's a call or a bet. Okay. So he went with his chips, just playing with them, but trying to draw the guy out. And the guy thought that he dumped his chips in the middle as a call, but he hadn't. He was just like crashing his chips. And the guy said, you got me. Like that. So he, without having to put any chips in, got the guy oh, to reveal what was happening. Okay. That's kind of an angle shoot and quite a, quite a famous one. Um, but the one that I love, this guy had the best hand. He had the nuts, Tom. And it comes around to him, and he says, raise, I mean call. And the guy's like, okay. And then he's like, oh, so I, I have to raise now, don't I? And they're like, yeah, now you have to raise. Because he said raise, okay. but he wanted to imply that all, he want, all I wanted to do was call. Yeah, I just and now I have to raise. He had the best hand. Oh, and he'd okay. done it before in that tournament. So what he does is he waits till he's got the best hand and he says, raise, ah, I mean call. So the other person thinks, ah, they're weak. I will call this, this raise. Okay. But it's a way of squeezing a little bit of extra money out of people. Tournament director comes over and he's like, literally tells the other player, I'm just going to tell you he's done this before and he had the best hand. He had the nuts and he made this exact same play. So I'm going to say he has to raise the minimum amount, then it's up to you. You can raise or call. That's up to you. But I'm telling you what this guy is up to. And the other guy was like, I'll call, which was kind of goofy, I think. I would have folded. And the guy had the nuts. And the tournament director was like, disgusting, absolutely disgraceful, appalling. You never, ever get that from the tournament director wow. coming up. They're literally just, these are the rules. It's up to you guys to sort it out. But he was literally calling this guy out. One of the most famous angle shoots I've ever seen. It was really something. He didn't tell him what he had, but he told him, I'm going to tell you, last time he did this exact same move, he had a really strong hand. Because it's, it's unseemly. Okay. Wow. That's dirty. He, did not, he was not asked to reveal it. He was not asked to reveal his hand. He couldn't have done that. That would kill his hand. But he said to him, I'm not going to t tell you what he has. We're not going to look at his hands. But I will tell you, last time he made this play, he had the nuts. So, Mousy with a pair of six. Yeah. She's going to be losing hard to a pair of jacks. She is going to be a losing to kings. a pair of kings, even worse. Let's see if Mr. Cock, who's bet 1,000 here, Thursday might go out here. Alex might be first out if she calls this. She's only got 850 left. 
Oh. She's thinking. She's like, I've got a pair of jacks. There's only two cards beating me, but there are a lot of cards beating you. Any 10 is beating you. Any king is beating you. Any queen is beating you. She's folded. Well done, Alex. Now, can Cincinnati Slim get away from fifth pair? The tension is high. Surely she wouldn't. She wouldn't bet into this. She is very bad at poker, Tom. She's never played this she before. She wouldn't bet into it. My dark horse, don't let me down. Don't do it, Mousy, no! She's not going to. She's surely not going to. She's just looking at her chips and being like, I want to keep these for later. <sighs> She's called she, for a thousand. She's got 75. Kept 75. <laughs> Mr. Cock has to turn over his cards. He's got... A king and a four. She has a pair of sixes. My dark horse has been defeated down to 75 chips. Wow. That's the blinds. Mr. So, Mr. Cock. I don't know. But the thing is, I've heard this. I don't know speech before. And then she's won things. She beat Dav and the bot stack in the Dota tournament. I don't know what I'm doing. And then mercilessly crushed their base. So I, I wasn't sure whether to be the, believe it this time. But the proof is in the pudding. And this pudding was one of the worst calls I've ever seen. So... Oh. Proof be had. Oh, mousy. Can I ask you a Star Trek question? It's not a factual one, it's an opinion one. Oh, far away. If it refers to the next generation, I'll have an opinion. If it's any of the other Star Treks, literally no fucking idea. Same. I haven't watched DS9 or any of that bollocks. I'm a, I'm a TOS and a TNG main. Fuck the rest of them, I don't care. Please don't write in with your, your opinions, I don't care. Here is the deal. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed how, initially... They kind of pitch Star Trek as not really having any sort of love interests and stuff like that. What are you talking about? Um, Tashi than, Yar fucks Data. I don't... I can't, was that, is that in season one? That's season one. They fuck. I'm not so sure. But is they it the one? They 100% do. Okay. But that, that, that's not love. She, they, she goes wait, nuts. She goes nuts because they're all like overcome by some kind of cosmic ray. And she ends up fucking an android. I, as I remember rightly. Um... So <laughs> that's that, love. there is it. Episode two, <laughs> get it in there straight off the bat. But what I'm saying is a relationship between the characters. And as the show goes on, we know that Riker and Deanna Troy have got something going, a kind of an on again, off again relationship because Riker's always plowing alien women, right? We got, he wants to put his career first. He does. We've got Picard and Beverly Crusher, which is kind of an unrequited thing. That kind thing. of happened. It feels, feels like they were trying to do more of it, and then they didn't. It didn't, didn't happen, which is understandable. We had uh, Deanna and Worf, I'm sure. That happened, yeah. That happened later on. It felt like it made zero sense. Well, she can sense the anger in him. and uh, He's a passionate lover. He is a passionate lover. I will make love to you now, Deanna. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Mr. Cock is ready. <laughs> Mr. Cock is ready. Uh, what? He, he gets pon far. No, that's Vulcans, isn't it? So what? Um, what was the opinion that you? The, uh, what made me laugh was that these shows inevitably are like we need a romance angle coming in here, and there's a limited pool of characters to choose from. Some of whom are robots, some of whom are Klingons, some of whom are the captain. So you just kind of kind of be like, well. It's going to have to be Deanna and Worf, because we haven't I, done that one I yet. I guess those two. I just um, think it's funny. Because in the original Star Trek, this was solved by the fact that Captain Pekirk just had an alien woman in every port. Wherever he sailed in, there'd be some blue or green-skinned woman for him to, to bed. And then there was the... Um, but is that love? It is for a little while. He's loving it at the time. He's loving That's it. That's a form of love. But I just think it's, it's funny to think of a show like that where they don't ever bring in like new permanent characters, even as love interests. Because you're on the ship. Uh, you're on your five-year mission or continuing mission. They you're brought in space. Chief O'Brien with... Miko? Miko. Yeah. Uh, he got kind of brought in and had a love interest. There was episodes about his relationship. Miko's and... doing me fucking head in. She's driving me <laughs> fucking mad. What he used Jesus to say. Christ. Um, Keiko. Kiko. Kiko, Kiko's doing me fucking not, I tell you. I was trying to go out for a drink with the boys the other night. We teleported some beer up from Archon 7. <laughs> when fucking Keiko's up my ass about that, about the fucking baby. Jesus Christ. Uh, they, Mousy is all in, just to say, <laughs> with her 75. She's all in regardless. Now, chip in a chair, Tom, that's what they say. A, a chip, chip and, and a chair. chair. What does a chip and a chair mean? It means for people you're that... never out. As long as you have one chip left and you are still in the tournament, a chip and a chair, that's all you have going for you. A seat in the tournament and one chip. And because of the nature of um, exponential growth, mm. you get 
you double, you double up, you double up, you double up, you double up, you're right back in it, baby. It's like the, the king and the rice and the board of chess. Oh, that's a lot of rice. By the, by like the 16th row, the king's like, well, you, all right, you fucking win, smarty pants. All right, yeah. you, you've got all the rice in the kingdom now. He was like, yeah, I don't want to burn it all. That, they didn't tell you the ending to that story. He was like, we'd eat rice, right? They're like, yeah, fuck it all off. I'm getting yeah. rid of it. Destroy Chuck it, it in the all. sea. Chuck Kill, it in the destroy, sea. I'm here to destroy the kingdom. I'm literally I'm a agent. sleeper agent. <laughs> just, uh, I got activated. Gotcha. 8-3. Um, and... She's out. Uh, is there anything that she can pull? A jack. A jack and a jack only. Because then she'd have an 8, 9, 10 jack queen. Is it going to be a jack? It's a it five. She's is Not what she needed. And the Cincinnati Slim has perished. She's, I don't know if she quite managed to use speed run in the way that... It wasn't a Brie speed run. Yeah, but I feel Brie like... has set the record this year. Mm. It felt like five hands and he was already basically out. But it was still pretty quick. Let's get her in for a little chip Harry's chat. also out. Is he? Did they both lose? Harry's not out. I can see chips in front of him. Okay. Who said that? Harry's out him? next, I think. He's not out. Look, there are chips in front of Harry. A lot of people are saying he is. If he's out, why is he still Thursday sitting there? they didn't cover. Who said that in chat? Drag them out. Br bring them before us. Kill them. Massey, oh, uh, grab a seat. Grab, grab that seat, headset. Have a headset and wheel yourself in and just tell us what what the heck happened. I, I don't know what the fuck Br I'm bring doing. The mic a little, just to... I have no clue what I'm doing. I don't know what happened because I have no idea. You got to play some cards. I'll be honest. I'm quite relieved it's over. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a lot of stress. In previous relieved. years, you told me you had no idea what you're doing, and you have done very well. Yeah. It, and well, with the Dota, you said you don't know what you're doing, and you won the game almost single-handedly for your team, Mousy. I you don't know what to tell horse. you. I said that she plays the I don't know what I'm doing card and then dominates her opponents, but this time you really I, didn't. I, know I was what you're up doing. against a cock. Mr. Cock. That's Mr. Cock. That's Mr. Cock. Mr. Cock is still I don't know what in. You're saying. We're saying we don't want to see Mr. Cock out for various reasons. Mm. Yeah. How dominate? How how intimidating is it to play against a literal chicken in a in a in a bomber jacket? Well, you literally can't read him. That's true. <laughs> At all, That's he true. can't even see his cards or his chips. He, he has no delighted, I, so. He has no idea what he's betting. He's pretty chill. He genuinely has no clue what he's betting. He's just grabbing chips and putting them in. And is. Seemingly doing pretty well out of it. Mr. Cock is dominating. Well. So did you have fun? I know it was I a speed did. Run exit, but. I, I did have fun. I wish I could have stayed in a little bit longer just to see if I remembered how to do anything. <laughs> Next time. But Next time you'll get him. I only learn poker once a year, and it's the day of the poker. Yeah, so. uh, twas, twas ever thus for the for the Yorks poker. Thank you, Mousy. <sighs> Commiserations Thank you. for joining us. You're a wonderful competitor, and well, better luck next time. Well played. Well met. <clears throat> Excellent plays. Excellent stuff. Lost to poultry. Lost to poultry. To poultry! Uh, to uh, poultry. Uh, so, who is doing good? There's Vegas Ravs, Kirsty, and Mr. Cock. Mm. Vegas Ravs just folded. Wait, oh, people have already figured out who Mr. Cock is. Yes, it is Joe. Yeah, <laughs> you can see his face. Okay, yeah, you can. You can see his little face down there. He, I had to tie up his hood. <laughs> It's <laughs> such a stupid outfit. He said to me, Pyrian, I will be unrecognizable. And then I had to help him with his with his costume. I do kind of love it. It's a it's, nice watch, though. It's kind of jokes. There's a nice watch. I like the strap on that. Nice face. I, I found a watch I wanted. You push a button and it has letters on the face. It's all different letters on the face. And when you hold down the, 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 the button, it just lights up the letters you need. And it'll tell you it's oh, quarter past I've nine. I've seen I've seen those. Yeah. And I thought, do I want that or is it a bit fucking, you know, fuck off. All right. To me, I'd say it is. It is a Who bit. Who the fuck isn't uses it? a watch these days? So I had a Fitbit for a while when I was having me heart trouble a couple of years ago. And after a while, 
that is a lot more useful than... Hold on. Hold on. Uh, yes, yeah, it's 7.23. Yeah, but that's a bit like me being like, okay, what time is it? Or... Uh, that's how it is uh, for me. That was, no, that was me uh, reaching down. 7.23. <laughs> Hold on. If you really, like, really kind of... Really kind of fucking... Right, but this is with you all the time. Bam. What time is it? <sighs> yeah, but what happens if you're holding a drink in that hand? You're like... Oh... Oh, 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 <laughs> make a good point. 7.23. <laughs> All right. What if I have my phone in my left pocket and I'm holding a drink in that hand? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, fuck. Uh, he, he's, the, he's the classic left pocket argument, which instantly destroys my entire case. <laughs> I was not ready. <laughs> I was not ready for you to use the, uh, <laughs> the left pocket as an argument. Oh, Mr. Fuck. Cox should get out of here. You fucking uh, got me. He needs a jack or an ace to win this hand. Kirsty is all in with 10-7, uh, which is Daniel Negreanu's favorite hand. Um, and she has a pair of 10s. There's another 10. This is big trouble for her. Uh, three 10s for Kirsty, up against... Nada for Mr. Cox. What's this? Pizza? Oh. Cheers, Dav. Cheers, mate. This is going to be a quick one. It's going to be a quick year of poker. So did Mr. Cox stay in? Yes, he's still in. He's just lost a bunch of chips to Kirsty. Kirsty? Kirsty was pretending that she didn't know how to play. But I guess when you have three of a kind, anyone can be good at poker. Very good, Tom. Three of a kind, not a set. Very good. Set is when you have a pair in your hand and you find the third on the board. Three of a kind is, of course, when they're two out there and you have one in your hand. So well done. Good poker term. That's why you used it, isn't it? I, I have no idea. Okay. Master. <laughs> I have no idea. Master. <laughs> What's the difference What's between the difference? a set and a three of a kind? Also, there's a visitor to see you. Uh... Okay, so Kirsty just absolutely speeding into the distance. She's doing it. She's now the chip leader. Ra Vegas Ravs is this is Vegas Ravs in that he's losing all his money. That Ve is what everybody does in Vegas. Vegas Ravs and just Harry seem to be kind of just playing a bleeding, little bit and losing, chips. losing cards right now. Harry looks very serious, doesn't he? He's a serious boy. <laughs> Look at that. Look, he just every time he looks at his cards, he's hoping like, are these are these two fresh new Mr. Mime cards that I could be picking up? And they're not. Oh no, they're not. He's out. He's out. Thursday is in. She's called. So it's a three-way pop. We've got a six-five, a king ten, and a pocket queens. Kirsty's slow playing the pocket Ooh, queens. Ooh, there's a jack and a king and a two. So okay. A pair of kings for Ravs. Ravs is going to bang be... it all in here because the pot is already 300. He may as well. If he can't bet, he may as well just smash it. He's going to put 500 in. Kirsty's going to look him up. No, she's going to raise him, I think. Ooh. She's raised it to 600, which you sh I haven't mentioned this. You can't just raise by 100. Why? Because if. Not, Papa. Because I would go, I bet you 100. I bet you 101. I bet you 102. I bet you 103. It's bullshit. The minimum raise should be the big blind. That should be the bet. What we play at home is you can only raise by whatever the previous bet was. You can raise by that much. So if I bet 500, you have to make it 1,000. Right, okay. So you're raising it by 500. But um, <clears throat> raising by 100, whatever, we'll allow it. Check, check. Oh, hold on a sec. There's, There's uh... the jack. Harry has made it straight. 9, 10, jack, queen, king. No, nope, sorry, he has not. I'm misreading the board and, and what's happening. He's he's still just got a pocket kings. That's uh, also a six, not a nine. <sighs> and that's a Ravs. Not Harry. Harry folded. And that's Ravs, indeed. So Ravs has the best hand. He has pocket he has kings now and she has pocket kings. Master, are you okay? Sorry. <laughs> Silence <Simon's> Eagle! <laughs> it's actually please. Eagle. Sorry. <laughs> Who's pronounced Eagle, Master? I was just I got a little flustered there for a <laughs> It's okay. Um Sorry, I am forty six. Once I turn forty seven, all bets are off. It's all going wrong. That's good. 
Well done. Well done, sir, on surviving that long. You're doing great. In this weather, I'll tell you what. Whew. Was anything correct then? No, it was just a stream of incorrect gibberish. <laughs> but it was fun. In a way, that's an achievement in itself. Yeah, it's like that... Um, What's that thing? That it's harder to play the piano wrong when you know it so well than Les it Dawson. is to... Uh, yeah, Les Dawson was famous for playing it just one off. And that's what you were doing, because that only someone who knows it as well as you Dude. could even be a, so close, but just a little bit wrong. It's a brilliant little bit from me there. I, I Comedy bit. It. I'm Thanks. so glad that we spent hours rehearsing that before <laughs> yeah. the stream. Yeah. I think it really, I think it really landed well. Yeah, we do a lot of preparation for this stream. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this whole thing is scripted. Mm -hmm. um, even the cards. Even the cards. <laughs> Which we just wanted to get Lewis knocked out this year. Uh, so... Pocket ducks, pair of ducks for Harry. Queen nine for Mr. Cock. <laughs> it's quite threatening when he leans in like that. Uh, nobody's really got anything. Barry should probably bang it in. But pocket deuces, you don't really want to commit your tournament life to it. But a made I, hand is better than an unmade hand. We'll put it yeah, that way. Yeah, I feel like just go for it. Just go for it. Why not? Have you, You've never played in, in one of these. But I seem to remember we played. I have no idea how to play poker But we did all. play once, didn't we? You might call it playing, but, you know. I think you beat me. Yeah, yeah. In, the, in the way that, you know, like a young child beats a grown up at Snakes and Ladders. Um, I don't think. Uh, you beat me. You beat me. You did draw out, man. I think it was on the turn of the river you heard a miracle card, but it happened. I remember. I sure, that's poker, baby. Uh, I think you are very kind and uh, humored me very nice. No, I, I was trying my best. What does this give me an S thing? Go Streamer. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't know. Uh, let's read some donations. That's a uh, good thing to do. Uh, 100% it is. Peter or Peter gave us 400 buckaroos. Thank Peter. You. Peter. Peter. Thank you, Shun. The Skull 666. I have been watching for years. <laughs> Happy Jingle Jam. Thank you, The Skull. Wow, The Skull 666. Ampelosaurus, 200 buckaroos, 200 quid, actually. Enjoy the gold. Thank you for continuing a great service to allow charities to help those in need. Happy Christmas, all Dino Heart. Merry Christmas to you, too. Learning oh. provided with a hundo. Thank you. You know who you are. Uh, Antoton. Thank you, all the Yogscars, for hosting such an amazing charity event and helping so many great charities. Greetings from Belgium. Thank you. Well, greetings to Belgium. The cocaine capital of Europe. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because they, why do you think that is? Oh, because Tintin's from there. <laughs> no, it's not. Nothing is, to do with Hergé's. Is it to do with? It's ports. Big ports. 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 A lot of shit coming in uh, to Antwerp. And so many ports that they just fucking jam containers through there. And some of them get through. Just full of cocaine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dynamite. Uh, hello, Piroin and Tom. Love poker all, every year. Also, Mum in Space is a banger. Mouth guitar for the win. Thank you. Andrew, I've been watching since the beginning of the Jingle Jam. This year, I'm finally able to donate, so I've been waiting for poker night to do it. Oh. Thank you, Tom and Piron, for getting me into poker. You are welcome. 35 quid from No Name Provided. Thank you so much, Andrew. Lysings made me do it. I don't know if I've said the wrong thing there, but okay. Tato, Piron and Tom, well run as always. Also, flush a cake for Wheelboy. Absolutely not. No. I'm not going to answer this one, but thank you for the donation. Sniper Ranger, keep up the great work. Vigard, Merry Jinglemas from Norway, thank you. Vigard. Nico, uh, you all are amazing people. Thank you, Vigard. Thank you. Linus. You're amazing. Linus Gunnarsson. Love you. Thank you, Linus. The Firebug, love your oh, work. Oh, uh, wait. Harry is. No, they're still in. Sorry. Don't it's worry. Deuces with Harry. He is. Oh, no, no, no. He is all in against Mr. Cock. And. Uh, Harry has. He's, he's still. He's 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 winning. And oh my god! Wait, he's got. He's a got a flush. flush. He's got a flush with the deuce. Wait, no, but Mr. Cock. Oh, is Mr. A, Cock has made a bigger flush. flush. Sucks teeth in. Barry boy is out. Rot row. Big whoopsie. That is a big whoopsie. Oh dear. We'll get our beloved young Barry. Supple young. Delicious, tasty, unsweaty. Mm, well, those are a few too many, too many words to be Barry using boy. in that sentence. <laughs> I don't think so. Supple and delicious and tasty and ooh, not sweaty. Oh, like, you know, if you put Barry. all of those together at once. I did. Yeah, it's 
It's too much? It's, it, I'm, I'm not going to say too much. I'm just going to say a lot. Oh, it's a lot. Okay. No, it I'll give you that. Is a Grab lot. a headset, young man. Uh, we all good? So good. Come and shimmy on in. Oh, and sorry. Give it the crab shimmy. There we Hang go. Hang on out with us. How are you doing? Yeah, all right, mate. It's so distracting. I was just thinking last year I had to play next to Mango just as the Grinch painted oh. green. Oh, God, that was disturbing. And then this year I had to play next to Mr. Cock. <laughs> and it's just like, fuck my life. <laughs> I'm kind of loving Mr. Cock right what, now. I like what, you, what you don't quite see on camera is his face is just like face down against the table. <laughs> <laughs> so he's basically, and every time he turns to me, he just basically like stares into my crotch. Wow. It's awful. It's great. Poor um, Joe, his back must be killing him. I think he's resting his head on there because he's tired. I got, I got him a cushion for his knees because oh, he he's idea. on his knees. Who's Joe? We're I'm watching, sorry, I mean we're Mr. Watching Cock. Mr. Cock. I mean Mr. Cock. I mean, uh, we've been watching how he gets his chips, period. <laughs> Look at it's him. a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Mr. Honestly, I'm just glad to have fucking left that room and not have to sit <laughs> next to him anymore. Oh, Mr. Cock. I, I, the thing is, I just want him to win, so he has to do that again for another fucking hour and a half. Oh, that's would be amazing. That's what we really the pure, want. The yep. pure spike play. Well, um, I think, I think he, you might be onto something there, so uh, yeah. All right. Well, no, Harry, good boy. You, you tried, but <laughs> it is what you, it you is. didn't get any cards. I don't think I got a single I got a pair of threes and a pair of twos, so I saw good you, times. You got fucked on the end there with the, the Queen of Hearts. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah unfortunately. Feels bad. Sad times. Anyway, have a good evening, boys. Thank you, you very much. Oh. See, I'll allow Harry to have the excuse I didn't get any cards, but not Dav. Not Dav. I'm a particular man. Fussy, unpleasant, mean, spirited. Mm. But I re uh, I remain, as hot, ever, but a heart of gold. Your servant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your servant, Pyrrhon Flags. I would love to end a letter with that. As ever, your servant. Your servant, Pyrrhon Flags. Pyrrhon J. Flax. Esquire. So hairdresser to the stars. Hairdresser to the stars. <laughs> yeah, why not? I know a lot about hair. Yeah? I know how important that is. What are your top five hair facts? It is made from the same stuff as your nails. Ooh. I think that's true. Hello. Chat, to correct. I think it's made from the same stuff as your nails. Chat, is that right? Would you rather be as you are true. now... Or have a full head of hair but no fingernails. Oh God! Oh, I'll take the. I want fingernails. I don't want to have no fingernails. Mm. What? Well, as in, it's just flesh. Yeah, it might, it's just I mean, meat. constant pain. Like ah! No, it's just meat, meat nubs. Oh no, meat that's sausages. too weird. Because you meet someone that they they'd notice the lack of lack of hair is socially acceptable. Having just meat nubs, people would be like, "What? The lad with the meat nubs?" <laughs> yeah, you classic, know what I mean. Classic meat nubs. Oh, meat nubs. Oh, I meat nubs. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Um, other hair facts. Um, oh, uh, it, it, it still grows on skeletons long after they're dead. On know. skeletons. Yeah, on skeletons. Um, if they they find them in uh, in the the grave, and they're still hair is still still growing. Still. How long? How long for? I don't know. Not that long, but um, yeah, that's one hundred percent true. Shut up, chat. Because uh, I saw that skeleton, right? I'm okay. Uh, citation need. I vaguely remember. It's because as the moisture like leaves your body. I it, think it just looks like it's great. It, it like sh shrinks, and so <laughs> as it peels away from your fingernails and like yeah. your head, is I that... would call that a form of growth. It's reverse growth. Yes, quite right. Mm, shrink it, Mr. Cock with the old Friday night there. Uh, Va Ravs with Jack Deuce. That's nothing. Kirsty with King Nine, and a nine ten for Thursday. Let's see how this one plays out. Uh, who? That's. Uh, you know, Kirsty Kirsty might might take part in this. Maybe. It's not the wildest hand. Some people might just want to see what's going on. You know. Just take part. So that there are a few a few habits that you have to get out of when you start playing poker. And for anyone starting out, number one, curiosity. You must lose your sense of curiosity. I wonder what they have. I'll pay to see what they've got. Abandon mm. that idea. Number two, I just want to see a flop. Abandon that idea. Um, I will pay way over the odds to take my six, seven and have a look at the flop because I'm just so curious. What if it comes down mm. three, four, five? You know, so you've got to abandon. You have to not be like the cat. You must not be curious. But like the cat, you must have nine lives. So you've got to be... Lucky at times, but you must not be curious. You must be methodical. It's one of the reasons that poker as a spectator sport has kind of 
I watched some of the World Series recently and it kind of dropped off for me because the players are so dull. So dull. And they just play this bland internet style of poker where it's just pure maths. There's no character. There's no table talk. It's so, so, so dull. All the, all the great characters of poker, they just wheel them out for a big cash game, pay them a bunch of money. But the actual dominant players in poker these days online are just like robots. It's a shame. And of course, there are computer, there are bots out there that have cracked poker and could just sit there playing all day and stuff like that. So, wow. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, how come then in. Rabs the is all in. Rabs is all in. He's got Jack Deuce. He's looking for a club or a nine. Or as it turns out, a jack. I think Kirsty's going to look him up here. She has the straight already with 9, 10, jack, queen, king. King high straight. Ravs oh, is drawing for no. a split. There is a club. Did he have two clubs? He did. He made the flush. Ravs <coughs> survives. Wow. Ravsy. Mr. Cock has nothing. Mr. Cock. Nothing and please tell me that that they've noticed. Kirsty has just paid a whole load of money. They're they're applauding him. They're applauding him. A whole load of money to Ravs. Yes, well done. Ravs to riches, baby. Ravs to riches. I like that. That's Can we change his name to Ravs to riches? Ravs please? to riches. He's coming back. I said to come back. I never. I'm never beaten. I don't know when I'm beaten. I've never lost a bet in my life. <laughs> I bet that a chain of fish restaurants to be successful, even so far from the sea <coughs> as Glasgow, which is not. Well, on the you know. Sea. And I was right. The people came for the fish, but they stayed for the pish. <laughs> That's just love. Love the rich backstory. <laughs> oh, there's no fish in the Clyde. I fished them all out. Put, oh. put them in my restaurant. My restaurant. What is the difference between a restaurant and a bistro? Or, dare I say it, a brasserie? Um, one's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> and, the uh, brasserie. Excuse me, my good man. Do you know the way to a bistro or a brasserie? Not a restaurant. Not a cafe. Not a restaurant. Not a cafe. A, br a brasserie. A p bistro at a pinch. A bistro. But it, uh, preferably a brasserie. Uh, I, God, I don't know. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, you there. Common fellow. I'm looking for a brasserie. Not a bistro. Wait, is this a, is this a bit? Am I supposed to be getting into this as well? I need you to understand. Okay. On the spot, some posho has come up. Excuse me. I'm looking yeah, for... Yeah, what are you talking about? I'm looking for a brasserie. A what? A bistro at a pinch. A bistro at a pinch. Bistro? What's a fucking bistro, mate? A, you don't know what a bistro is. What Wait, about, have you got a spare quid? Do you know what a, ba Mate, a brasserie? A quid I can borrow. A brasserie. Uh, can I have Not a, a restaurant. Phone? Not a restaurant. I will have a go on your phone, mate. That's a nice watch. <laughs> oh wait, it says it says the letters. Why am I being mugged? <laughs> Why is one being mugged? I'm looking for a brasserie. Oh, you're in the wrong part of town. <laughs> I'm just saying. What's the point in calling it brasserie, bistro, restaurant? Nobody fucking knows. All right, lads, get him. <laughs> There's now 20 of us. <laughs> yeah, well, get him. Get him. Get him, lads. <laughs> um, he looks fresh. Is that... Uh, roll for initiative. Is we're now in combat. We're we now in combat. We're doing <laughs> um, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure where this, this part was going. No, I just want I I to know. I put on the spot by some posh. Excuse me. Do you know where there's a brasserie? You'd be like... <laughs> What's the difference between a brasserie and that restaurant over there? <laughs> Roll for initiative. <laughs> uh, eight, nine, ten, Jack, Queen. Kirsty has a Queen High Straight. Uh, She's hitting some cards. Old Mr. Cock with a pair of eights. He's in big trouble here. And Don't splash. He, this has is a, a string jacks. bet. This could go south. Kirsty could be. Kirsty is going to make a lot of fucking money. She is just maintaining her cool very well. Wow. Who's? Mr. Cock can hit a spade. He has bet 400. Uh, Ravs, who is no fool. Remember, he made a very successful chain of fish restaurants in the, in he's the called. Glasgow area. He is calling Mr. Cock's 400 bet. Kirsty, I believe, has also called, which is smart because she has a made hand. 
Might be tempted to raise it here, but there's only one card to come, and they might try and bluff it on the end. So let's see what happens. The final card. Your final card. Is, are, it's going to be an ace of clubs. Mr. Cock has whiffed. Ravs might be scared. Kirsty might be able to get paid off if she makes a little bet here. If she bangs it all in, Mr. Cock can't call. He's got, he's got only a pair of eights, but he might have to, because the pot is 5K. So he gets 10 to 1 on his money. Oh, they're on their backs. It's just a showdown, a straight showdown. <laughs> the dealer is thinking. Kirsty's made a straight. Wow. Kirsty. What a fucking play. Well done. Kirsty's crushing it, man. So good. <sighs> well, well done. You're doing great, kid. You're doing great. Well done, kid. You're killing it. Slay, queen, slay. That's what they used to say back in the uh, 30s in Chicago. Hey, boss, you're slaying. Thanks. They, they'd also say that in sort of Conan's times as well. <laughs> well done, you are slaying. But that meant like a different thing. That's true. Slay. Oh, my kids say that all the time. Slay. Really? And she does a little semi-dab. Oh, because it's, semi it's, it's Christmas. No, she just says it. Like, a, like Santa slay. Slay. That's what she says. She does like a little, I don't know what this is. It's not, not a dab, but it's like this. She just goes like, slay. I think that, that has replaced a dab because you do that. Everyone knows what's coming. You don't need to full dab. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I'm a bit out of the loop on this stuff. That's all right. Yeah, no, me neither. She also calls her elder sister bruv all the time. Bruv. Yeah, don't don't, don't vex me, bruv. I, I, okay, I respect that. I think that's funny. She says, that is so cringe, bruv. <laughs> is your... <laughs> is your... She's a lover a, um, a drill artist. <laughs> London, just, isn't it? Um, wow. Don't murk. Stop murking me, bruv. I'll murk you, bruv. <laughs> um, <laughs> stop mugging me off. Rogue man. <laughs> Just man. Uh, is the sister being cringe? Oh, inevitably. My eldest is pretty cringe. Yeah. <laughs> I love her, but she, she does cringe things on purpose to wind up my youngest. Like, she's like me. She likes to tease people. Okay. And so she teases uh, my youngest and, and bees cringe on, on purpose to sort of uh, bait her. Uh, but she's hilarious. They're both very funny. But my eldest loves to tease her sister. That's what sisters are for, teasing each other. Um, she also calls her an idiot a lot of the time. And I'm like, idiot. let's chill with that, please. What's, is idiot a bad term now? Are you allowed that? <laughs> Just calling someone an idiot. Is that bad? In my day, that was a term of endearment. I, you call someone an idiot. Rabs with the pocket rockets. Rabsy. And oh, Kirsty with, with unlucky for sevens. some pair of sevens. Mr. Cock is all in. Are they going to check this down? Mr. Cock all oh, in. Oh, Kirsty's going to make a bet. She is your chip leader. I think she's going to check as well. Check, check. check. Although... I think it's gone check, check. Next card is... Oh, wait. Yeah, she's checked. Look at the next card, dealer. The next card. Mr. Cock needs running cards to save him. Oh! What's happened here? Why have they turned their cards over unless they're both also all in? Did everyone go all in? Oh, no. Surely you just. All right, Mr. Oh, Cock has hit a six. A queen or a six. He needs he needs something. He needs a queen or a six to stay alive, and then there'll be a split pot. Come on, Mr. Cock. Let's see it. Give us a queen or a six. It's a king. All right, so uh, Ravs scoops. He takes the whole thing. Mr. Cock is oot. Wow. Why did they flip their cards over there? Do they just agree we're just going to check this down? I, I do not know. I guess so. Mr. Cock is out. And soon Mr. Cock is going to be in here with us. So, in a three-way like that where one person's all in, there are two players with live chip stacks. They're not all in. You wouldn't flip your cards over because there's still play between those two players. Right, okay. So the, the, the sort of agreed thing is in a situation like that, especially if you're going to ladder up money-wise as you both just check it down and one of you knocks him out, hopefully, and then, you know, that's that, fair enough. That's sort of the, the seen as the done thing. Because imagine if, if we knock this guy out, we both ladder up into yeah. tournament winnings. So two chances to knock him out instead of just one. So let's just chill. 
Let's not bet. Tap, 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 tap. We all turn our cards over and one of us will beat him. That's the, the, the standard tournament play. I think it's better off if you think you can win the pot to try and win the fucking pot, but we'll see. That's uh, up for debate. Oh, here oh. he comes. See if you can grab a headset, Mr. Cock. Uh, we, you just need the microphone mainly. Uh, yeah. Let's... I'll just, I'll just hold it. You can that slide on yeah, in. You want to come a little bit closer to us, Mr. Cock? Cock, <laughs> come on in. Just a little keep, closer. Keep, going. keep on coming. Right, there there we go. <laughs> <laughs> right, Mr. Cock. Hello. How, well played. How that, are you? Thank how are you. you doing? I'm, uh, I'm doing all right. You know, it's the first time I played poker. Um, in my life, wow. uh, you know, I was born just a few weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, so, you know, I'm still learning the basics, but I think I did okay. You did fantastic. Yeah, you had some 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 good hands in there. At the start, it started off better, and then it kind of went a bit... It went south yeah, real quick. Yeah, I mean, quick. Rav's, Rav's had the gut that he had a good hand. Oh. I wanted to get him out. I counted out his chips. Yeah. But he, he had the balls to follow through with his, with his big old hands. It's unfortunate. But, um, hey, what can you do? Indeed, what can you do? What can you do? <laughs> Eat some grain, I guess. Eat some grain. Eat some I've grain. Heard. Cock loves grain. That's yeah. true. That's one thing. Well, yeah. you played some... Excellent poker. Thank you. Well, that's well, that's yeah. a fucking weird yeah. thing to say to his face. Why? Excellent. That's a good pun. Yeah. It's not sense. Well, chickens aren't ashamed of eggs. Yeah, but you're kind of making fun of. No, I I think it's just, I'm sure chickens make a lot of eggs. I, I, perf- I, I think I it's honestly, know, know, you know, as, as a chicken myself, I think it's perfectly fine oh, right to make shit. egg-based puns to a, to a chicken. I mean, some, some chickens are a bit more sensitive. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't okay. mean to offend. <laughs> God, I've ruined no, poker night here. I'm sorry. Well, uh, Mr. How, how does it look from the outside? Who's looking strong? Uh, I would say Kirsty and Ravs. Kirsty's playing. Uh, well. Alex has been quiet the last few hands, so I think it's between Kirsty and Ravs. Ravs, I of think, course. Uh, Alex has just been. I think Alex has been knocked out, and we missed it because we were talking to you, Mr. Cox. So All right, I'm going to shimmy out. I'm going to stretch oh, my, better, my legs. Yeah, go oh. have a stretch and uh, unwind. Have a great time, Mr. Cox. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I'm going to say Mr. Cock is one of my favorite players we've had. Big fan. Had so far. Um, Big fan. Absolutely wild. Look at Ralph checking his phone like he's a businessman. Uh, that's it. Alex is out and we missed it. Let's get, do we get, can we get her in here for a quick chat or are we just going to go straight to the break? Uh, whatever you fancy, baby. Let's get her in here. Let's have a quick chat with Alex because we missed that hand. We were busy. You couldn't get her? Or you're going to get her? You're going to get her. Yes. All right. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, uh, seen any good hands of poker lately? Believe it or not, no. Yeah, that's the great opportunity <laughs> to be like, oh, oh, everyone so far. <laughs> uh, but you know what? People are here to see you be honest. Look, I try to bring honesty in all I do, Tom. Mm. Um, I, I hate to give people something that, that they know to be a fib. You know what I mean? I don't want to play games. People came to see poker commentary by someone that understands how to play poker, um, has worked in poker television, has been fortunate enough to be present uh, for some of the very best players in poker history, watching them firsthand. I'm not going to dress it up and say this was the best poker I've ever seen and lie. That would be disingenuous to these players and to those. So I try to bring 100%. I try to keep it real. Because, of course, I'm from the streets, as you can tell. So yeah. I, I try to keep it real. Do come in. Welcome. Wait, uh, did you get knocked out, Kirsty? No. Then we don't, we don't need to talk, talk to you. you. I we, the biggest stat. Right, we don't need to talk to you. We don't talk to you yet. Goodbye. We need Heck. to talk. We're finished. We're done. Rav's is here. We can't find Alex. We All right, can, can you... Alex, right, no, we, no, quickly. We need to ask you one quick question. Right. No, no, no. no. Wait, we we need you to come in. You Just quick, yep, okay. quickly put on the headset. We, we, we were talking to slide. Mr. Cock. Slide in, slide in. I'm coming. Slide in. We missed that last hand. What happened? Um, I don't remember. Okay. And on that bombshell, we're oh, going to take a short break. We'll right. be back with the third heat after this. Don't go away. We'll be here and you should be too. See you in a bit. <laughs> So that's why I think Worf is the most fuckable of the TNG crew. You make a very good case. Um, oh, oh. Hello. Oh, 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 Welcome, welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> Indeed. 
Ah, let's hop us up there, brother, would you, while I read this out? Right. Um, once again, thank you so much to Displate for this extremely generous donation of $50,000 redos to the Jingle Jam that will be donated to the Winner's Table's chosen charities. $20,000 to first place, $10,000 in second place, and were that not enough, five, 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 five to third, fourth, fifth, and sixth place. And a huge thank you to the Display as well for paying for the creator's travel and accommodation so they can be here in person for the Display Poker Tournament. Thank you, Display Love. Thank you. <sighs> well read. Thank you. Well read, sir. I've got some experience in this kind of thing now. I feel I can pull it off with a combination of authority and aplomb. So we have a fresh table um, uh, for new players plus two new players to join Same them. filthy table, Tom. Fresh players. Fresh players. But stinky table. It smells in that They're room. They're raring to go. Uh, very excited to see who's going to be who's going to be turning up and playing today. Let's have a look who we've got. Oh my God, the Unabomber. Uh, wow, a marathon runner, or oh, it's it's Salacious P Crumb. I believe this is meant to be Salacious P Crumb. Okay, from Return of the Jedi. Uh, a B, a Lollip, Nazi and Xylus, because okay. of course. Zars is coming. Now, interesting story about Big Lids. I did a bit of research. Um, I don't know who Question Mark is, um, but uh, it might be a bit of a dark horse. So, Big Lids there, looking fabulous, of course. Wow. Do, you know, do you know why she's looking so fabulous, Tom? Uh, she finally made an effort. <laughs> well, there is that. But in addition, she murdered. This is the rumor going around. I don't want to spread this too much, but... I think this is true. She murdered her billionaire husband. What? He was old. Um, and she's now inherited his money and is determined to, and I quote, I heard this. I overheard this when I was in the ladies' toilets. Don't ask why I was in there. <laughs> I overheard. I'm going to spunk that money like there's no tomorrow. So she's come here to spunk her dead billionaire husband's money. Um, that's what's going on. Unfortunately, she is next. Any, any poker fans in chat, Phil Lack. Yeah? <laughs> Phil Lack. Am I right? <laughs> oh. Poker fans out there, you know what I'm talking about, baby. But no, this is, uh, this is, this is, I don't know who this is. I genuinely don't know who that is. <clears throat> thank you. Yes, thank you, poker fans. It's nice to have a niche, you know what I mean? <sighs> I'm worried I haven't been uh, clearing these. So I don't understand that reference. Uh, Phil Lack. If yeah. you would compare them to a like a Star Wars character, for example, oh, I love who, doing this. Who would they be? Because then I then I could like you know take part in this as well. That's a tricky one. So let me tell you about. I'll enlist your help by describing Phil Lack the person to you, and we can figure out which Star Wars character he is. Okay. So, do you know the actor? She was in uh, a film called Bound. She was in. The Chucky movies. She was one of the other characters, not Chucky. She was Chucky's girlfriend and bride of Chucky. Okay. Um, what is her name, chat? Jennifer Tilly. Jennifer Tilly. She has extremely large bosoms. She's um, she's she's known for her bosoms, essentially. And she was Phil Lex. She is, I believe, Phil Lex's girlfriend or wife. Mm -hmm. um, and Phil Lack is. A kind of a slightly awkward, nerdy guy um, who is known for doing this. They call him the Unabomber. That was his nickname because okay. he would do this with his hood. Pull it like that and just his glasses. Sent bombs through the post? He did not do that. So in that regard... The, the, Had a manifesto about how technology is taking over our lives and how it needs to be, you know, us resort back to a, a more simple time? No manifesto. Sadly not. No, okay. more... Just this look, and it was like the pictures that they had of the Unabomber were basically a man with a hood and glasses. So people would sort of uh, make make call, call him that. It, known for a lot of speech play, a lot of wild plays. Actually, a very good player. Cultivated this image quite carefully. Uh, seemed quite a funny guy, quite quite carefree. And of course, Han, Han Solo. Maybe, maybe Lando. My first thought was Lando. Um, my first thought was Lando, kind of a gambler. But Phil Lack, I don't believe Phil Lack is like a piece of shit. Lando, lest we forget, 
did abandon Han. Um, and if you watch some of the other movies, was a bit of a dick. So I don't know. I don't know enough about Phil Lack to think that of him as a dick. I think he might be more of a middling character because he was never like a tippity tippity top player. So I wouldn't have him as a main character like your hands. Oh, Thurm Scissor Punch. Sure. That sounds exactly right. Who's Thurm Scissor Punch? Is he in the original trilogy? No. Okay. Is he in the novels? No. Thurm Scissor Punch was in the Is this uh, a video solo game? movie. Oh, okay. And was used in a lot of the branding. Like, there are posters for Thurm Scissor Punch. And I think he turns up for, like, he's on screen for maybe two seconds. All right, let me look him up. Thurm Scissor Punch. Thurm Scissor Punch. So, sorry, this is actually Simon favorites. Honeydew, of course. Oh, uh, okay. Is that Thurm spelt the usual way? Thurm, yep, T-H-E-R-M. Thurm Scissor Punch. Oh, there <laughs> Can, can, you, can you see how they came up with the name Thurm Scissor Punch? The yes. clever play on words. I, I'll show this to chat. This this is Thurm Scissor Punch for anyone that doesn't doesn't see. He's a, he's a lobster man. The camera. He, so Thurm, as in lobster Thermidor, and Scissor Punch, because of course his hands are like scissors. Yeah. It's very clever. But you know what I like when the, when people continue the the Lucas universe, they give them the same dog shit stupid names. Yeah. Like Han, is just like hand. So I think if you want to come up, let's do it now. We'll come up with a name for a Star Wars character. Give me two words. Uh, penis. Loven. Enus. Oven. <laughs> Enus Oven sounds... Enus right there is a Star Wars name. You got to go see a guy called Enus at Mos Eisley. Enus. Enus Oven. Uh, one of my favorite characters. Do you remember the guy? Um, hey, you want to buy some death sticks? <laughs> That guy, <laughs> and then and then the Jedi are like, no, uh, you're gonna rethink your life. And he's like, I'm gonna rethink my life. <laughs> so that character's name is Elan Sleazebagano. <laughs> that I'm not lying. I genuinely not lying. Elan Sleazebagano. Oh, that's so the, funny. They really phoned that name in. They did. It doesn't turn up a lot in the movie, but I mean, like like Sai Snootles. For Size example, noodles. right? Size Noodles, who was the singer in the Max Rebo band, I believe. Size Noodles was. Um, so Max Rebo um, is is a good name. I like the name Max, yeah, Max Rebo. Rebo. Great. Size Snootles. Snootles is a ludicrous word. Snootles is fun. But it is it is also a fun name. I quite like that. Chewbacca is a good name, I think. Luke, it's a bit plain. Uh, yeah, fuck you, Luke. Luke Skywalker. I'm just saying for sci-fi, <laughs> Skywalker is almost making up for the fact his first name is just Luke. Just Han Solo is a definitively cool name. Boba Fett is a very cool name. Bob Fett, you might call him. All right, it's me, Bob All right, Fett. Bob Fett. Here, um, yeah, your, uh, your boiler. Boiler. <laughs> yeah, boiler. First thing they go, <laughs> yeah, my name's Bob Fett. I'm here to fix the boiler. Oh, yeah, come in, Bob. Hand Soloman is already upstairs. Oh, yeah, I know Hand. Yeah, yeah. Um, just some great, just some great names all around. So has Boba T been around long enough that George Lucas went to somewhere in Asia and had Boba T? He was like, Boba T, that's really cool. I'm pretty sure they're like, he's going to be called Bob Fett. And they're like, you can't call him Bob. And they're like, fine. Put a uh, vowel put a, in put there. A, put a letter on the end of his name. Uh, a, great. Job sure, done. Boba, that sounds fine. They yeah. were going to go through the whole alphabet, but they were just like, Boba sounds fine. I mean, you've got Mon. Uh, you've got the the the. Um, Mon Calamari. The Mon Calamari, who are squid people, mm. and General Calrissian, right? Calrissian's a great name, but for literally called them the Mon Calamari. I mean, it's just it's just it's laughable. The Star Wars naming convention is laughable. It's whatever George came up with at the time. Ah, someone just. Rithian is Rithian's out. out. Sorry, sorry, we missed that. Let's get him in. We'll find out what happened. <laughs> just. <laughs> Um, Did I'm anyone know? I'm so anyone? sorry. Quick, chat, what happened? What happened? Quick. Just so you know. Quick, chat, just give us, give us what happened. There is a, a side stream that you can watch where you can just listen to the table talk. You guys um, are talking too much? Shut the fuck up. If we're, if, if we're talking too much, um, what you can do is you can type into your uh, little bar and go to that other stream. And then you don't have to listen to us talk Rivian, about it Come on in. Hello. Oh, man. We were watching that and we were... We felt you were robbed. You have yeah. your pair uh, of sixes grab, there. Pop uh, the headset on. The headset. 
We thought you were absolutely robbed. So you you had your pair of sixes. Yeah. What did he had ace queen or did he have pair she, of queen? Uh, she had her ace queen. She had ace queen. She hit her queen. Yeah. It happened. So so first of all, I had pair of sixes. I was like, okay, I want to make oh, sure they come in a tiny yeah, bit. Come more. in a little there bit. There we go. Yeah. Hello, everyone. So it's like I got to make her pay for it at least when I've got it actually sitting in a pocket pair. So play it and then all right, she clearly hit something. Like or she wouldn't have been in. I gotta get her out of this because I don't think I have top pair, but I've, I've put in way too much of my money. Yeah. And I always have the chance of either hitting another six or some of the club, uh, sorry, diamonds. Yeah. And I mean, we have a history of diamonds on the stream. I was just sitting it's here. It's like, very true. It's true. Diamonds are six, come on. Yeah, it's a good strat. Wasn't there though. But to be honest, I did this for Bree mm. because before he was the one who went out the fastest. No, you me. went out so fast, we barely noticed. It yeah. was so quick. It really was. Like we were so just, we were Bree, like, if you're out there, we were, this one was for you. This one was for this Bree. Was we for were you. literally like, holy shit, yeah. everything's about to go out. We watched the hand. We yeah. were like, we can't believe this is happening. It was really something. Yeah. I, I knew the second she was in that she's got something, but I figured I had the outs, but. Unlucky. You Heart of the Cards the was not with me. The, the only out the you cards. had, the only out you had was the exit. Exactly. And it that's happens. where I'm heading right now. Indeed. Thank you so much. Thank guys. you, you William, for taking part. Amazing sport. Yeah. Thank you for taking part. Absolutely. Uh, in the words of Dante from Clerks, I wasn't even supposed to be here today. He wasn't even supposed to be here today. Yeah. Fill it in. So thank you for that. Have a good time, everyone. Chat, behave yourself, have a lovely time. Donate to the Jingle Jam. See there ya. you Amazing. go. Amazing. Amazing. Oh. Also, the first person to actually move the chair out of shot. Yeah. What a, what a just lad. What a, just what a great guy. What a lad. Just what a great guy. I think. I think I covered that very well. I think we got off with that just so smoothly. We would be amazing con men. <laughs> <laughs> you know, pulling pulling grifts. I think so. I think we have a simpatico. You know what I mean? Just a glance and we yeah, know. We both know we what's, know what's up. We know what's up. I think we could... Uh, we could I get away with a lot. We could get away with a lot. Actually, no, sorry, what I mean is we're absolutely hopeless, Tom. Oh, whoa. Yeah, does anyone want to do some betting with us later on? Because we're terrible at it. Uh, Lewis B. Rindley is a uh, chip leader in this hand, is calling. Jack King gets 5-6. Lydia quickly looking at the hand rankings. Has it's always, nothing. always has a nothing. great sign. Um, but she's not doing terribly. No. She's she's not doing terribly. She's L Lollip is on six fifty. Uh, she has a pair of sevens and the pair of fours. Although they all have the pair of fours, of course. Well, you know, um, there are hearts out there. Nobody has it. I think they're just going to check it down, and they're going to show their hands, and Lollip will take it with the pair of sevens. I love the way the um, the thing at the top that shows you which is the winning hand is the wrong way around. Uh, the hand, the cards that are that are in should be bumped up, and the ones that are not should be bumped down. But instead, it kind of looks like she's playing the queen deuce, which of course she is not. Yeah, I've been noticing that as well, yeah. and madness, I'd say. You were the one who brought it to my attention, Tom, in the break. <laughs> yeah, you know, I like to, um, uh, but I, I'd rather you sound like the knowledgeable one as we're streaming. It's very um, kind of you, very generous. Like I'm not here to do that. I'm here to play. To f just fill a sleep. Um, yeah, a chip and a chair. Just a chip and a chair. I don't have the chip, but I do have a chair, so we'll see how that all And we might get out. some chips later if things Ooh, work. okay. Very nice. Uh, so anyway, back to Star Wars. Oh, yeah, go on. No, <laughs> just, <laughs> maybe we should talk about the poker sure. at least a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Uh, Nilesy, they're feeding so Kermit. Do you think that they will be able to play enough hands for Nilesy to be able to win this? No, I think, uh, quite honestly, um, it doesn't matter how good you are at poker in these. Bear in mind, for anyone watching in chat, I'm going to pitch something to you. It's a 2,000 chip stack, six-handed. The blinds start off at 2550. The next level is 5100. And then, depending on how slow it's going, it might go to 200, 400, and then 400, 800, like that. You do not have time to wait. There's no patience. If you get kings, uh, which uh, young young Lewis B. Rindley has, mm. um, someone like Lollip with her A6 might just bang it all in. She's just going to call, actually. Uh, Nazi and Xylus is thinking, well, I'm kind of priced in, but as a player who knows what I'm doing, I'm going to fold. Uh, Lids might play the 6-5 here, but she's going to muck that, I think. She should fold it. She's like, well, I do like the look of a 6 and a 5 offsuit. 
So it's only, what is it, 100 to call? She might do it. She's given a good thing. Remember, this is her husband's billions that she took from him by by murder. Oh, how did uh, how did he die? Cyanide. Cyanide? But I mean, like, you know, what publicly was his death? Oh, you know, oh did he fall old down age. the stairs? Or... He was old. No, he was old. Just died of mysterious old age. Old ageness. Yes, but the rumor going around on the poker circuit is that Big Lids poisoned him. Wow. I heard about this just before I came in here. Uh, so she's here to gamble her her, her former husband's uh, billions publicly. She'll tell you that they were very much in love, but in fact, oh. cyanide. That's the rumor going around. It's the rumor. Which I'm willfully spreading, but uh, I'm not saying it's true. But not it, strangled. But it could be. Uh, it could be. But it could be. Shouldn't I call the police? Well, I don't have any evidence. This is just oh. rumor. Uh, there's a pair of kings on Lewis B. Rindley right now. The and Cowboys, the Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback Mountain itself. Uh, 4567, Lids is looking. <laughs> is 4567 anything? She's like, oh, it has to be five of them. <laughs> what a pro. She just really knows what's going on. Yeah, she and I, and I love, love that like energy. <laughs> uh, so. They just all turn them over. Very gentlemanly, very, very apologetic. And the Pocket Kings somehow don't win anything other than a couple of hundred quid. Sarah, please. Please. Too sweet and too polite. And she grabs the money, though. Look at that. Oh. Americans. Am I right? Give me that money. Is that a famous thing that Americans do? They love money. Welcome to America. I hope you like money. That's I, all we care about here. I do like money. I like you like steaks, big steak dinner. I do like a big steak dinner. What about a steak for breakfast? Because we got that here in America. I don't really eat that much breakfast. I'm not a big I'm breakfast a, person. You're not a big breakfast guy? Let me tell you something. You get a good steak breakfast down here. I have an apple for breakfast. I generally just have a cup of tea. Really? Yeah. And, and, uh, and that'll do. But... Uh, you gotta get a steak down here with gravy. Although their gravy looks like cow jizz. Oh, not. that sounds fucking amazing. Or bull jizz, I should say. It's it's cow jizz is just milk, right? Indeed. You're just talking about milk steak. Not a milk steak. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that big in America? I, I hope so. I, milkshakes and milk steaks. Get them here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so what that is su that is at? southern gravy that is country gravy yeah I'll accept that my bad but isn't that basically you just have uh, you know you've cooked your steak you know there's the formed in the pan and then you just add um, cream to it and that's how you make your gravy right it's not like that is that not it's it it's like a chunky floury fucking mess it's so bad dude oh they have it on like fried chicken gravy and you think this could be gravy and they come out with this white shit and it just tastes fucking awful Collard greens, love it. Barbecue in America, amazing, amazing. You're talking about your, your, your pulled pork, I'm talking slow cooked ribs, so fucking good. They are great at barbecue, but I'm just saying that the gravy, you great gotta, at barbecue, you gotta bad at gravy. Shit. Bad at gravy, and I would take gravy over barbecue. I'm sorry, I love barbecue, but you can't have a good roast without good gravy, and y'all, Y'all can't do good gravy in the South. I'm sorry, Southerners, but it's true. Oof. The French know how to make gravy. The Americans don't. I'm happy to go on the record. Although with the, the French, are you really getting a gravy? You're getting like a roux, right? A jus or a roux. Uh, Mais oui, c'est formidable. Gravy de français, c'est mon favorite. Oui. Le flavor. Oui. Le flavor. Le texture, le graver, <laughs> le graver. <laughs> uh, Lids with ace four. She's got nout. She's um, got not a lot. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack for lollip. So she's got jack high. She has a straight. Jack high straight. <laughs> jack high straight. She win the moolah. I think she just worked it out as well. Yep, she's laughing. I don't know what I'm doing. This might be the. I don't know what I'm doing stack plus Nilesy, who do know what he doing. Which is going to be so... Agony. So terrifying uh, when he just doesn't um, doesn't get the cards. No card. I mean, if, if literally, Tom, if he is card dead, where he's just got like queen dudes, 10-3, 7-4 and stuff. 
or he'll, you can't win. Or he'll just be betting against people who are playing literally at random. Yep. And it is hard. It is really he'll hard. He'll start second guessing and it could be a nightmare. But he's experienced. I've played against players like that in home games where you try to make a bet and you're like, there's no way this guy can call this. And they call you with like, oh, I had a seven in my hand. You're like, all right, I only had a six in my hand. To be fair, you have one. But that's the worst call I've ever seen. You know, like, what are you doing? Like, you, you can't put oh, me love, on a six-five I love six it when you play, up. play games with people like that. Oh, like, it's... oh, you won, but... <laughs> you, I, I'm now going to explain why you shouldn't have won and how I am actually the better player. Yes. You, um, you won. I, I'm going to keep explaining that until you agree I'm the better one and just really just shit all over that victory. This was had. for money. So you're playing for money. It's like a 50-quid pot and someone just goes, oh, I don't know, I had a seven. It's my lucky number, and they win. You're like, Fuck. you know, I respect that. What that guy's play? Yeah. Oh, I like, I like the sad. number seven. <laughs> I like seven. I like ones with the hearts on them. <laughs> <laughs> Math. Oh, I have a seven. <laughs> Math. Ego, <laughs> get out of there. Eight deuce for Lewis B. Rindley. Simon Honeydew has King Ten. Where is Simon Honeydew gone? Oh my God, gone? we are uh, thir thirty-two dollars off of uh, six nine. No, we need more. We're, we are we're, close. We're close to all the six nines. We're really close. We need Simon 27 nines. quid. And that'd be six nine six. No, oh, three, wait, no, three hundred and twenty seven 327 pounds. 327 pounds. Somebody donate 327 pounds and we're, we're close. If that, if that comes in. Oh, we, we missed it by three quid, actually. Somebody donate three pounds. If you took three pounds. No, I'm oh. wrong. No, that would be 300. six nine six 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 nine six yeah. nine. So we were close. But not, not the enchilada. That is a pair of kings. Lollip also has a pair of kings and a better pair of kings. Uh, ooh, Lollip with a pair of kings. Very nice. Simon Honeydew <laughs> going for that pair of kings. Is going to bet this? Has bet this. Well, I guess if you see a pair of kings, yeah. you're probably like, I've got a good, a good chance. Nice to see uh, Simon Honeydew here. You notice the young Simon Honeydew when he's got, got more, more hair on him? When he looks like a marathon runner. And, you know, beard. Beard's looking good. Does Simon have that hairstyle? That hairstyle? Mm. Simon's got the hairstyle of a Millwall supporter. <laughs> true. And he's got a bunch of new ink. That's true. Does Simon have any tattoos? Uh, he's got the secret ones. Has he actually? Do you know. Ah. Down below, below the belt. Intriguing. I feel like you, do you, you don't have any tattoos. Do I you? don't. I don't have any tattoos either. I don't think Lewis has any tattoos. I don't think Bennett has any tattoos. There's a certain subset of yogs who are not tattoo havers. That's true. Because when I was a, a young lad, getting a tattoo was still like a, quite a big thing. Mm. You had to be like a sailor or, or you know, a hard man. Um, other people just didn't get them. Uh, and nowadays, in fact, hard men are the ones who don't have tattoos is the way I see it. And uh, any any barista or, or hipster is is in, in fact covered in tattoos. It's no longer a, the, the the preserve of the, the the unpleasant. Now anyone can have them, and it's much more uh, open. I heard a fact, which is hundred percent true. Do not check this up. I would not. That uh, the UK is the most tattooed country in the world. Is that true? Hundred percent true. Don't look it up. There you go. Don't check that, please. Don't check that. 100% true. Why did they split? Who knows, dude? I, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure. We're just chilling. 30% true. I'll take it. I'll take that. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, but I've always, always wanted to get tattoos. I, big, I've thought about it a lot. but I'm a big I, fan. My issue is, first of all, I haven't found anything I'd want to stick on me. And second of all, despite this, Tom, everything below here is very hairy. So there's no body part where I'm like, I could easily put a tattoo there, it would be visible. Oh, but it'll be imagine. masked. You could give that full body wax. You could become Snake Boy. I, I have had waxing, and it's very painful, and it's not like permanent. So you just have to continually have it. And I'm thinking, is it safe to wax a tattooed area? I don't know if it is. So I'm just like, I, I just, fuck it. I just won't get one. I'll be, I'll be perfect as god made me um well, no, i should get a tattoo probably of some hair or 
An egg. Someone said I should just get a fried egg tattooed on my head. That's always going to be a great look. Yeah, or the cracked egg look with yolk coming out of the top of my head. I think that's, that's a cool vibe as well. A good, great look, really, honestly. Lids with Jack Queen, Ace Seven for Simon Honeydew, Ace Four for Lewis B. Rindley, and Eight Four for Nazi and Xylus. You know what? It, it is tempting to ask Lewis. Uh, sorry, to ask Simon Honey to budge over one, because otherwise they're kind of out of shot, but I guess this, this works. I don't care. It's fine. Yes! <laughs> we can't remember how she went out, but bring her in. Come on in. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I reckon we're the eighth most tattooed country. Top eighth. of my head. Yeah, Why top you say of my head. Just thought, just feels you right. Higher. Uh, higher countries would be the United States. No. Yep. No, think of all the Christians. They love a tattoo. Do they? You God stuff everywhere, man. Okay. Alex. Sorry. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Sorry, Thursday. <laughs> What's really Thursday. just gliding in. Yeah. <laughs> like um, a ninja. Hello. I heard you were looking for me about an hour ago. We were. Hi. What, what went wrong? I never really had anything good. But I do want to thank uh, everyone who ever believed in me, my mum, my family, um, all of you. There was a lot of positivity. And, uh, especially all of you who've donated. I feel like that's oh. really yes. the fan base. <laughs> what, what was the hand you went out on? Remind us. Uh, uh, that's a good question. I had a five and an eight. Um, it's upside a classic down exit heart. hand. It is a classic exit it hand. Was, it was not a terrible hand, but it was not. I, I just had that like the whole game, like this kind of like middle hands and then just mm. nothing ever came up for me it to happens. make it happen. It I was actually furious to see that um, Boba had two aces at the very, <laughs> at the very oh. beginning of her game. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest, because I never had anything like that. Yeah, yeah. sometimes um, people just get, get real lucky. I mean, you probably only saw like 10 hands. So it happens, right? You, you, you don't see many hands. It's a, it's a turbo tournament. It, We've got to get it was, through this. It was tough as well because Mr. Cock t it was just doing some crazy plays. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so Mr. Cock. You can't, oh, Mr. Cock. Was, yeah, you, you, you know, you, you can't read Mr. Cock. Who knows what's going on in that in that, that Those bird beady brain. eyes. Yeah, beady eyes. Yeah. Beady okay. is right. All right, well, thank you, Alex. Better luck next time. No worries. Time. Sorry it took me about a year to get here, but I'm here. Thank you, you so much for having me. Did amazingly. You Thank did you. great. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining I'm us. I'm sorry you didn't you didn't get to to, to do more pokering, but uh, no. Feel Next free time. to hang out with us and uh, and get drunk. I I'm already on my way. Hell yes. yeah! Excellent. Let's go. <laughs> You're in good company. Thank Join you. us. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Ace four ace seven eight four. Nazi takes this with the eights at the moment. Wow. But is Lit going to make a foolish decision here? with her husband's billions, her ex-husband, former husband's billions, her tragically deceased husband's billions. And he gets himself a nice pot there. You know, brings him It's a 2K up. pot. Brings him up a little bit. That is, uh, yeah, Nilesy looking good. Sorry, Nilesy and Xylus, of course. They are playing as a duo. Lids sloshing down that booze. Yeah, you know. Like the femme fatale hussy, the murderous hussy that she is. Oh, sorry. So, I don't want to spread salacious so rumors. Please. Um, That's just the talk amongst high society, of which, of course, I am a part. Wow, wow, wow. Would you like to be part of high society? Um, so here's a question. Uh, do I have to enjoy it? Or can I be one of those more sort of like, yes, I suppose that's a nice car. One of those kind of dickheads. Resentful, but the bonuses of being incredibly wealthy and not really having to work and all that. Is that enough? Is the payoff of being part of high society, therefore being wealthy, being a mover and a shaker, being able to break a man with a, a word. Mm. Is that enough and to, to then essentially have no friends? Because you know they're all just out for themselves and they're all bastards. No one's actually like, ah, oh, Edward, so wonderful to see you again. I heard you bought a little place in Italy. And you'd be like, yeah, it's like, you know, a thousand acres square. But of course, all your neighbors have 10,000 acres square. Oh. So whatever you do is not good enough. Even though it's better than 99.9% .9 of people in the world, if you're part of high society, whatever you do is not going to be good enough unless you're like royal family or like the richest dude in the fucking universe. And if you're a nouveau riche, of course, you don't belong. So you have to be of, you have to have come from money and a lot of it to be genuinely accepted. So you'd never fit in anyway and you wouldn't have any real friends. Count me in. <laughs> Count me in. It's No, it, it honestly sounds fucking awful. Uh, a joyless existence. 
I think I think I could enjoy it if you know if you come from a lot of money. Right. But then you know you could be uh, the eccentric wild card. You know, <laughs> as they're having their big lawn party, I land my biplane, jump out. Right. You know, drunk. So you're like you have uh, regular friends and just dick about, just and they're all around. worried about. But you're from enough money that people still have to like pretend it's tom clark and you know they all fucking hate me but they all have to be you they know. all have to be obsequious yeah so yeah. your 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 relationship with them would be not confrontational but you don't give a fuck yeah i think uh, yeah like my and you make them have to be nice to you just to fuck with them yeah. i think that's the only way it would work that would be how i'd have a lot of fun S simon what the heck so Oh, thank goodness! God, I thought, I thought Simon had been replaced by an imposter there for a moment. He just had a uh, just had a little. A little Liz slip. is leading here with the kings, but a pair of fives for Lewis B. Rindley and a pair of fives for Lollip. Can Big Lids, much in the same way she murdered her husband, squeeze some money out of these two? Oh, we need to see the last card. Looks like they're all going to check it down. Oh, someone's uh, folded. Oh, she's bet a hundo, and uh, everybody's folded. Is Lollip going to call here? She did call. Pots okay. up to 500. Nay, 600. 500, 600. Either way, it's around there somewhere. Lollip is thinking. Her hand has not improved. What's Lids going to do? She's got top pair here. There are some scary cards out there, but I reckon she's going to bet 200. She's going to bet 100. Slap! And then the lean back. And then the lean in when she realizes that doesn't look good. <laughs> the uh, psychology going on right now. <laughs> Lollip is thinking. She's given a Lids a good hard stare there. She's thinking, have you got anything? Lids has given nothing away apart from a little smile and a chuckle. <laughs> this is all just fun. Just call me. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> See if she can milk some money out of Lollip. Lollip's going to probably fold here. She's going to call. She's going to call. Yeah, there we go. Easy hundo for Lids. Flip them. Got a pair of kings. How about that? Lollip's, damn it. I only had a nine. Damn Shit. It. I just wanted to play. She had a five, actually. Sorry. All right, let's read some more donos. Uh, 350 from No Name Provided. Thank you. Oh, um, thanks, Ips sir. with 227. Thank you. Crowling with 100. Crowling's a good name. Crowling. As Crowling sounds like... Um, Alistair Crowley, the Satanist? Uh, a bit like that. But no, I, I, I'd want like a, like a big henchman. Crowling! Send him Mr. Crowling and, <laughs> uh, you know, have a little bowl yeah. hat and a big black... Doesn't like, say oh, much. No. Bring me get crowling on it. And he just comes in like cracks his knuckles and um, he uses a cudgel. Oh, he's a cudgel man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Crowling! That butcher down on Chase's Lane, take care of it. Right you are, sir. Crowling's on the case. So, yeah. Uh, no, well, thank you, Crowling, yeah, for thank donating you. your thank hard you, earned uh, <laughs> blood money, I guess. <laughs> and thank you for all the murders. Uh, from Guy. Uh, loving the Jingle Jam. I'm going to be catching up with the VODs for the next few months. Thank you all for the hard work and have a merry festivus. Thank you, Guy. Nocturnal Rick. Uh, just waking up. Thank you, Rick, for the morning <laughs> dono. Do you have steak for breakfast? <laughs> well, I would if I woke up at 10. That's for sure. Uh, Robert M. Thanks for the many years of great content. You are very welcome. Handsome, sexy caveman. Oh. Donating for my buddy, who I haven't seen in a while due to family commitments. Raising a child is hard work, yo. Stay sexy everyone Ooh. i think i'm filling in the blanks here it, it was, was sexy. sexy it was sexy uh we've read that one mary jingle jam from grudgeon <laughs> grudgeon <laughs> grudgeon is uh crowling's henchman <laughs> <laughs> when crowling doesn't want to do something he gets grudgeon says grudgeon get grudgeon grudgeon get me a blade <laughs> oh yes crowling i will <laughs> grudgeon that's uh, a grudgeon here's one from neep Thank you, Yogis, for all the laughs and comfort over the years, and well done for all the money raised. Keep slaying. Slay! Um, a geophysicist from Texas. Go on. Oh, tell us about your terrible gravy, please, geophysicist. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with Texas gravy. Cheers to Booth and Lydia. All right. Yeah, always favorites. I miss seeing them as much on the main channel. Wishing them all the happiness working. What about Tom and Perian? What about some love for us? Tom and I don't be liking them two limey sons of bitches. Shit talking my gravy. Shit talk my gravy. Making fun of Wharf. 
<laughs> We're not making fun of Wolf. We love Wolf. Yeah, we love Wolf. What the hell? Uh, from from Jock, fifty quid. Thank you, love Tom and Ted. Thank you very much. Oh well, they love us, even if the uh, yeah, the give, Americans give fucked, don't. Texas. <laughs> Jock loves us. Thank you, Beth. The Jingle Jam is a Christmas tradition in our house. It gets better every time and excellent seeing how much has been raised for charity over the years. Happy Christmas, indeed. It's bonkers. Austin Cat. Let me know if a hand happens, Tom. Keep an eye. We have a hand. Lids is in with Queen 7. She shouldn't be. She's folded. She's folded. Lewis B. Rindley has second pair with a good Ooh. kicker. Lollip has second pair which with another pair. She has two pairs. And that is a bet from Xylus and Nilesy. Oh, Nilesy Niles with a pair of kings. He does not have a pair of kings. But he has he a pair of tens. Doesn't have that. But also, he is on his way. He's drawing to, to the flush. Get a queen, and he gets a flush. He needs a queen or a heart. So that's nine. Tell him the twelve outs. Uh, well, that's good, like seventeen percent. Give him a, uh, that is about twenty-five percent. Okay. Okay. Wait! Uh, he can also hit another 10. So 28. 31% maybe? And uh, he could also hit another. Maybe 31. He could also hit a 10. I'm going to say 31, 32%. Ooh! Full house. Eights to kings. Ouch. Lollop has rivered a full house. She's all in. Now it's between Lewis B. Rindley. Sorry. Yeah, Lewis B. Rindley and Xylas. They're flipping them. She's hit the she's hit the boat. She's boated up. Kings and eights. Oh, that's a boat. What does a boat mean? It's just a boat is like a three, th a full house. So three and a two is called a boat. Why? I do not know. Why, Papa? I don't know, son. My boy, it's one of those few things I don't know. I know everything else, but not why a full house is called a boat. Why, when will I die, Papa? <laughs> Any day now, boy. <laughs> oh, God. Any day now. Winter is coming. Once the life insurance goes through. <laughs> Let me look. Why is a full house called a boat? Let's have a look. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, let's use that. Okay, Google. Oh, I turned you off. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. Shall I do it? Hello, Perian. <laughs> why is a full house called a boat? The most likely origin is that the term full house became full boat as a result of riverboat gambling, where the game was frequently played and they were on a boat, not in a house. Fuck off. I'd love to do some riverboat gambling. That would be sweet. That would in be my sweet. white linen suit. Yeah. I heard you gentlemen were interested in playing a little poker. Yeah. I rode here on my fine white horse, and uh, I'd like to gamble a little money, if I may, sir. May I sit down at the game with you? That sounds, that sounds fucking great. That kind of thing. Well, quite a good day to you, gentlemen. I... Well, sir, I say, sir, this is a <laughs> private game for respectable folks. Uh, we're high society people, <laughs> and I saw you turning up on your bar plane over there, and we do not respect that kind of tomfoolery on this boat, sir. Well, sir, I should like to remind you I am from the Clark family. I am, in fact, Thomas Clark. Well, uh, 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 please, on my, 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 my abrupt nature, just I've had a, a few sarsaparillas <laughs> in me, and uh, I misspoke the Tom Clark. Uh, no of, offense uh, taken, gentlemen. Uh, it's a, it's a, a no-limit game, I suppose. I, I may have to borrow a little money. <laughs> well, I'm sure we, <laughs> just we joking, could of help course. you out. <laughs> just joking, of course. I take a gold balloons of value here. <laughs> Would you be willing to bet that one? watch of yours that you're wearing. My watch? Why, quiet it. The King of Denmark gave me this watch. I wouldn't trade with it for the world, but then again, it is a gentleman's game, so <laughs> well, whatever goes on all. on a riverboat stays on a riverboat. That prince didn't need to know nothing about it. Oh, <laughs> my mask is slipping. <laughs> it's all okay. <laughs> Doing amazing, amazing. God, these rehearsed bits are just... Oh, oh. God, we work on them so hard. Just nailed them I'm just every glad year. the fans love it. We got uh, Jack Seven, so Pocket Jack, sorry, not Pocket Jacks, Pair of Jacks for uh, Nalsi and Xylus. Eight Deuce for Simon Hunter, you with the worst hand of the game. Uh, one of the second worst hand of the game. And Big Lids, uh, looks like she's about to start singing in a choir. She's dressed in choral fashion, she's holding sheet music in front of her, but in fact, that is the hand ranking because she has no idea what she's doing. She is out of there. She's out. But you know what? A lot of players say they don't know what they're doing and they will not use the hand ranking. Lids. Shameless, we'll just hold it up in front of her. Let me just see what I've got here, everybody, and we'll read and decide, no. Nope, what is it? I've made the decision, I'm out. I respect no. that. If you don't know what you're doing, just own up to it. Yeah, you know, ask. 
Seek help. Own it. Own it. Wow. I think Nazi folded there. Folded to Simon Honeydew. They are. Are they still moment. in? No, they're still in. Uh, they're just trading trips between each other. Are they just trying to drag this out as long as they can? I don't know. Yeah. Increase the blinds. Increase the blinds. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's having a great time. Who? Sorry, uh, Lewis B. Rindley is having mm. a great time. Just happy, happy to be involved. I feel like more people should have been out by now. Maybe we're just used to it being Fast and the Furious, uh, Yogg's edition. Um. Why, well, Sarah, I'm going to whip my whistle with some Thatcher's gold. Well, we... hell, that's a mighty fine drink you got there. <laughs> We've done that. We've done that bit. We need to do another. We'll move on. Come on to a new. We'll a move new, on. Uh... We've come up with Gudgeon and Whitling, whatever the uh, the murderous uh, henchmen were called. What was the fucking guy at the very beginning? Cowling? Ca cra Crowling? Cragdor. What was the. Oh, the... Gab Gabnor. Gabnor. <laughs> <laughs> we got we instantly forgot about Gabnor. Law, law, law. Just pour it out of us. <laughs> Gabnor the Destroyer. Yeah, just what happened to Gabnor? <laughs> Did Gabnor turn up? We just missed it. I, I hope Gabnor didn't turn up. Listen, Tom, if Gabnor turned up, you ain't missing that, I tell you what. Holy shit. Fucking Gabnor. Praise Gabnor. Hail Gabnor. Oh, hail Gabnor. <laughs> <laughs> love, love that guy. Sorry, do you want a, do you want a top up? Oh, yeah, sure. Go for I, it, mate. I, yeah. not you uh, I thought up. we might have drinked it all. No, we got more to drink. I think there's um another bottle as well. We don't praise Gabnor, we hail Gabnor. Hail Gabnor! Praise sounds a little too wishy-washy nice. You just hail Gabnor, and yeah. then you bow. Hail! Hail, great Gabnor! We have brought you a tribute of the Ace of Diamonds. I demand the Ace of Spades! I'm oh, sorry, Gabnor! Gabnor loves all the Aces, but the Ace of Diamonds is Gabnor's favorite. Mm -hmm. um, everyone knows that. Hail Gabnor. Mm. Hail Gabnor. Hail Gabnor. We Gabnorites are a steely bunch. The Gabnorites, oh. But we serve Gabnor. A terrifying, <laughs> a terrifying group. Look out, Conan, the minions of Gabnor. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do sound like someone that Conan would. Conan would fight. He would turn up to the Temple of Gabnor. I am kill here at the Temple of Gabnor. Fucking all of them. I am here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum in the Temple of Gabnor. <laughs> Regular chum, great causes, great causes, sorry, great host, terrible poker. Merry Christmas. Thank you, regular chum. Dion Fay Wright, love watching Tom and Poo Flack sometimes tell us about poker. It's not a serious game until we decide to start talking about it. Austin Cat, I've already read yours. If you have a tiny penis, thank you. Grumpy Ooh. Nerd, thank you, Grumpy. The only time you should go all in is when you're giving to charity. Happy Jingle Jam, you goons. Thank you, sir. A regular viewer. Oh, they are. I feel obliged to inform you that Denmark does not have a king. They did. They did. And then Hamlet took over, as I understand it. That was the lot I checked out around the Hamlet time. If something's changed since then, I apologize. Um, I also said the Prince of Denmark, I believe. Mm. Uh, Tom de Quick. Thanks for all the years of fun. Oh, Tom de Quick. Tom de Quick. <laughs> McFilthy. The legendary poker stream. We're watching Jingle Jam since the beginning whenever the time allows. Thanks for years of entertainment. You are very welcome. Oh, thank you. Uh, we have Ace 5 for Liz, Pocket Queens for Lewis B. Ridley, and King 10 for Lollip. This could be an intriguing hand of poker. Ooh, okay. Nazi is instantly out. Wise. King 7 is not a great hand. Why? Let's say you hit your king. Let's say the board comes down. Deuce 7, King. Ignore the 7 he's got. Uh, Deuce 5, King. Uh, you think, wow, I made my king. You make a big bet and someone raises you. Are you thinking, I'm sure my king is still good? Or are you thinking, they might have a better king? So your kicker, which is the card that accompanies the one, your, your high card. So let's say I have ace-king and an ace comes on the board. Unless they've paired their other card, I have ace and a king and whatever right, else is there. Okay. They have ace and say a a seven and whatever else is there. So the kicker, which is like your extra push. Your sidekick. Your sidekick, the the crudgeon to your McWhirt <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your sidekick card <laughs> has to be good. Uh, so a king seven means even if he hits his king, is he committed to it? It's hard, you don't want to go out on king seven. Mm. And he's right, because Lollip, of course, has king 10, which is a stronger hand. So he, has, he would have hit his seven, but three clubs. Lids is drawing to the ace 
high flush of clubs. Ooh. And in fact, has a straight draw if she hits a two. And even if she hits running cards, a straight flush draw, potentially speaking. Lewis B. Rindley has a pair of queens, so a maid hand, which Lids doesn't currently have, and also a draw to the queen high flush. So it's probably also thinking they're in a good spot. Pair there one. is the five. So Lids has hit a five. So another five or an ace or a club will make her hand very strong. Is Lewis B. Rindley afraid here? Lewis B. Rindley is going to check as well. Someone hundred you has nothing apart from a pair of sevens and is going to keep checking us down. Lollip is also checking. They're all very cautious. Let's see. The final card is the ace. Liz has oh, hit you back. Did you see the Lydia's tell from Liz there? She the... jumped to mine and went, woo -hoo -hoo! woo -hoo! woo -hoo! Bit of a giveaway, but she essentially revealed that she might have a strong hand. She oh. has two pair. Oh, and now yeah. she's like, oh, I don't have nothing. Here's me sitting back. Oh, and now I've realized I do have a good hand, so I'll hunch forward. <laughs> Scratch my face, look into uh, just my hair. Look as, at Sarah. As this happened, we did just hit 2.7 million. Did we? We did. Huzzah! Huzzah! Huzzah and hurrah. Um, well done, team. Amazing, amazing stuff. Thank you so much to all of you guys. All for of you. Taking part, donating. Without you, none of this could be happening. Um, the Man Speaks Truth. Amazing. By Gabnor. All... <laughs> Praise Gabnor. <laughs> uh, Thanks to the power of Gabnor, we have hit 2.7 million. Well done. So, Big Liz is all in. She should be all in. She has the best hand, and she has you. won. And now they're sliding all the money towards her, and she gets to keep those. She gets to keep that. She gets to take that home with her. She does. Just like her dead husband's millions. <laughs> oh, billions, Tom. Billions. Billions. That's how much oh. money we're talking about. Uh, oh. From David R. I get to the Jiggle Jam every year. I especially appreciate Polka Night. Enjoy the Tom and Wheelboy tabs, Tony. Well, Wheelboy's dead, of course. So Wheelboy's we'll gone. On. Rose Soup. So many great charities on the list. So happy to donate. Thank you, Rose Soup. Battle Axe Max. Love you guys. Always know Christmas time is something. Thank you. Andrew G. I've been watching since the beginning of Jiggle Jam. Thank you, Andrew G. Cheers. Nikolai. Just says nice. Thank you. Donate provided 35 quid. Maddie, my favorite time of year. Thank you for all you do. Your gal, Maple. Uh, support LGBTQ rights. Thank you. Hwangry dude. Uh, always a pleasure to watch the Jingle Jam live every year. I've been watching it when I slutted uni? Shitted uni? Started. Because you can't tart. Because tart slutted uni. Why would I jump slutted to that? Slutted uni? When I slutted uni, I'm watching now as a grown adult working only the best oh, for I all fucking the members. slutted uni last slutted year, it, mate. mate. Fucking slutted it. Uh, Pyrrhon and Tom, well run as always. Also, flush a cake for real boy. No. Uh, we've already read that message. Pit Rock, bless those sweet yogs. Thank you. Uh, no, I've not really read that one. Not, I've already read that one. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, I love you from Dirkwood. Thank you. Tomatu, nice. Thank you. Duke of Chutney. The Duke of Chutney. Says Udalali. I don't know what it means, but thank you. Jonah, well done on the monkeys. Monies. Monkeys. Monkeys. Monies. Question for Ted. Thank you. Given you've often helped at TI, how much more fun, organized, and entertaining is Yogg's Poker each year? Well, I mean, they don't really compare, do they? Uh, this is an excuse to get drunk and hang out with my mates. TI is, is work. So they, they don't really compare in that regard. Um, this is this. What is he's trying to say is this is a lot more professional. This is this is a lot more professional and fun. Uh, we've read that one. Long time longest watch. The first time jiggled jammer. Thank you, Fergus, uh, King of Denmark. P flat's gonna have my watch back. Love you. No, you cannot. Uh, so I I won that that watch fair and square in a wager. Uh, Nico, you all are amazing people. Thank you. Appa, keep up the good work. Thank you. Linus Gunnison, love you. Thank you. Changa or Changer 101. Missed the hat film stream, so don't knowing late, but love what all you guys do. Have an amazing time. Merry Crimbus. Thank you. Merry Crimbus. Back to, to the you poker. Too. Liz with a Queen 10. 6 8 for Simon Honeydew. Suited, of course. Lewis B. Rinley. Ace 5. 9 3 for Lollip. And a King 3 for Xylus. Oh. And Nilesy. So, Simon Honeydew, all in. I think. Are they... you fucking kidding me? She just flopped a boat. Just flopped a full house. Eights and sixes. Wow. Try not to reveal it too much, Boba, but you look jolly happy there for a second. Uh, Holy shit. Although she only had a tiny, tiny little baby amount of chips. So True. 850 in there. So it's between it's between Big Lids and Lewis B. Rindley. And at the moment, Lewis B. Rindley is winning. We need a queen or a ten for Lids to, to, to win it. Otherwise, Lewis B. Rindley will sweep the side pot. Lewis B. Rindley takes the side pot of 1600, and 850 goes the way of Lewis. Sorry, of Simon Honeydew. Excuse me. So, yeah, that was, oh man. For a full house, it is a very tiny little pot. It is, but a chip and a chair, John. Chip and a chair. Chip and a I chair. I love, love that saying. Just, I, oh, I just use it all the time. 
Yeah. Yeah. You know. Anytime you think, and someone's like, well, Tom's down and out. Sorry, mate. Chip in a chair. Well, you know, I've just been letting myself go a little bit, haven't I? Chip in a chair. We need to up the fucking blinds. Actually, wait, half the players are almost out anyway. She's all in again, I think, unless this is the previous pot. Uh, Lewis B. Ridley is on no chips. I think it's just between lids. I think uh, Sarah is on basically bugger all. Boba also has bugger all, but has just doubled up. I think Lollop has a little bit, and Nazi might have just been sitting pretty waiting. Just letting, letting them, them battle it out. Squall amongst each other, because he's not had to be part of one of these hands for a little while. And so he's, he's doing great. Wait. Well, okay, right, they've, they've got it sorted. Yeah, sorry, Boba and Sarah couldn't make it. So we have uh, Simon and Lewis here are playing again. Yeah. Uh, Simon on the left there, obviously, and Lewis B. Rindley on the right. Simon in his classic your Superman frame. hoodie uh, yeah. he's known for. Famous for. And him. his luscious head of hair. Indeed, and full ginger beard running all the way down to his chest. All the way down. Like some kind of uh, hairy druid. Hairy <laughs> druid, that's right. Lids looks unimpressed. This is not the billions that she uh, was hoping to win. She's just just disappointed that the uh, cyanide that she spiked their drinks with has not kicked in yet. <laughs> She's like, I should have walked away from this table and everyone should be dead by now. Yeah. Why aren't they dead, damn it? Crowling, the cyanide you acquired for me was ineffective. Ooh, I, I tossed Gudgeon with that job. <laughs> oh, not fucking Grudgeon. <laughs> Bring Grudgeon in that here. That guy's fucking awful. Grudgeon, you've let me down for the second to last time. There, <laughs> yeah, there you shall know, be one other. Chance. <laughs> there shall be one I'm other chance. I'm semi-forgiving. <laughs> Oddly enough, it is hard for a villain like me to acquire truly competent hench people. Yeah. But How do you even go about that? I mean, it must happen. Like, all these billionaires and everything have henchmen. Is there a private company you go to? I mean, nowadays it's all, like, private ex-military. You go to a merc company and hire these lads, right? Right. But in the in the old days, how do you go about hiring a henchman? There is sometimes a backstory. Can we just divert and talk about Andor briefly? I've not watched it. I don't want any spoilers. I'm not going to spoil it. I just want to pitch something to you, um, which I thought was really my probably one of my favorite things about the show. Okay. Oh, it's the bit when he kills the main, main bad guy. <laughs> and it's great. No, it's more of an overriding. I would never spoil. Okay, so tell me. One of, my, me with the... one of my favorite things about it is that all the characters in the show have a fleshed out, if not necessarily a fleshed out, fully fleshed out backstory. Enough is hinted at that you know where they're coming from. Or you see enough of them literally in their bloody day-to-day -day lives that you understand why they are the way, the way they are. They uh, have okay. enough about them where you're like, I get this guy now. I know who he is. He's oh. not just a faceless baddie. Or, you know, she, she's not just doing this because she's like, she's just kind of a bitch. You know, it's like th there's a reason. Okay, and I like I like that. There is there is a scene, this is no spoilers, where like the oh. ISB, which is like the Imperial Special Division, like the CIA, but for the Imperials, uh, I think it's the ISB, um, is essentially, they have like a fucking, these two people are like trying to crack a case. And it's like watching a cop show from the baddies side. Okay, I love instantly. I'm yeah, and I was like, wow, they're actually like, I actually kind of want them to to crack this case. Like, you actually have a stake in how everybody in the show turns out. Okay, and it, it's twelve episodes, and it's like three episode arcs. Mm. So it's like build up, build up, peak, build up, build up, peak, build up, build up, peak. So it's, it's not even peak. It's more like payoff. So okay. each of the episodes is building up to something, building up to something. It is so. Good. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I am a massive Star Wars fan, but a lot of the stuff that I've seen lately, the Obi-Wan show didn't do anything for me. Mandalore was like, it was okay. But all the episodes were just, oh, you want the transmogrifier? Yeah. You must fight the giant of, snake of Naboo. It's like, all right, mate. It yeah. kind of fell out of... Uh... It's just a bit too much like that, and the, the when baby Yoda. That old Boba Fett turned up. That was the worst. Was it like it was embarrassing? Yeah, and also where was the? Oh, hang on, hands are being shooked. I think someone's been KO'd. Simon was... is gone. Sorry. So Simon has been knocked out. There, co here comes Simon. Oh, Simon Lane of the Yozcast. So before Simon Lane of the Yozcast gets in here, um, 
Where did this change of heart from Boba Fett come in where now he's like, got to help the little people? It's like, hold on a sec, because you're a bounty hunter and you were ready to kill the rebellion. And now you're like, I'm the good guy now. It's like, what, because you had to have a good guy in the show? So you've just suddenly, without any character yeah, transformation, is a good guy? And that chase sequence on the hover bikes was the worst thing I've ever I, seen. I, so I didn't even watch the Boba Fett uh, TV show. So bad. I couldn't, couldn't do it. It was so bad, dude. But trust me, I, I, hand on heart. Andor is worth a while. A lot of people Simon! Say, Simon! Hop on that you... headset and slide over. I can do that very easy. Come on. <laughs> Come on in. you got a real scooch Keep in. Scooching. I brought you a gift, my two favorite poker boys. A signed salacious crumb. Wow. The we original. We were literally just talking about Star Wars. We were. And now we have a signed salacious crumb. Indeed. Uh, uh, autograph and photo. Thank you, Simon. You're welcome. That's so kind of you. Um, how was the poker? Well, I started off doing kind of okay, and then I got very fatigued. <laughs> and right. I thought, why not just bluff a whole lot? <laughs> that does sound like you, Simon. And how did that work out for you? It was not very good, mm. but I do love Nilesy, and I hope he wins. I see. Yeah. So I put my, I kind of, I've left him in my will, my poker will. Your well, poker yeah, you can will. stay with us for this massive hand. Lids has ace ten, Lollip oh. has kings, Nazi and Zalas have king eight. It's a three-way all-in. Wow. Lids needs a ten or running clubs. There's another club. Lollip, uh, another club here, and, and that's going to be it for... There's an ace. She's hit the ace. She's ahead She's now. Excited. Okay. This she is big. Is excited. Any club or any ace, there is an eight. Uh-oh, that's king eight. Another eight. It's a nine. Lids has won this pot. She has won a monster pot. Yes. Wow. My with the eight. Lollip's out. Lollip is oot. Somehow Lids has gone through. No, there are still three players left. Who else is also left? Also Lewis. Uh, Lewis B. Rindley Lewis is still, B. Lewis Rindley B. Is still B. in Rindley. there. So it's between Lewis B. Rindley... The murderer, uh, Lydia, and uh, and uh, Nazi slash Silas. So. Wow! Right, um, Simon. I'm so sorry. We're gonna have to boot you out because Lollip is gonna come in now. Thank she, you. She just I got will a See you later. Thank you very my much, Simon. I'm amazing. digging my way out of no, here. He oh, oh, he God, said, he he's said digging the line. Oh, he he did the thing. That is Simon. We know. That's what the a, Simon. We know. <laughs> the diggy diggy hole man. Oh. oh, love that guy. Love it. What a legend. Oh, so good. What a lad. Uh, so hopefully we'll be having Lollop coming in to join us, and then soon we'll be wrapping this this game up. And then we'll be into the grand final. And then... Drinky, drinky. Sorry, yes. The and grand then, finale. And then the grand final, yes. Oh, very excited for that. I'm thrilled. Who knows who could win? As everyone's been playing so well. They have been playing Haven't they been doing so great? well. Haven't they been playing so well? Everyone? It's just so nice to see everyone. It's just, it's such a change of pace for the poker this year is the best I've ever seen it. Just amazing. It really is something to see. Well done, poker people. By the way, I like the way that um, Simon then, his voice seemed much deeper even than, than, than usual. Mm. I wonder if he's coming down with something. Hello, I am Simon Lake. Hello, it's me. <laughs> Lolly. Where am I going? Oh. Pull up You're going to pop on a headset? And pull up a chair. And where the headset? That's fine. Hello. Uh, you want to slide on in? in slide tiny, on in. Keep sliding. Keep scooching. Keep going. Keep Hello. Going. We'll tell you when to stop scooching. You're great. Okay. Cease the scooch. Well done. How was the poker? Um, I'm a little upset by that last round, just because I had a pair of kings. That's mm. really good. That's really good. And Oof. in all counts, that would have been most likely quite a good hand. Indeed. I just lo lost out on one ace. I was, if I'd had more funds, I would have just bullied the crap out of everybody. But I just, that first round really ruined me, I think. Yeah. But excited that I pulled it back in a yeah. couple of rounds. Some pretty close, close rounds, close. right? You very, so very close. well. Did you, we were, did, you have a good, uh, did you have a good laugh at my, at my no, expense? No, we were watching very closely, and I thought I said to Tom several times, I said, Lollop's playing superbly here, making zero mistakes. Oh, 
Oh, thank Direct you. Go ahead thank you. Back. I thought you played super. I, I, when I didn't realize I had a, I had a, what was it, a flush? I was just so embarrassed. It happens. It happens. I was just so embarrassed. I would have been like, I've got to throw everything at this. I should have done that. No, you did. And great. that would have been, that would have really helped my momentum. But you did alas. Great. Uh, wait. Uh, so Lewis B. Rindley is all in with five seven and has hit two fives already. That's pretty good. That's pretty crazy. I think that uh, Sarah's had some really lucky hands, but she, she but, is the short stack. She, yeah, uh, but Nazi clearly is the, like this is superior in all of this. He's just he knows exactly what he's doing. He does know and how to play poker. He really, he really knows his stuff. And is exactly. He knows how to play, which is a uh, it's a big thing mm -hmm. in a game of poker, knowing how to play. Yeah, my my strategy for this was that I wasn't expecting to go up against Nazi, but instead was hoping to get that second spot so I can get into the finals. And that last round, I was like, oh my god. Pair of kings, my oh my god, this is it. This is yeah. your I'm so, so disappointed. Your, your I kings couldn't get believe cracked it. by uh, Ace Ten, it, it happens. It happens yes. to the best so of us. So upsetting. Yep. I, didn't get, I, don't think I, I don't think I got really any any good hands. That was the last one. I thought, you know what? Oh my god, this is ah. Uh, the thing is, if you're right, if the kings <laughs> get cracked, you've got a good exit story, and that's what poker tournament exit is true, all about. Oh. Do I have a good exit story? And you do. Lollip, thank you so much. Thank you for having me, and, and uh, it's it's going great so far. Good. It's been really close. I'm sorry we took so fucking long. No, right, right. Oh, we have nothing better to do. Amazing. Take the chair with you. There you what go. A, thank what you. A, what a class act. What a class act. Sheer class oh. there from Lollip. Unfortunate to see her knocked out after we'd enjoyed her play so much, and we had to analyze the hands and really studied them. Sarah is very emotive with her hands. It's between her and Lids, and Lewis B. Rindley is, it says all in. Is that the case? Uh, she did have a small pot, uh, a small stack. I think Lids is all in with the Jack-8 here. The blinds at the moment are colossal. The blinds are very big, I believe. Yes. Uh, so I think Lids is, is- Oh my God, look at fucking niles -y. Nine cages. <laughs> Just holy shit. It's pretty good. A guilty glance at the camera there. Just, I thought it was Salacious P. Crumb. Am I wrong? I thought it was Salacious P. Crumb, not just Salacious Crumb. Maybe. I'll look it up. Not, I thought I, it was Salacious P. Crumb. Uh, like, me and him are, like, kind of pretty good friend terms, so I just call him Sal. Uh, but... Salacious B crumb. <laughs> okay. I was close. He's a what? What race is he? Um. Oh. I, oh. I fucking do know this, but I don't know this. He's a Kowakian monkey lizard. Oh, I would have given you uh, the monkey lizard. He's a Kowakian who works as a jester in the court of the gri crime lord Jabba. Full name? B P Hut. <laughs> Desiliac Tiure. Okay, I wouldn't have been able to tell you that. Known for his shrill laughter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great. It's a good laugh. Kept his master amused until his death during the rescue of Han Solo. Indeed. I didn't think he died. I thought he just jumped into the rafters and laughed from there. Yeah, but then the fucking barge blows up. Yeah, but he's, he could have found a way off. We don't have to write him off his death. The, the way I see it, if he didn't die on screen, you could write him in, have a little salacious bee oh, that's, crumb. Oh, that's nice. So all Maybe. the people on Alderaan definitely survived. Well... I'm not saying all of them did, Tom, but if you had a plot line, which was they miraculously escaped from Alderaan, you could write that in. Okay, you If could, it didn't happen bring it on screen, you could technically say they were on their way off planet when it happened. Um, I think Nazi did Nazi just knock both Lydia and Sarah out at the same time? I believe so. We need to know who came second. Lids came second, so she goes through. Lids goes through with the um, Jack-8 because she has the second best hand. So Sarah's out. A starting stack. Oof. She gets 2k chips. Just we saw Pierre come in in the corner. Just like, but what do we do? We, give we didn't plan for this. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Bang! Fire flames and smoke. Yeah, like, into we weren't prepared. Um. Nazi crushing it. Nalzi did fucking crush. I genuinely thought that he was going to get ruined by just bonkers luck of the other players and get busted out. But it turns out Nalzi actually being a competent poker player. 
he made it. Kind of fucking help. I, I think. Um, kind of fucking help. Knowing, he does it. knowing when to call the all ins and also uh, getting a little lucky from time to time. That's fine, uh, but he, he played well. He kept out of a lot of pots he had no business being in. Yeah. A lot of players were in there with like, oh, I've got king two, and then they lose half their stack on some bullshit. Nazi just waited, waited for a good spot. You can't necessarily wait for good hands. You, could, you gotta wait for a good spot. Three-way pot where you've got a decent shout. That's the kind of hand you wanna get in on. Nazi, uh, of course, at the end, they knocked out two players. Although technically didn't knock Lids out, I'm putting her back, I'm putting her in second because she had the best second placed hand in that pot. So she goes in with just a starting stack, which is going to be pretty low. Amazing. Come in here, Lewis B. Rindley. Hey, Grab Lewis a headset. B. Rindley. Hey, guys. Well, 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 well. you got to put Give the headset on before headset you, you talk. Have a little scooch. <laughs> oh, no, you beam it. You can just hold the mic Illusion. and talk into it. You can just okay, talk okay, into okay, the mic. Okay. Scooch, scoochy, scooch, Come. scooch, scooch, there scooch. Hey go. guys, I'm actually so disappointed. Oh. I was trying so hard. You were playing so well. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. You're thank being you. much nicer than Lewis. You have to tell us to shut the fuck up and stuff like that. Oh, shut up. Okay, yeah, there you go. I That's more like... my... That was long too, right? <laughs> I don't know. I've never played. That felt like before. a long old round. I'll tell you. It yeah. was long. It is. It is nine o'clock. So we're actually doing pretty well. We've only got the final to go. Can I uh, just be in the final as pity? No, okay. Lydia's in the final because she came second in that hand. Barely, You're out. Barely. I'm sorry, okay, okay, Lewis. Fine. You are you are out. All right. Um, but uh, do you see at the beginning that was pretty good? Yeah. When I won the first, I beat Rithian. Huge. Yeah. We were, than we were we were loving that. So into Yay. that round. Honestly, it was crazy. When you watched the Thanks, vod back, guys. we were like jumping up and down and shit Yay. like that. Just like really whoa, big whoa, hands. Whoa. Um, really big hands. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. Really good. Thank you. Uh, so about those raises this year, any um, yeah, word how about on that? those um, raises? Yeah, there yeah. Was some big should I raises. have done that? Yeah, are we getting those raises this year? Oh, 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 I thought you meant in the game. No, raising uh, in the poker. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Well, I mean, let's just say if I somehow found myself in the final. Oh, okay, then I see. Maybe something like that would occur. We're but... not corrupt. We are incorruptible. Incorruptible. Yeah, incorruptible. I'm not incorruptible. You're not incorruptible. <laughs> incorruptible. <laughs> Men of honor. Like, oh. No, oh, literally not. <laughs> literally not. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining us. You played so well. Thank you. So sad to see you fall at thank the final hurdle. Much. Chat, let's get a round of applause for Lewis B. Rindley. Lewis B. Rindley. Thank you all. Thank you all. Well played. Thank well you. Played. Well thank played. You. Well played. Bye. Well played. Well played. Wow, 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 wow. Didn't take the fucking chair, though. That's how I can. That's how I, I finally judge people. Yeah, no, literally. You know, if now, they take it when they leave, I'm like, that's a good person. Did they move the chair? Did they put the headphones back? If they just bonk the blam back on the desk and they just leave the chair, then I'm like, I think a little less like, of you. A uh, little bit mm, less of you. A little, it's, mm. it's like someone leaving the toilet seat in the wrong coordination, whichever oh, yeah. it is in your yeah, house. Covered in piss. Yeah, just pissing and shitting all over your toilet seat. Just that's this exact come same on. thing. Right, Thomas, we shall take a short break. We're going to have a quick break, and then we're going into the Red Hot Final. Which we shall definitely be watching. The biggest, the most exciting game of poker to be played this entire year. <sighs> name, a, name, a, name a more pog game of poker, or pogger. Name one. You can't. Literally impossible. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back in five minutes or so. Be ready. Do donate to charity. That's what this is all for. You guys are amazing. So, so that's why Yaddle is the sexiest character in all of Star Wars. You see, I don't really understand why Jar Jar Binks gets all the hate that he does. I think his character arc is really rewarding. It, it's, you know what? You make a good point there, Pyrian. Um, I didn't really, uh, didn't really think of that. I like the Misa thing that he uh, does. Yeah? You know, Misa Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Is, that's exactly how he sounds. Can you do your best Jar Jar Binks impression? Misa Jar Jar Binks! <laughs> it's honestly not terrible. <laughs> it actually sounds pretty, pretty good. Uh, so, are you, are you enjoying poker this year so far? Yes, I, uh, I've been paying attention to every single poker that's been happening. Mm. Um, we've kept very on topic with the poker. We've as, not as we always do meandered at all or like, you know, 
gone off topic, so... It is so true. Who do you think is, like, you know, in your own words... Yes. Who do you think is just, like, the fucking shittest player that you hate the most and you kind of just wish would die? You know, because normally you have such strong opinions about this. Like, on the break, you were saying... Yeah. But of that, so who do you hate the most of the players so far and their terrible hands? Who's in the final again? I was thinking about uh, the Clone Wars. You were thinking about the Clone Wars? Yeah. What, what, were your, what, just, what were your thoughts on the Clone Wars? See, I was wondering why they had to take the character of Boba Fett and be like, oh, by the way, he's a clone. Spoilers. Right? Um, <laughs> yeah, be careful of spoilers, because some people might not have seen, yeah. you know, that movie that came out in the sort of 2000s, yeah. early 2000s, yes. late 90s. When did that? Yeah. If you, Tom, if you had a lightsaber, what color do you think yours would be? Oh, I'd want like a, you know, like a hot pink one, yeah. I reckon. I think that would be kind of rad. That would be on brand, I think. Uh, that'd be pretty, pretty good. What what color lightsaber would you have? I think like a, maybe like a yellow one. Yellow, but that would look a bit like you've got a, a white lightsaber that's a bit old. Well, it's like, you know. A bit the, pissy. The yolk of an egg. The yolk of an egg. Or the, the piss of a womper. The piss of a womper. Yeah, do you remember the womper? Um, Which one is he? He's like the snow, big snow guy that um, he attacks uh, Luke Skywalker. Oh, with like the horns and stuff? Yeah, he's got horns. Okay. And yeah, like at the, the beginning of um, The Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, I liked him. Yeah, he's cool. They should have, okay. you know, renewed his contract. Brought him back. Um, I think he gets his arm cut off, right? That's not really nice for, like, a nice little stuffed boy. Uh, it's not. He's big, <laughs> though. <laughs> a very period. He, he does eat a, uh, <laughs> he does eat a tauntaun, um, yeah. which, you know, that's not super chill. Well, I mean, it's eat them or cut them open. You don't have many options. Uh, but overall, the tauntauns have just the worst, worst time. <laughs> they don't have really a good time, though. They uh, don't last very long. So, uh, who do you think is going to win in this uh, this big finale match? You know, my bets are on Nilesy. I think. I think that's a I think that's a safe bet. Yeah. Um, like I kind of feel like you know Nilesy going into this poker game is a lot like when Anakin Skywalker went into that room with all the younglings. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's just not a great day. A massacre, if you will. A massacre. Uh, just it's going to be pretty savage. Yeah. Um, anyone could win because you know we're playing pretty short short hand games um, yeah. you know more about this why don't you explain why why anyone could win you know because you worked in poker TV I did for 20 years Tom, Amazing. of my I'm 48 yeah and Wait, did, uh, you, did you just have your birthday I did. Uh, two, two birthdays. Two birthdays in a row. Some would say that's kind of greedy, but me, I say it's probably fine. Uh, it's probably fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's... No. Okay, so... Uh, I think, you know, what we've got going in is... The last game we saw, it was really boring. No one wanted to do anything. It, you know what? You are honestly not wrong. Yeah. Um, that's part of why we spoke about so much other stuff. Is yeah. Because they were kind of like just trading. Just dragging along. Just dragging along. Mm. So we'll see. I think, you know, the bets start off high, right? To go in. Yeah. Tom. They start high that, this time. Well, you tell me because I don't really know a lot about poker, and so I kind of need to rely more on your yeah. knowledge. Um, I'm kind of here just to, yeah. you know, be be the yeah, stupid okay. guy, so you can explain to me, so you're therefore explaining to the audience. Okay, let's see, let's see. So we've got Lydia and Xylus, and we've got Kirsty and Ravs and uh, Joe Dirt and Niles. Joe Dirt <laughs> is there. Yeah, um, Joe Dirt's there this time. Uh, is Joe is Joe Dirt the same guy as Joe Exotic? Because I think that could be either of them. They look similar, huh? Uh, on that end of the table, I'm loving the kind of weird mullet mullet monkey that we have going on. Have has there ever been a mullet in Star Wars? Trivia time. Yeah, there's got to. There's hundred yeah. percent has to have been. Any any mullet knowers in the chat? Obi Wan Kenobi. Obi Wan? Does right. he have a mullet? He's. Uh, I wouldn't say that's like a, a full mullet, really. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just, uh, you know, excellent. A fullet? Yoda? Yoda with a mullet? Mm. Oh, maybe. So, um... We haven't quite made it to... So, of all the characters in Star Wars that you would yeah. most want to have sex with, who would it be? Jar Jar Binks. Jar, Jar, Jar Binks. Me, Tyrion, Flax. Look at my hat. Oh, oh shit. You, dropped, you dropped your hat. Hold on, Tom. I can't put my hat on. Okay. Uh, so, so, Tyrion, as oh, you were saying... Hold on, hold on, yeah. You... Oh, sorry, I got, I got my hat. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like me! What's up, Tom? <laughs> Do me your best Tom impression. Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Bam. <laughs> We're back here with the, uh, <laughs> poker and, uh, Pyrian. <sighs> You're the one who knows all about, uh, poker. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm just your, your pupil, if you will. <laughs> Tell me, how have the hands been so far? Bam. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's a pretty good impression. It's pretty, pretty fucking good. Wow. I'm sorry. I can't keep this up. You laugh too much. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Man. Some people say that they don't think that this is like a proper poker stream and that we don't take it properly seriously. Oh, but this is. <laughs> This is a proper poker stream, Tom, of course. This is a poker stream that we have laid on for you, the, the Humble Yogs viewers, and thank you so much for joining myself and, and Perrin, who is, of course, the expert in these things, as we discuss Star Wars and Star Trek <laughs> and poker. Wow. Bam. Uh, can you say shit the bed? Shit the bed? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd stop the voice change of doing my nut. It's doing my fucking nut! That's another snub. Me for dinner! <laughs> That's another thing I say a lot. Um. Oh, okay. oh, thank God, my squeaky, shitty voice is back. <laughs> First okay. time I've been relieved to hear it. Oh, man. Wow. It's like some voice dysmorphia there. Um, okay. We're, we're, we're doing poker, it's the last round. Oh wait, can we put it on one more time? Just quickly, TJ. There's something I'll I want to say. Hail Gabnor! Okay. Right, thank you. That's so good. <laughs> thank you. That is, get the Gabnor's voice. Um, oh. Oh, uh, well, late. thank you, second Tom, for <laughs> joining you. us briefly. No, gosh. Hail Gabnor. Yeah, sure. Pitch Tom up, and and we'll see how he sounds with with my stupid voice. And do you do me? <laughs> okay. Okay. Do I need to just have a little little talky? The poker is happening. We've got Ace Nine against King Queen. Big lids all in. Well, looks like she wants to speed run this. It's a fold from the dastardly Dutchman. Hello. No, wrong way. Now Tom is even more Tom. He'll get north. Okay. <laughs> Come on, I'm not that high. Hi guys, it's me, Pyrian Flex. So what we're looking at here is some classic poker. So they're doing what we call the Yule Time Steamboat. Uh, where old Johnny Fiasco, famous poker player, uh, any of the poker knowers, they would know all about this. Um, he would do uh, this manoeuvre right now. And it's basically where they play like four cards at once. And it's really strong in the game. Uh, the reason why they can do this four cards at once is it's an old poker thing that they would call poop logging. And <laughs> it came about, it was big, uh, sort of maybe 10, 20 years ago. Mm. Uh, the pros would do it, uh, but then a lot of them stopped doing it because they they just don't get the fame anymore. It's an online poker prize. They changed the oh, whole thing. They changed the game. He's right. And it's just su it's such a different such a different way to oh, play. You're right. It's ruined the game, other period. You're right. So right. Goodness. Um, <laughs> Uh, what else would I, as Perian Flax, be saying? Just nothing. Just yeah. a stream of gibberish. <laughs> it's pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty good. All right, let's let's get on with the poker. 
Okay. Wow, I could hear my mic bleeding through the lightning, <laughs> yeah. and it was like double helium. <laughs> Pretty wild. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. We got a grand final. Right. We done. We we're doing. We're doing poker. How's it going? Uh, Lid's doubled up by the looks of things. Oh shit! Good job. The dastardly Dutchman with Ace Jack. We got Corsty uh, on six point three. From Ravs to Riches with four point eight. And Tom Selleck. Is that who uh, who that is now in the uh, the monkey costume? Is monkey. Tom Selleck? Yeah. I see. I think of them a bit more as you know Joe Exotic, Tiger King, um, but you know, could be a could be a Tom Selleck. Could Name a good it. Tom Selleck vehicle. Um, he was in Magnum PI, which was dog shit. It was like a lot of stuff made. I never, in the 80s. I never watched it. No, I mean, I, you, I think one of the only things I've seen Tom Selleck in is Boogie Nights. I'm not sure you're thinking of Tom Selleck. Is Tom Selleck not in Boogie Nights? No. The, he, he's the one who's having sex with Roller Girl, right? Isn't no. that Tom Selleck? No. Am Tom, I just making it up? Look up Tom Selleck to refresh your memory. If I know you who Tom to. Selleck is. He's got a mustache. Right. It was not. That was not Tom Selleck. He was in, for example, he was uh, Monica's a much older boyfriend in France. That's Burt Reynolds. Oh. Burt Reynolds was Burt indeed Reynolds. in Boogie Nights. Who is Tom Selleck then? Tom Selleck. They look exactly the same. Uh, Tom Selleck was slightly burlier than Burt Reynolds, I would say. Didn't have the same glint in his eye. He was more of, he was like a, the mum's favourite. Mum's loved Tom Selleck. Uh, he was in, he wasn't in, what was it called? He, so he was originally going to be Indiana Jones. And then they went with Harrison Ford. Um, he was in Three Men and a Baby. He was I the mustachioed guy in Three Men and a Baby. So you had... Him, Steve Guttenberg, and Ted Danson were the three men in oh, Three Men in a Baby. Oh, I like Ted Danson. Ted Danson's very, 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 very good. He was excellent in a number of shows. Um, post Cheers, I was like, what can Ted Danson do next? Turns out, a lot. Did you ever see the TV show? It's not the best show in the world, but um, it's called Bored to Death. Loved it. Loved it. Jason Schwartzman. Yeah. One of my favorite actors. I adore Jason yes. Schwartzman. And Tom Selleck. Oh, sorry. Tom Selleck, Ted Danson is excellent. His character, his sort of mentor type figure, he's amazing. You just want to watch him more. I, he's just I, a great character. Like he's someone who I wish he was my friend. Right. I wish I his character. Yes. He's just so full of positivity. But so weird and so funny and, and interesting. Oh. But but he's one of those characters where you think this is not the main character. The main character is interesting enough, and the secondary character who's in there occasionally, you're like. This guy is amazing. The show could be about him. It literally could. could. So good. So good. So The Good Place, um, I kind of liked it. Uh, I thought it had an interesting setup. Obviously, the denouement of, of season one is interesting. But I didn't find it as laugh out loud funny as I needed to, I think. Yeah, it was, it was nice. But as it kept going, I felt a bit like, okay, they're doing it. All right, how do they make the next season happen? And then the next season. Yeah. And by that, after... Maybe it was by the point it got to season three. I was like, I don't care anymore. Yeah, like, it was just, it was just. Oh, I think Liz might enough. be out. She's got Queen Four. Is she? She's cold. Look at this classy bitch having her just her can of ciders <laughs> in a wine glass. Look at the head on that. Oh, what's she doing here? You know what? Um, all the other players have been asking that as well. What is she doing here? As someone who technically was kicked out of her game, she's just lost a lot of money. With a pair of fours. Lids. Who did she give it to? Um, I think Ozzy. A pot of 10k? There's no way that was a 10k pot. Are you serious? Did Xylus also donk off a load of chips there? A little quick change out. The blinds have gone up. They're now 100, 200 at this starting level. Okay. Green chips are gone. The white chips are worth a thousand. So we've changed things up a little bit because, of course, at this point, the players are all coming in with big stacks, lids aside. They will oh. have quite a lot of chips because, of course, they won their heat. Lids was knocked out. Um, so I've given her a 2K starting stack. She has decided to, to take my uh, kindness and throw it in my face wow. with this miserable performance. Let's read some. Uh, so we got Lean Dirt says, yes, Manka. Uh, let Lieutenant Dan says, I've been watching you all for many years. Much love to all the yogs. You've been a of enjoyment. Thank you all for everything you do. Thank you for the donation, Lieutenant Dan. No name provided with a hundo. You know who you are. 
Uh, Reggio Rage. Glad to be able to catch most of the Poker Stream Live. It's always one of the best. Cheers from Mexico. Muchas gracias. Oh. Reggio Rage. Uh, Splatterer. Cheers. Congrats as always, guys. Lots of love. Thank you. Uh, Soul Capture. Shout out to my mate. <laughs> <laughs> Angus and Oman. <laughs> well done, guys and girls. Keep it up. Um, Passy965. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you. Jake, for the years of entertainment. 35 quid. Thank you. Christopher S. Thank you for all that you do. Happy to donate during Poker Night. Thank you. Thank you for being cool and getting me into Dota. You're very welcome, Gub Stargazer. Gub Stargazer. Gub Stargazer. That sounds like a fucking That's Star, Star Wars. That's a, the, 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 the pilot of one of the sort of Millennium Falcon-ish rogue trader kind of vessels yeah 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 uh great to be part of this campaign loving the jungle time thank you max mia kitty thank you for doing this every year it's always so fun to watch you are more than welcome we have a great time sam Masservi, my ninth jingle jam first i've been able to donate oh well i'm glad That's and thank you very jams. much thank it up keep it up god bless you says sam thank you very much the Firebug, love your work thank you sullen fish long live the jingle jam amen trubio love you guys so much nostalgia every year keep it the great with nostalgia this is red hot current up-to-date content we're talking about next generation we're talking about the original star wars series as far as i know <laughs> this is like bang up to date nothing nothing's been made since kirigama please can you i'm not calling anybody anything like that too much to say in such a short message love you guys merry christmas thank you reese happy to support the jingle jam thank you debulkus another year another donation thank you asta Bless you for the work yous do every year. Thank you, Asta. Thank you to Bless. yous. Christopher, happy holidays. Thank you. To Jitsuke, thank you for doing this. You're welcome. A big boy. I am a big boy. Big boy. Thank you. Damon, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Liz is all in. Mm. With King Deuce. A cowboy carrying a duck. Or a turd. One or the other. I don't think the two is nicknamed the turd, but I could see but it. The deuce. The deuce. Yes, that's true. She's all in for 300. What's she done with the money I gave her? She has hit a king. Let's go, Lids. Chip and a chair, Tom. Chip and a chair. Chip and a chair. Tom Selleck has 11.7K. Uh, is just a fraction behind Nilesy, who is sat on about 12K. Wow. Tom Selleck with the jacks. Might think of peeling off some bets here. Uh, Corsty has nothing but a pair of sixes. Is Corsty going to do anything here? I think they're going to try and check it down. Corsty's like, thank God, check, check. <laughs> so if you notice, Ravs has undone some buttons and whacked on some shades. So this is uh, that Scottish uh, fish restaurant owner when he's on his trip to Belgium. <laughs> uh, Hitting and the it's, Charlie it's, big and it's time. A, it's a rough night so far. God, those glasses look disconcerting when Kirsty laughs. <laughs> <laughs> so there's sort of eyes locked on. Uh, Lids with the king, she doubles up. She triples up, actually. She takes, she makes a decent wedge here. Lids is back in the game. She's got back her starting stack, essentially, Tom. Uh, very good. Well done. Well done. Well done to a her. Pat, a little pat on the head for the billionaireess Lids. You know what? I, I kind of hope that she wins it now. Really? Let's go. Let's just see... All in on lids. Look, because we talk about chip in the chair a lot, and I feel like this will be one of the best examples of chip in the chair. Absolutely. This, you know, this is the epitome, nay, the uh, epitome of chip in a chair. I ran out of other terms for epitome uh, that, were, that sounded better than epitome. Hmm. Archetype? De definition? Doesn't sound as good. Give me some uh, synonyms for uh, the zenith. The chip me. Possibly. The zenith, quintessential. The embodiment. Pinnacle. Oh, I like embodiment. Antithesis. No, no, no. That's wrong. Embodiment. I do like embodiment. The, the dog's dog bollocks. bollocks. Epicenter. Look, if you don't know, then, then don't try to contribute. The essence, the bacon. <laughs> My dad likes the term dog's box yeah explain to me why that means a good thing or the best thing i don't know but weird isn't it he'll say the dog's bollocks and i'll often laugh and then he'll almost always be you know what i mean the mutt's nuts <laughs> like, the, you have not ex <laughs> you're not explaining that thing you're just doubling down and uh it just just always just always makes me laugh he does it because you laugh guaranteed probably if, if there's a thing that i could say that makes my kids laugh i say it your dad just loves to see you laugh believe me what a, what a lad. 
That's just how it is. Dads love to make their kids laugh. Genuinely. Mums too, of course, but I'm speaking from a dad's perspective. I can't speak from a mum's perspective. My wife likes to thrash my children with an old broom handle. An old broom handle. <laughs> she, uh. doesn't. she doesn't. She doesn't. She wouldn't do that, because that'd be cringe. Bro, you're so cringe. What? <laughs> what? Bro. 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 Stop vexing me, bruv. He's so cringe. <laughs> Stop such a, vexing don't be me, such a brother. Bruv. They are, they are from Twickenham, my girl, so they are a little bit like that. <laughs> uh, okay, Tom Selleck versus uh, Nilesy. Fall to second place, Nilesy. Wow, that <laughs> wow. has happened. That's Someone... Someone's fucking. Someone is salty. I wonder who it is. is. Not, uh, not. Tom it. Selleck didn't have a beard like a Mormon. He had like a mustache. I. I kind of like that beard. It's looking good. Ozzy's had enough of this fucking wig. Oh, yeah, she does look a little more like Shaggy. <laughs> I don't know what oh, this is. No, meant to be. but now the weird, like, bowl cut top. It's getting weird. Amish Tom Selleck. Yeah. Did you see the movie Witness with uh, Harrison Ford? It's quite old, made in the eighties. He's a cup. Oh, so we're keeping it still very relevant to um, Naturally, today's audience. This is audience. bang up to date. This is not forty-year-old no. movie. Very good. One of his best performances, genuinely. I'm a big Harrison Ford thing, uh, fan. I think Wait, he's kind of an underrated better actor. Better than Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Shades it. Shades it just a bit. Yeah. Okay. It's it, it's it's honestly, he's a cop uh, from the big city. The, an, a young Amish boy witnesses a murder and he has to protect him. Oh, I think I have seen this film, actually. He goes to Amish country. He lives as an Amish guy. Yeah. It is so good. And one of the other Amish guys is played by an actor. I believe he's Russian, who was uh, Hans Gruber's sort of arch villain with the Steyr Org yeah. machine gun in Die Hard. Okay. Um, Carl. We have to tell Carl his brother is dead. I want blood! That guy, oh, who was also in The Money Pit and played, um, oh God, who was the, uh, Shelley Long's ex, who was a, com a, a composer, or not, a, 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 a ma the maestro. He was like a, a conductor in an orchestra because she's, a, she's a, a musician. He was the, her, in, he, he was, he died tragically young. He died tragically young. He was a really good actor. Um, so yeah, it's a real shame, but, um, yeah, anyway, he is one of the Amish guys in that. It is a really good underrated movie. One of those movies where there is this whole, um, wealth of movies that are just sort of never get reshown, never get talked about, never see them popping up. And some really amazing movies made the seventies and eighties that just don't ever appear on your Netflix and your, your primes. I watched a movie, uh, called the game. Oh God, Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas. Demi Moore. Maybe. It's terrible. You know what? I didn't hate it. Mm. I didn't hate it. I saw that in the cinema. Ooh. Because this was pre-streaming. The issue I had was they just got the how they know he was gonna jump. <laughs> they just got the talkies in. Uh, I say, darling, should we get to the <laughs> talkies? And it was like so, so, so bad. Like he jumps off the roof at that exact point onto the X. It's like, come on. It was just so convoluted. They planned it. Please. They planned it. Um. I remember what I wanted to talk to you about. Tell me. Tell me, Papa. Tell me. I will tell you, boy. This is a, a show called The Lazarus Project. It's a British TV show. Might have been a Sky production. It's not particularly good. And okay, you were okay. I'm, I'm going to say, okay, not selling me. No, 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 I'm not trying to sell you. I want to talk to you about one of the aspects of it and we can discuss it. Mm -hmm. uh. Excuse me, that's a pair of sevens against Queen 10, and the sevens take it with a full hoose. Nazi Donkin chips off to Kirsty. Let's oh, roll. No. Wah, 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 wah. That's the celebration horn, as everybody knows. Big, big pot, anyway. Lazarus Project, I'll pitch it to you. You're not going to watch it. Okay, pitch it to me. Pretend uh, you're a movie exec. We got a guy. Okay. Okay, he's living his life. He's an app developer. No big deal. He's just a regular guy. He goes into a bank. He gets a bank. He's got a girlfriend. She gets pregnant. Everything's going sweet. This guy's, this guy's uh, life, it's all working out. 
all of a sudden you got a new outbreak or some like COVID two or some shit comes along. People start dying. His pregnant girlfriend gets gets sick. He goes to the hospital. He's teaming with people. He slide. She slides another wall. <coughs> He's like, this is going to shit. What the fuck happened? Oh my god, my life sucks. <laughs> Wakes up July first. 9 a.m. like nothing happened. His girlfriend's there. She's fine. She's not pregnant. He hasn't had the interview yet. She says, remember, you got that interview today at the bank. I was like, what are you talking about? We just lived these last nine months. It's like it never happened. <laughs> it's like it never happened. But he remembers it, but nobody else does. And it turns out he's mutated into a gift. Every time they wind back the world, he can remember what happened, but nobody else remembers. So oh, it's, like gro it's Groundhog Day. It's like Groundhog Day, but they're doing it on purpose. They're doing it deliberate because some catastrophe befalls the world, so they wind it back. So you got these guys, the Lazarus Project, they got control of the oh, so it's like Terminator. It's nothing like Terminator. What are they, you talking they send, about? They send a guy back. No, they ain't, they ain't the, sending a guy back. They the, ain't sending a guy back. It all goes back, baby. The whole thing winds back. The whole earth winds back. They go back in time. And only some people can remember. Oh, yeah, like, like the Terminator. They go back in time. They don't go back in time. He doesn't go back in time. Terminator? They wind everything back in time. Everyone on the planet. To undo everything. To a checkpoint. How is that different to... Because it turns out there's a checkpoint orbiting the sun. And they go through it every few months. Bing! Bing! When they go through the checkpoint, they can't rewind anything up to the checkpoint. So it's like a save point for the Earth. So the Earth goes through the checkpoint. And if it gets to a certain point, they're like, nuclear war's broken out. Better wind it back. And they go, and they wind back. And nobody remembers, apart from people who've mutated the ability to remember it, or people have had this thing implanted in them that means they can remember it. So they're not really sort of traveling back in time to change the future. They're winding everything back to try to change it before it happens. But they have to live up to that point. So they right. can't travel to a specific point. Okay. It's more like a save point. Right, they, they, they've got a quick save. Yeah, they've got a quick save. But it's like one okay, of those quick like save games Rick where... Morty episode. Right, but it's like, it's so far back. It's like, Jesus, we got to do the whole nine months again. So here are some things that pop up straight away. What if uh, you have a baby in that time? Now your baby goes from being a baby to nine months old, and then you have to do that all again. What that if you're pregnant? You gotta... Now you have to give birth every time they wind back. And sometimes they try to correct things, and it takes fucking ages. And they're trying again and again and again. You gotta give birth dozens and dozens and dozens of times. What if you conceived right around the point where you wound back. Now, you've conceived a different child. Wait, is the child different? Apparently so, according to the rules of the show. Which doesn't make sense, because one of the guys they wind back, he memorizes which horses won which races, and then he goes and places oh, bets on those races. Kind of effect, yeah, yeah, and that's how they find him. But it's like, well, hold on. Because if we're saying that a different baby was conceived, we're saying that the future is not predetermined, and therefore it might be a different horse that wins yeah. rather than always the same horses. So it's very inconsistent with the rules. So straight away, some problems I have. Number one, if this was the case and you had people that knew what was going to happen when you wind back, you can't have them living at their fucking flat. Because if they turn bad and you kill them and then you have to wind back, they're loose again and you know where they live, but they'll be gone by the time you get there. Everyone that knows has to stay in a cell at HQ. Oh. Because if they go bad, which yeah. they inevitably do, <laughs> you've now got them if you wind back locked in. Okay, yeah, this yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm not fighting you on this. Rule two. No relationships with other people that know about the winding back shit. Cause if one of them dies, you'll be like, you've got to wind back time, you've got to save Terry. So no, we can't save Terry, because every time we do that, we're un- birthing like hundreds of thousands how, how of people. How easy is it to wind back? They just push a fucking button, dude. Really? Yeah. But obviously they're like, but every time we do it, we kill a bunch of people. So I'm like, there are so many flaws of the, the way they've set this up. The concept is good, but this is the laxest, like the, one of, the new guy gets in because he knows what's happening. He knows that he's winding back in time. So they're like, well, I guess you're in the Lazarus I guess you, now. I guess you've joined We're us. gonna teach you how to use a gun and now you're a field agent. I was like, no, this guy's useless. That sounds bonkers. Yeah, so it's like, it's, it's loosey goosey with the rules. And I was like, what rules would I set in this situation? Rule one, you're in a fucking cell. When we're winding back, you are in your fucking cell. Everyone starts off at base. Yeah. I think it's fair. I think it makes sense. Ozzy's taking the chip lead. Let's talk about the poker for a bit. My bad. <laughs> uh, Ozzy is in the lead with the chips. 
Uh, Nalzi is just folding, folding down into second place. It is true. Lids is still clinging on. Xylus is lowest. Xylus is not looking. Rams like he's is close the best behind, time. dude. Uh, is, he it is, goes. He's doing worse than Big Lids now. <laughs> he is, and she. We gifted her two K two. Uh, it goes. It goes. Ozzy, Nalzi, Kirsty, Ravs, Xylus, Lids. At the moment, sorry, uh, Lids, Xylus. What's happening with this chip tail? A pot is taking place. Okay, uh, seven and a six to Xylus, which doesn't seem great. He is getting desperate. And there's the three and the queen. But a queen or three Kirstie, is also not great. Which is not. Kirsty is hot. ahead. She is ahead, dude. But With she the queen. Does not know that. No, I, d I don't know. We'll see what happens here. And Xylus he folded. Is folded. She bet 500. Out. She bullied him off the pot. But he. Look how small his pot is. He is scared to take that bet because he knows that he's got so little. He's got two or three hands left to play. Oh. And I mean, I, th I believe the blinds are still 100, 200. They might have gone up, but okay. essentially- Oh, he can, he can he, see- he, He's got a, he's, he, can, he can wait, he can wait. Wait for like a big face card, ace or king with pretty much anything and bosh it in. Because you, you generally, the minimum you want to be happy with is 10 big blinds. That gives you roughly, roughly 10 orbits. Like may, more like <clears throat> seven or eight. Oh, uh, orbits, <clears throat> like or the Lazarus project. Indeed. Right. Indeed. Okay. They're, they're looking at this. This table looks a bit dour. People are loving the dealer. He is a good looking lad. He looks like uh, he could be a character in the Andor show. <clears throat> yeah, what his name be? Oh, Yoda's original name. Minch. Minch. Minch Yoda. That was originally Yoda's Minch name. Yoda. I found out in the office just now. Someone said, oh, you missed one. Minch Yoda. What was his... So what did they change that to? Yoda. Just Master Yoda. It was going to be Minch Yoda. Not Minge. Minch. Although, with, you know, <laughs> if it's been around that long, we would talk about how, oh, I fucking love Minch Yoda. <laughs> He's fucking yeah. great. Like, it, would, it becomes normal. It, it normalized. Like, yeah, Lucas could have normalized Minch. If, if I turn up and I'm like, oh, I'm reading this great fantasy book at the moment. Um, it's really cool. It's a bit spacey, but there's, there's like samurai. Who's in it, Tom? They, um, the main character, he's called Luke Skywalker. Okay, yeah. You'd be like, that's a fucking stupid name. Yeah. Oh, his name is um, Jeff, uh, you know, Blade Swinger. Okay, yeah. You'd that's be like, ridiculous. Wait, what does he do? Well, he, fight, he fights. He swings a blade. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You'd be like, that sounds fucking lame. Yeah, yeah. That sounds lame as shit, but we're so used to these names. We are. That we give them the pass. And yeah, so, absolutely. I think Minch Yoda could have just been a thing that we're really into. Master Minch, help me. Yo, Minch Yoda. You said Minch with a CH, right? Yeah, no, I did yeah, say Minch. Minch. Um, yeah, super dumb. Yeah, the names are very funny. Uh, big lids with a nine and ace. Uh, a queen three on Xylus, nine three on Kirsty. Ace king for Ravs. Ravs looking happy. A king this and could, a jack for Tom Selleck. This could be quite the clash because Lids is short stacked and has ace nine. This is nine. probably going to have to play. If we could see a ace and a king come down. You want to knock Lids out. I want to knock Lids out. And Tom I want, wants I to knock Lids, Lids to out. Go all the way, but I want to see. I just want to see an exciting hand. I want everyone to plow into each other. Mm. Imagine some kind of terrible train crossing oh. where there's four trains coming from each direction. Somehow, someone's designed a train track where four trains traveling in different directions oh. all converge at this crossroads. Yes, yeah, I'm there for that. And like one of them is a train from the fireworks factory. Oh, we got the, the other acid one train. It's the acid train. <laughs> you know, one is, oh, the, the old corn train. Ah, uh, the corn train. And, and, and the bullet train, of course. We're going to get him in there. the bullet train, uh, which <laughs> I still highly rate that movie. Wait, give, the orphan train. Give give that movie a watch. The it, train it was a lot for fun. orphans, for baby orphans. Get them in there. Um, so, oh, what could be a ghost train? Oh, I'd like that. Are there any good movies with ghost trains? I feel like ghost trains really kind of died out of popularity. I don't hear them mentioned very often. No. There was a ghost train in, I believe, Ghostbusters 2 where he's down on the old train line oh, and the ghost true. train runs at him. And that's a reasonable movie in that I can watch it. It's not good, but I can watch it. It is still, it's close enough to Ghostbusters that I'm like, eh, I could watch this, but it's not a good movie. 
in a way, the difference between Ghostbusters 2 and Ghostbusters 1, scientifically, is very marginal. Same actors, same roles, same basic setup, but it somehow doesn't work. The margins between an amazing film yeah. and an average film is like razor thin. Also, I think, you know, you'd already seen it being done before. Is that is big, an issue. I think is a bit of a curse that it wasn't enough just to get them together and do it again. However, Thomas, if I may, Tell would me. you say, and I am a big fan of the Marvel movies. I know that they're just popcorn slush. I'm a big Marvel fan. I've read the comics for years. It was a big thing for me as a kid. I think they've done a fantastic job. And I think the Avengers movies, the Iron Man movies, and all the rest of it, they, 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 I, I love them all. I really do love them. There is not a lot of difference between those movies. They're all basically the same thing over and over again, which is a comfort watch, and I, I, I really enjoy them. They're great action movies. If you just accept them as action movies, they're phenomenal, because all the action movies that we had in the 80s and 90s were fucking dog shit. And now it's like, wow, these are really well produced, funny, big set pieces, great effects, great characters. These are good action movies. Um, <clears throat> they're not wildly different from one another, mm -hmm. but I enjoy it. So why do I enjoy those movies, but not Ghostbusters 2 over Ghostbusters 1. Is I think it's it because, because it's a comedy? It's a comedy. I think exactly that. <coughs> uh, you know, just, it it was tighter, you mm. know. the It's a comedian coming for their second, their second special. And if they just do exactly the same thing that you saw before, you're like, eh. If they deviate too much, then you're like, I don't like this. Right. It's, it's far very fine. harder to make that sequel comedy, like, hit the same tones for why you liked it. Um, but make it different enough that it just doesn't feel exactly the same. Whereas with the action, you know, when it's more Iron and Man, bigger. he's fighting a guy fucking in space. And then right. the next one, they've got portals and time travel. And then there's another one where there's fucking robots right. and wizards. Like, But they're all tonally exactly the same. And you know what you're going into, super safe. But because you're watching it for the action, they can make the action so much more different. More. like wackier, weirder, yeah. and then they keep just slamming more superheroes in, and you're like, oh my god, like, just imagine if they bring these two together, and then they <laughs> fucking do it, and then they, they bring do it. Yeah. more in, then there's another bad guy, Yeah, like, yeah. wow, how is he a different bad guy? Like and the, the most recent Doctor Strange movie, uh, Doctor Strange in the, the multiverse the, the of The universe Marvel. of space. Loved it. Loved it. Brilliant. Sam Raimi was just allowed to basically do what he wanted in a Marvel movie, and it was like, wow, this is not like any Marvel movie I've ever seen. It sounds Absolutely really bonkers. Uh, and uh, hilarious and crazy and... Some of it, I was, like, we went with the kids, and I was like, damn, this is, like, dark. And I heard... Uh, quite a lot of violence. And it was a bit more, like, a little bit dark, a little bit more horror -y Yeah, there. literally, a lot of it was like, oh, my God, that's horrific. Really, really, really good. Because um, they just said to Sam Raimi, we wanted to make a Doctor Strange movie, and you can put all kinds of fucking crazy shit in, and he was like, done. So if you haven't seen it, it is really fucking fun. It but really is. I don't really like Doctor Strange. Really? I don't don't care for him. Okay. Because do you like any of the sort of Marvel MCU movies? I've watched I've watched like some. I do like the Spider Man's. I They're love Spider Man. Um, Spider -Man's I think good. Tom Holland is an amazing Spider Man. He's brilliant. He's the best Spider Man. He is really good. Um, I really like the cast. Yeah. Um, yeah. But honestly, try the try the most recent Doctor Strange. You the don't need to have seen anything else. The problem is, you know, uh, the, I'm going to try and avoid spoilers for the third Spider-Man, but the whole problem of that film was Doctor Strange did a magic, and they're like, oh, shit, we fucked up. We did the wrong magic. Right. And then how do we solve this? We're going to do another, another magic. Another magic. <laughs> and then we do the magic, yeah. and it's basically fine. So and I feel like I just... Like, no, I get oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, oh, we have to we have to assassinate the super evil guy who's real bad. We get our Ocean's Eleven team together and we do it. Right. Great. I can latch on to how that fixes the problem. But when it's like, okay, right, I said the wrong three words in right, the big right, spell. Right. And I mean, that, that, that again, was like, obviously a, a bit of a, a different spell. What, what's the word? A, a bit of, of a conceit. I get that. I'm just saying, give it a go. I'm just saying, give it a go. Let me know okay. what you think. We've got a pocket threes against Queen King and the Queens take it. Grabs the riches with a big pop. That looks like a good 2k to my to my old eyes. Grabs to stay. Is he staying in? Tom Holland, Spidey is crap. Fuck it off. Sorry, I don't think you read that in the right voice. Uh, Tom Holland, Spidey is crap. <laughs> um. Mm. Thank you, sir. 
got a big dono, Tom. <laughs> Tom's aces. One thousand pounds. Oh. Thanks to all Yorks for putting this on and joining every minute. Thank you very, very much. That is a wicked, sick donation. Thank you. John, 42069. Huge dono. I don't engage in either of these activities, but thanks for the best two weeks of the year. Thank you. From M Miyama. Grew up watching the Oscars now that I'm no longer a child. I thought it was about time to donate. Merry Christmas from well, Canada. Thank you. Thank you. It's very kind. And good day. Good Ian day. Mackley. Jingle the jams. Jingle the gyms. Bar humbug. And I don't know what this means, so it might be a swear word. Can't catch the streams this year, but I hope all the pleasant holiday and et cetera, et cetera. Thank you so much, Ian. ADDC, great poker stream as always, chaps. Honk, thank you. Honk. TBJ, stream of the year is back. Should be concentrating on this scrub tier final, but can't help but be here for the Tom Perian lounge chat. <laughs> yeah, we will talk about <laughs> poker. So just to warn you guys, there is a separate channel where you can just listen to the table chat. If you just want poker. If you don't like us yapping. We are... We are squad well, streaming, squad streaming So you can just flick over to that. Why um, you'd want to, though? Some people are here and they're like, I want the serious I poker. I want to watch the poker! Um, yeah. And I, I won't lie, we do sometimes get distracted. Yeah, but... Yeah. Just a little just a little bit. We noticed the big stuff, like when people get knocked out and stuff. We didn't miss any of that. Yeah, we never missed a big thing. Come on. We didn't have to ask anybody how they got knocked out. <laughs> uh, so, big lids. This is, this is actually, other than Nazi, I could see all of these players playing their hands. Everyone might want to get involved. Um, That's a call from Lids with the King Nine, trying to play it cool. She does this look. That's the look when Lids ha doesn't have anything and is trying to play it cool. Oh, the sadness. I, I, I've got such a tell on her. The sadness when she went to. Pick up that glass, Sorrel's empty, and then puts it down <laughs> in defeat, knowing she doesn't have... No no alcohol and no means to acquire it. <laughs> Just that heartbreak. She's like, oh. Because uh, I've been out drinking with Lids before, and Ooh. I've seen that look on her face when she's like... Lids with an empty glass is not Lids. She becomes something else. The Tasmanian devil. Oh, send her a drink. We had a drink for the billionaires, Lydia, please. Um, Anyone out there watching, she will not hate you if you bring her a drink. She will return uh, the favor with, with love. Return the favor tenfold. Tenfold. Like the, the mouse and the, the lion. Absolutely. The mouse and the lion. The mouse plucked the thorn from the lion's paw mm -hmm. and the lion stamped on him ten times. But this time, <laughs> that's how that story goes, right? I believe so. But Aesop's fable, don't go near lions. That's don't, the, don't fucking go near lions. lions They'll kill you. Lions are dangerous. Thorn or not, they will kill you. Mm. She's been helped. She's been helped. Oh. Like, do you feel right now like a god? We... No. Bear with me. Okay, no, please. We witnessed someone going through strife. <laughs> I see what you're saying. We saw someone who was just like, oh, my life... Uh, how can I? Mm. And she doesn't even know that we, watching from afar, were like, we shall help. Hand. We shall. I shall send take, an angel. Take them, take them a drink. You know, and uh, move the pieces in just the right <laughs> way. <laughs> you know, shuffled them, pulled the strings. Mm. That, you know, I think Lydia will just think, oh, someone just brought that. I uh, think, uh, I think, in 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 a sense, but we would have to be very minor gods because the big gods. Don't give a shit about mortal man and would not concern themselves at all with lids running out of drinks. We are like the pettiest of petty gods, barely gods. When we say we're gods too, they're like, yeah, right. Yeah. What can you do? You can summon cider in someone's glass. And we're like, that's like literally that's the best god ever. One of the coolest. Ever. And I they're could like, run yeah, an that's, why, pub. Um, that's, that's why you're a petty god because you're just concerned with cider. You're, you're sub Bacchus. You're not even concerned with anything beyond giving lids a glass of cider is like, we did it, yay! <laughs> so we're like pretty... super minor gods. You know but what? yes, it, it, it does make me feel like a minor god. Perhaps one that it doesn't even, isn't even worship. Maybe a roadside monument, and not in a I good want. road, like a B road <laughs> yeah. next to a harvester. I'm, I'm, I'm still fine with that. Mm -hmm. Minor god is still better than no god. Exactly right. Now she's happy. Uh, Xylus has stood up, because he is all in. What's he got? And he has... Queen 10. It with a pair of He's tens. got a pair of 10s, and I believe he takes it. 
Kirsty has nothing. Wow. Tom Selleck Silas. has a pair of five. Xylus with a nifty little double up there. Wow, wow, wow. And he gets 1,500, uh, 2,000, 3,000, 400, I think he just gained there. That's pretty swish. My word, Xylus. Look at his happy little face now. <laughs> Is it... But that looks like a man who's just dodged the gallows uh, more than anything. <laughs> the guy before him was like a heftier person and the rope snapped and they're like, oh, fuck it, we're out of rope. Do you know what? Um, with the hat and the beard, he looks like one of the revolutionaries in the French Revolution that they caught and oh, he escaped yeah. the gallows. Oh, man, yeah. I've the, escaped the, the gallows. The, the, <laughs> I'm the so happy. The guillotine has broken and... <laughs> the guillotine has broken and the god has broken. We got the uh, guillotine got broken. Method. I'm sorry, you have to come back tomorrow. <laughs> you must come back tomorrow. Make sure you do. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> and... Uh, the guillotine broken, god has spoken. That's the rule. <laughs> That's how it goes. C'est la rule. You may go free. Enjoy and your not life. not minor god. The real <laughs> big one. <laughs> the big god has done this. So make sure that you come back tomorrow, because we got the new guillotine tomorrow. <laughs> La prochaine guillotine, c'est très bien. Oh, this man. one, uh, merde, guillotine. Merde. <laughs> now make me some gravy. Uh, or a roux. Or a jus. Le jus. Okay. Uh... This is just Tom Selleck and Corsty. Lids is in. She's saving a hundred chips. She because she wants to do the full chip in the chair. She got she got the double trays. Pair of threes. Yeah. Up against that pair of sevens ain't looking great. And Kirsty with the ace ten is. I mean, there's double sevens in the pot too. Yeah, which is a big problem for Lids unless we see some threes very. Very quickly. I'm gonna I'm gonna bet you, Tom, that Lids is gonna go bust on this hand since she has no money left. What do you want to bet? A tenner. Tenner? Oh, God, that's not a pint. A pint. I'll take a gentleman's pint for that. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll do that. Bet made. You didn't see the handshake, but it happened. All you uh, saw was my hand go this way and Tom's come that way. <laughs> but it did happen. We merged. We merged. Uh but she I feel if she stays left. in, you owe me like five points. It's like a five to one odds. Oh, jeez. Two to one. Look at, oh. I mean, technically it should be like nine to one, but I'm not going to buy you nine pints. Or if I do, I have to buy them all at once. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> A uh, pipe for me and uh, nine for my friend, please. <laughs> just turning up and doing that, <laughs> just like a psychopath. <laughs> uh, sure, yeah, I'm in. Okay, uh, well, Kirsty's got the pair of aces now, which Tom Selleck ain't gonna love. We really need that three. It's not great odds. Tom Selleck's gonna donk off some chips here. Oh, is that, yeah. Is that a thousand? Kirsty's thinking. No, Kirsty's got it with a pair of aces and the pair of She's tens. got two pair. Lids is out. She's all in. She's oh, out. Unless but, she hits a unless three. She gets the three. She must Come hit a on. three. Come on. Get that three. Où est le toi? Everyone. Où est le toi? Three's in chat. If you, if, if you can send, send some love, channel that big three energy. Come on. If everyone prays. It is a it's, king. Ooh. It is le roi. Le roi. Ce n'est pas le toi. Lid c'est out. Uh, well, well played. Le roi. That is uh, Lydia, your first place finisher in the tournoi de finale. Avec uh, mille points. You lost. And uh, she is out. And there goes, uh, you owe me one pint. Au revoir, Lydia. <laughs> you owe me neuf pint. Um, no, I'll... that was not the deal. It was one pint. Yeah, I'll, I'll owe you. Which, I'll I mean, given that pint. we're definitely going to go to the pub afterwards and we would have bought each other pints anyway. <laughs> Sometimes it gets lost. Yeah. But that one, I'll deliberately... Oh, your pint, sir. Your winning Thank pint. You. <laughs> Master. <laughs> Master, I have your pint for you. Um, unfortunately, old uh, Igor ain't great at, you know, keeping a pint up, right? <laughs> <Slop. Master. laughs> your um, pint. Gonna, oh, some of it's fallen out. It's, it's going to slot around a little bit. But 
It's how, how I have to take it. Big L with the big L indeed. Get her in here. Summon Lydia. Okay. Oh, she looks amazing with the amount of hair that she's got. There's just a lot going on. It's a lot to, to you know, to decompress. Nazi is wearing a tiny Santa hat on his hand. Ravs hasn't done much lately. Uh, the, is he wearing someone else's jacket or has he dragged his cuffs extra down? I can't tell because that's far too much cuff for a jacket to show. That's all. I, I tend to find I have that problem, the reverse of that problem. Well, you, not enough cuff. Not enough cuff. So, I mean, you're, you're quite a tall man, so I think it is hard. You generally want just a tiny bit of cuff you're showing. The, a, a little. A little bit. But yes, quite often, you'll st when you stand there, and they measure you and stuff like that. They'll be like, oh, this is enough. But I, I don't know if there's some movement around the scene. I feel like it slowly kind of eases Just a little. up as well. Yeah. Um, Just a little cuff. Sad times. That's a little, little too much cuff on show there. It looks like he's like, you there, give me your fucking jacket. <laughs> but, but I do give me your fucking jacket. Do you know how many fish restaurants I own, Paul? <laughs> Three. That's right. Let's go in here. <laughs> Three fish restaurants. And one of them's profitable. They're Three all the pretty jacket. successful. One of them's doing okay, the other two are doing shape. Oh. Excellent. Yeah, he's gonna, <clears throat> so you gotta shuffle over. If uh, if Xylus was uh, a French revolutionary, his codename would be Le Grunoui. Le Grunoui. Le Grunoui. Is that the green? No, that is the frog. Oh, Le okay. Grunoui. I never learned French at all, so this is just lost on me. Um, sad times. That's all right. I mean, Bristol's further than France from further from France than Bournemouth or London, which are the two places that I learned some French. Um, and of course, I have dedicated my life to the study of le français. Le français. So that's why I speak so little of it. I just know how to say frog. And Uwe, Frog. the bibliothèque. Uh, Je suis Perrion Flax. Bonjour. J'habite à Londres. Je m'appelle Tom. Je suis. How do you say 40? 46. Mm. Mm. Do you know how you say 88 in French? 88. Do you know how to say it in German? Uh, act. Acton accent! <laughs> ah, so. Lydia! Enchanté! Grab Lydia, the headphones grab the, and join pull us. Pull the thing over. Do the, <coughs> the headphones. Don't fall over. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <gasps> ah, shimmy me. Oh, shimmy oh, in. bloody hell. I'm on the way down. Where's my thing gone? Your thing? Oh, it's not. Wait, I'll say sorry. Okay, she's a professional. She's a professional. She's done this. Okay, let me get, scoot, let me scoot, get scoot. in there. Let me get in there. Uh, Lydia, for your sixth place finish, we would like to present to you this uh, oversized novelty check wow. of five thousand wow. dollars uh, from uh, very kindly donated by uh, Displate. Uh, oh. Hold it up. Thank you so much. There you go. This is One amazing. oversized novelty check. Uh, you have come sixth out of eighteen players. That's not bad. That's top third. No one saw that coming. Yeah. No, indeed. I shitted it. I'm, I came out. I was out first last year. I think maybe second the year before that. Like I've never even come close to sniffing the smell of the final game. You know well, that sweaty you made it aroma. to the final table. But well, also, you are the only person who has lost twice tonight. So <laughs> there's about to be a whole bunch of other people as well. Also, not to toot my own fucking clarinet, but <laughs> please, I went, this is a family-friendly stream. I We've been keeping there. it clean. Keep it clean. I, sorry, I went in there with. Barely any money. Poor little orphaned urchin child. You're a billionaire who murdered your wealthy seventy-year-old husband. But I mean, my little, my little st tiny stack of two thousand. I gave you pounds. that two k. By the way, they said to me, "How much do you are you giving her when she gets to the final table?" I said, two k." You couldn't give me any more than that. 2K. No, because you lost. But I go on. I. Gave it my all. I gave it you my did. my gusto. My my uh, my whole yep. heart and indeed face went into it. And also, um, I think I lasted for a really long time, considering I barely had any fucking money. You did great. You did. Thank you. I mean, I'm really I'm just bigging myself up here because neither of you are 
making any attempt. You did. <laughs> you were great. Who was it that sorted out me another cider? That was nice. Uh, Do you feel like that was like the god of cider? That was so nice. I saw Boba like creeping in. I guess she was just uh, keeping an eye on the stream and noticed. Lucky. Sometimes, you know, just fortunate things happen. These things bad happen. People. Good things happen to bad people. Yeah. Reverse karma. <laughs> Who do you think's going to win? Nilesy. Would have said Nilesy, but... But now he sucks. So my money is on Kirsty. Kirsty? Kirsty is actually Who? smashing it. Like, was chatting to her before. She was like, oh, I've not really played it before. I think she's sharking you. I, I... just found out that she plays poker over Discord with Nalzi and everyone. Also, I'm sure I spoke to her at some point in the pub about how she... The plot thickens! <laughs> ...had played... Uh, we're talking about Red Dead Redemption 2. And she was like, oh, I've got like 500 hours in that. Playing but what, Tom? She had never finished the game. And I was like, how have you not mm -hmm. finished the game in that long? And she was like, I just, play, I just like playing the poker. Play so the actually poker. now I'm like, I think she's actually played a fucking lot of poker. She's the most experienced player around that table. Well, her and Niles, for sure. But she's made some really good calls. And uh, she's played well. Like, honestly, I haven't seen her do any boo-boos. So, she's done yeah, really, I think really Kirsty's going to gonna dominate. I think she 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 catfished us all. And Ozzy, too. Ozzy's, well, Tom, sorry, Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck has lucked their way to this point, right. I think. But Tom Selleck also knows how to hold them and how to fold them. King Jack in that spot, uh, in, in the face of an all-in, that is a good fold. A lot of, lot of rookie players, <gasps> Lydia, would have called. Gone all in. Niles, he's gone all in. He has to because he's the short stack and oh. he has an ace. So that's a good play from him. You see? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But calling Did I do that, any bad boo-boos? Was there anything that made you go like, you dumb bitch? Well, everything. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I ordered first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, right. it was just one of those games, you know. You, yeah, 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 exactly. He's channeling the gods of poker. Indeed. And the, sometimes they got smile on you, and sometimes they frown. Chat saying you weren't even watching. They haven't been paying enough attention. Fuck off, chat. Wow. Oh, we were in this together. Wow. Chat. We're a team. Wow. <laughs> like, how many people are watching right now? Two, gr two thousand. Like two maybe thousand. five hundred people. Yeah. 45? We we were gonna do like the oceans five hundred and two. We have one big team performing the perfect oh. puzzle where we trick you think that we knew what was going on. Oh, yeah. Well, you got a bunch of snitches in chat, so. Yeah, they're snitches. Uh, can, can we get a Hail Gabnor out of you? Hail Gabnor! Give us one of those. What's just, just, what's my uh, what's my drive? What's my? Can um, we get a? We want to pitch down on lids and a really good hearty hail, Gabnor. What's my reasoning? What's my motivation? That you're hailing Gabnor. Oh, Gabnor is going to come and destroy all the unfaithful. And I'm really happy about you're, that. Yeah. No, you are basically a, a, a sort of a, the, one of the, the the sort of heralds of Gabnor. Hail Gabnor. Gabnor. Okay. And then we'll say hail Gabnor. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right, wait, but there's a voice changer coming. We've got a voice Make changer it sound coming. Impressive. Yeah, I can't do Try that. Try it now. Do that again. <coughs> hey, oh, it's not it's not working. Did it production. change? Did it do it? Oh, I fucking know. I can't hear. Oh, it went out to stream. All right, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Try it now, Lids. Okay. Hey, oh, Gabnor! Hey, oh, Gabnor! Thank you, Lydia, for hailing Gabnor well, with thank us. Thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you so for a much wonderful for having, show having so us. far. Uh, you're amazing. But you know we love you. Terrible. But, all, but also a loser. Uh, so. <laughs> well, the, first, the, the sixth place finisher in an 18 player tournament, yeah, I wouldn't first call that loser. a loser. First loser. First, first loser. Thanks finisher for that. is Thanks another way that. to put it. Oh, that's I always nice. like to do that. Right, well done, I man. am heading off. Bye, guys. Thank, thank you, Lids. Thank you. Are you off off or are you going to go out? Uh, no, I'm going to hang out in the office and then go out. We're going out for binkies. Yeah. All Please. right. Please. Bye, Lids. We all love Lids. Bye, Lids. And 5K for charity. Kim Pam Pem Pazoopoo Boom. That's right. <laughs> Kim Pam Pem Pazoopoo is what we say. <laughs> Uh, Excellent. And speaking of which, let me do let me do this uh, again just to make sure. <clears throat> let me just wet the whistle. <whistles> Once again, thank you so much to Display for the extremely generous donation of fifty thousand dollars, Tom, to the Jingle Jam that will be donated to the winners' tables chosen charities. We just saw five thousand dollars we do donate to do this first loser, Lydia, to the charity for her choice. Fifth 
Fourth, third, also 5K. Second place, 10K. First place, $20,000 he does for charity of their choice. And a big thank you to Display for paying for the creators' travel and accommodation so they can be here in person for the Display Poker Tournament. Thank you, Display Love. Thank you so very much. And now to you blebs at home, let's read some donos. Griff. Thank you, Griff, buddy. Thank you, Griff. All the best, mate. He's a regular on my uh, on my Discord. Thank you, yeah. Griff. Hundo. Dusk9. Merry Christmas. Enjoying the annual Pyrrhon and Tom podcast, and also poker, I guess. Thanks for all the streams, you guys are all amazing people for doing so much charity every year. Thank you, we love it. Uh, Im, I'm Napper. Why was a strawberry baby crying? Because its parents were in a jam. Uh, okay. That's awful. I guess that makes what sense. did the duelist say to the other duelist after he cut off his ankles? Looks like you were defeated. These are dreadful jokes, but thank you for the donation. Thank At least your money you. can go to some, do some good. Thank uh, you, sir. Sieben, Sieben Segal. Keep it up, guys. Thank you. The Jezza Carl Show. Merry Christmas. You beauties. Here's some more Jingle Jams. Thank you. David Anderson. <coughs> no comment. Thank you. <laughs> Cherry. Thank you. Plebeian J. This collection is from my friend Zuzia. She's my bestie, and she's always been there for me. Thanks for the streams, guys. Much oh. love. Thank you. And all the best to both of you. Sir Tap. Happy Jingle and Merry Jam. Flippy. Thank you always for your efforts. I like that because it doesn't really solidify that we've achieved anything. Thank uh, you for your efforts. Just thank you. Wait, we've got a big hand here. All in. Nazi all in with Jax. Oh, Up against Tom Selleck Tom with Ace Selleck Queen. All in. This could go... One of two ways. One of two ways. So, a heart for Tom Selleck or... Things just remaining as they are for Nilesy, but oh. a heart here would be the crushing blow or an ace or a queen. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now it's about 30. Wait, and they've got over cards as well and the potential for Australia. Let's call it 45%. 45%? I'm going to say 45%. That's a four. That ain't helping. That anyone. ain't helping. It's got to be a heart. Got to be a heart. And a heart only. Or an ace or a queen, sorry. That's a queen! It's oh. a queen! And Nazi is ooped just like that. Tom Selleck with an enormous chip swing. Nazi can't believe it. Head in hands. He's your fifth place finisher. Wow. We bigged him up. We bigged him up, Tom. Thought he was going to win. Turns out you can't just fold oh, your way. Wait, Nazi covered her. Oh, he said all in. I think they're just counting it out. I, I have no idea. I think he's got a little bit left. I think he's got a K left. Is oh, that a K left? But you know what I always say? Calm chip down, a, chat. Chip in the chair, Pyrrhon. Chip in the chip chair. As or, long as he has a chip and there's still a chair, he could still... I think he's got 600 left. I think he's got 600 left. I could be. I could have misread that. That looks like a 500 and a 100. But we'll find out. That also looks like possibly two five. What is that? Is he all in? Chat. Well, don't worry. We'll get back to you in a sec. Well, he could he could just bosh it all in pre flop if he wants in the in the dark. He can just go all in. Look, if he just double double doubles, then he will have all of the rice in the kingdom very exactly quickly. Exactly right. And exactly right. We've learned that lesson tonight many uh, times over. Just be so so ready to win this. Full of rice and ready to roll. That has very much disturbed the feng shui at the table. Uh, Tom, imagine a, a bunch of pigeons. Now imagine okay, a I can cat. Now oh. imagine a cat. Now imagine me picking up that cat and throwing it amongst those pigeons. Oh. One might say the cat is very much amongst the pigeons. What's he doing in there? He's swiping the... Meow! Meow! The pigeons! What to do? It's chaos! In summation, the cat is very much amongst the pigeons. Well, I feel like that's kind of how it would have started with throwing Nalsi in, but it turns out one of the pigeons has trained in the force, has a fucking forces. lightsaber, Special forces and has pigeon. just cut off one of the cat's arms, and now... <laughs> Mitch Yoda the cat. Mitch Yoda the cat, and now the cat's on the back foot, and the pigeons are realizing they could actually have a piece of cat today. Now they're in charge. Oh. Now it's the pigeons amongst the cat. <sighs> I'm telling you, Kirsty or Ozzy are looking pretty good for this. Three, queen, ace, nine, all hearts. What have we got? We've got a five and a nine. 
and a king and a six. So they're on their backs. I think this could be... That's it. I I think Xylus just got knocked out. I could be mistooken. Wait, but no, if it's just between... Why were they on their backs? If it's just between... Oh, so I think Nalzi just doubled Zylus. up. Sorry, Nalzi just doubled up. I think I think Xylus called him down loose with the 9-5. You shouldn't do that. 9-5 is not a hand you want to... Because he's going to... I mean, yeah, you could say he's going to go all in with anything. But 9-5 is garbage. Like, it's below average hand. You don't want to give him free money. Chip in the chair, Perian. He's doing it. Indeed. We're just going to keep saying it. If he turns this around... It'd be the greatest comeback in poker history. It, honestly, they will write poker books about oh. this. Do they write poker books? Absolutely. I own many. Really? Yeah. The best one ever written, in my opinion, Every Hand Revealed by Gus Hansen. What, does it just tell you all the different combinations of cards? Sadly not. Because that would be, I guess that would be useful. To that would at. be useful, but you could just guess them. But it, it's literally, he went to Australia to play in the, the Aussie Poker Millions. And he took a dictaphone with him, and he recorded every single hand that he played. What he had, what his opponents had, what he did, why he made that decision, his chip stacks and all the rest of it. And then he put it into a book. And by happy coincidence, he won the tournament. That's good. So it's the journey of a man from start to finish of a tournament just explaining, I decided to bet this much because my opponent did this and the other guy did that and this other guy did this, so I folded. And it's like every hand. And you understand. Is he doing this live at the table? Because if he's like, okay, right, <laughs> fuck. I've got I have I'm going king. to bluff this guy. <laughs> I don't think he's going to see me coming. No, Fuck, so I lost another hand. If you watch, the, the, watch the broadcast, he steps away and he's like muttering in Danish into his little dictaphone and then he comes back and sits down. Okay. So it, it, it's, it was really, really, really good. If you haven't read it, if you want to look, Every Hand Revealed by Gus Hansen, my favorite poker book, my absolute favorite poker book. Wow. Poker books. Who would have thought? In the early 2000s, mid-2000s, when poker was booming, before the US shut down online poker gambling, you now have to go to a casino in Vegas or uh, one of the reservations or Atlantic City or maybe I think there were a couple of other places. Um, and poker was like boom time. And the US government was like, we can't have this and stopped it. Poker books were everywhere. It was absolutely a big deal. Wow. And all the poker sites were booming and... Then there was a big scandal with Full Tilt, who ran a poker site, and were essentially, they didn't have the money to cover the deposits of the players on the site. They were taking money out that people had deposited and fucking gambling it and spending it and shit like oh, that. Oh, no. And then it was like, so if everyone had decided to say, we want our money back, they couldn't cover it. So it was a huge fucking deal. Massive. And that shut down Full Tilt. And then I think, um, was it Poker Stars? Or I think it was Poker Stars that acquired um full tilt because they had a, they had the best site po full tilt was the the place to play poker why was that the best site to play poker uh all the pros played there um the, the ui was really good the offers were really good the tournaments were really good it was super busy because when you play poker you want the tournaments to fill up like that so you can get playing right okay. on a quieter site although they might offer you better deals there's something called rake back where they'll give you a percentage back of the money that you've given into the rake. Okay. So the, the way it works when you play cash poker is that I sit down at the table in a casino or on an online casino and a percentage of every pot gets raked to the house. That's their payment for running the game. Sure. So a rake back is that you get a percentage of that money back. So the more you play, the more money you get back. So it really matters what your rake back percentage is. If you had like 20% rake back, you're paying only 80% tax right, instead of 100% okay. on the rake back. So it, it really does help you balance your swings and things like that. They offer good rake back and they have really good tournaments and all the rest of it. A lot of the smaller sites to attempt to lure players in would offer like unbelievable rake back deals and bonus signups. You get $200 free, blah, blah, all this kind of stuff. Um, and Full Tilt was just the place. It was really, really, really good. And then this all collapsed. And now it's just, I think Poker Stars is pretty much the only Poker Star that's really, really big. Wow. According to Daniel Negreanu, more rake is better though. Well, yeah, this is. So Daniel Negreanu is one more of the most successful poker players of all time, but um, he says some crazy shit. He's a pretty funny guy. He's like one of the old school players players um a lot of live table reads when you put them online he 
doesn't tend to perform as well as a lot of the methodical machine-like internet players. Right, okay. So, I mean, it's a very different game. If we're playing each other, mm -hmm. and I'm amazing at reading people, and he really is amazing at reading people, he'd be like, I reckon he got Jack-10. But well, there's compilations of him just calling people's hands to the to the card, sometimes to the suit. He's like, I reckon you got like uh, 10 Jack of Spades. And the guy's like, fine, yes, I have Jack-10 of Spades. And like, literally showing him that that's exactly what he had, stuff like that, it, it's nuts. But when you put him online, he, he, he didn't do as well. I think he has improved, but essentially the old school style of playing poker is not really I think, I, think I prefer that. You know, I prefer to play games in person with people. Agreed. Uh, Agreed. I like that. I like that sort of style. You know, I like to be able to look someone in the face. And they're characters. He talks, he's funny. You know, these, these guys have got a lot of stories, so... I talk. Uh, when? At the poker table? No. Oh, I'm at the poker table. But yeah, so... Uh, a lot of those old characters are sort of, I think, was what made me really fall over poker. It was fun to watch. Mm. Now it's just, if you watch the most recent World Series of oh, Poker... Nazi's all in by Nazi is all in. They take all the time in the world to make every decision. Uh, I think the Dastardly Dutchman is really, really, really thinking about this with A7 Seward. And I can see why. Because he thinks Nazi's going to shove with any two cards, which is true. So A7 is a decent hand to call him here with, but... There's other players to act. So it's a tough with the decision. pair of fives. Rot row. He's like, what do I do here? Because the thing is, the Darcy Dutchman only has two and a half K himself. I, if I was him, I would shove. A7 is a decent hand to go out on. It's A7 suit. He's got an ace. You're not going to have time to wait for a better hand. This is an easy shove. Kirsty, easy, easy two person call. She could knock two players out. Will the, the Dutchman dodge the guillotine again? So he has. He has three big blinds. Oh. If he's even thinking about this for more than a minute, it's a mistake. He has to shove. Literally has to shove. Sorry, Xylus, but you have to. And he's done it, I believe. Mm. I don't like the call. I don't like the call. Just shove, buddy. Because if you if you make your hand, if an ace comes now, you might not get paid off by Kirsty. Your one shot to stay in this tournament and perhaps level up, if you like, is to double up as fast as you can. Make some A7 cash. is an easy... Three... You got three big blinds? A7, I'm biting your hand off to go all in. I would kill for A7 suited in this situation. Okay. Three of them together. The cards... Kirsty should, in the dark, bet 800. That's, Jack, that would be the best. Just bang in 800. And a six. Does not change a lot currently. No, nope. There is a heart out there, so there is potential. Uh, eight nine would give him the straight, of course. Um, uh, there's another six. That is another heart. I think they're going to check it down to try and knock Nazi out, which is smart play because he's probably the strongest player at the table. But Kirsty could pick up an extra eight hundred here, and you never know. Uh, she's winning this so far. A heart will change everything, but she will still scoop. Um, it's four. A little bit. It is a four. Kirsty wins the pot. And Nazi is, is out. out. And Xylus has lost a bunch of cards. So, I mean, you, if you want to be results oriented, you could look and say, oh, Xylus made the right play. He's still got a chip and a chair. But he would have finished fourth chip, anyway. Chip he would have finished fourth anyway if he'd gone all in. And he's probably going to finish fourth here. And if he had hit an ace or a seven, he would have completely doubled up rather than just having this little extra bit left over. Just fucking jam it, dude. Just jam it. What are you going to do with 800? That's one big blind. One big blind. You're all in now with seven deuce or some garbage. Jam it, son. I know I'm right. Poker players in chat, you know I'm right. Yeah, poker players, you know, speak up. You know. Say it now. X in chat if I'm correct, please. Wow. Give me a coggers, actually. Give me a coggers if I'm right. Uh, so, Niles E. Out of the tail. Uh, I think we need to be making a bigger deal out of how we... Yeah. Some who we thought was definitely going to be winning this. Nazi was the chip leader, I believe, Going at the start in of this. with the biggest stack. Let's find out from the man himself what went wrong when he comes in here. But uh, that was quite the turnaround. We did say he's going to win it, but I said I quite fancy Kirsty to win this because she has played really good solid poker and she's had holy shit. that little bit of extra luck. Now, I realize it's easy to say that now, but I did say I think Kirsty's looking pretty good yeah. here. And I think you agreed. You were like, Kirsty's, you know, she was, she's played a bunch of poker and stuff like that. I think I think Kirsty is the, not the dark horse. I think she's just the horse horse. She's just gonna come in there in first. That's, that's a pure horse horse. Just a, the irregular horse. She's Pegasus. Raz, is that enough? He's well, quit. Well, Pegasus isn't a regular horse. That horse has fucking wings. Yeah, that's a good point. That 
horse can fly. Grab a seat, sir. Grab a seat, grab a headset, wheel into camera shot as much as you can. Woo. Thank you, sir. Oh my God, my hair. Sorry. Sorry, thank you, mysterious check giver. Hi, guys. Nilesy. Hi. We had high hopes for you I going know, into that. I know, I know. I'm we sure you did as well. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry about that, guys. I, I, I know I'll let you go. I know you, Tom, you champion me every year. Just and I know you do. And I tried. I know I was supposed to fall to second, but I thought, ah, fuck it, you know. Just but you dominate in your heat. Like it was like, like it looked like you were barely having to pay attention and you were just calling no, all the right spots. Looks, I got some lucky spots and cards, I think. You're but you knowing when to hold them and knowing when, when to, to fold them, hold them exactly. is in fact I met a man key. on a train who told me about that. Did you have fun? I had a fucking whale of a time. Okay. And uh, and good luck to to everyone out there apart from Kirsty, she's a bitch. Oh. oh. No, 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 no. She's oh. amazing. she's amazing, well, we'd but like every that. we like a little uh, fighting team. <laughs> every we'd every, like to present every you. Hand, uh, Oh, yes. Is this to the Whale and Dolphin Conservation $5,000 case yes. of this plate? In your name, sir, for the Poker of the Tournament for coming fifth. Ah. Nazi, if you would like to take this giant novelty check. Oh, my God. Which is not really a novelty check. It, it, this is not, obviously, an actual check. This is a blown-up version of a real if, check. If but I, that money is real. If I change my name to Whale and Dolphin Conservation, could I check cash this? Oh, you Get in there quick, and it'll definitely work. Right take now. that in, slap well, it on the counter. I'll be seeing you guys it later. Courtesy of this place. So, <laughs> Thank yes. you, guys. Thanks, chat. What's, the, what's the donation money at? Uh, we hit the uh, 2.7 2. milli. Guys, yeah. let's get some more money in. We can at least get 7.15 by the next person being knocked out. There you oh. go. So fucking let's go. Let's, let's see go. you on the chat. GG Nalzi. Fuck the GG Nalzies. Get the Tiltify open. There's the link. Get it open. Let's get a couple of pounds in from everybody, all right? There you go. All right, let's go, guys. Listen to the let's man himself. 7, 7.15. Oh. Don't fuck around here. Don't right, fuck around one. here. Do you hear that? Bam. Thank you what so lad. very much. What? What a Thank gentleman. you, Nalzi. What a what a hero! Didn't move the chair. Though. Didn't fucking move the didn't chair. Move though, the did he? Chair. Didn't move the chair. How much of a gentleman can you be? <laughs> uh, but wow, Nalzi, well, uh, you know, one of our, our stars. You brought him out, and um, I mean, it's looking like heads up between Tom Selleck and Kirsty here. Which I I'm starting this. At the very beginning, I don't think that's who I would have called to be in no. the finale. No, because I, I, I don't think I, I, I'm pretty sure I remember Ozzy playing last time and it didn't go well, but she's kind of, she is like the ultimate dark horse because in a way you don't know what she's up to up there. At all. In Blackpool or whatever that, what northern shithole she lives in. <laughs> who, who knows? You know. <laughs> Wherever, to, Tom Selleck lives in Miami or somewhere like that, so. Wherever it is that Tom Selleck resides, <laughs> no offense, Northerners, you scum. But uh, so, just to get this clear, fuck you, Southern Americans and Northern. Uh, <laughs> no, I British didn't say people. fuck Southern. I just don't like their gravy. Your gravy's fucking shit. All right, let me put it this way: I can say I don't like Southern gravy, and they might get snippy about it. But if you tell a Northerner, "Oh, I hate gravy," they be like, "You don't like gravy." <laughs> What are you talking about? You don't like gravy? Do you think they'd be more upset yeah. if you said you don't like gravy to a northerner or you said you come from a shithole? No, North. they'd say, oh, it is a shithole. It's you fucking southerners' fault. <laughs> Thanks to Thatcher and the fucking successive Tory governments you southern bastards have been voting in. It's thanks to you lot, but it's a shithole up here. It is a shithole, I'll grant you that, but it shouldn't be. It's your bloody fault. That's OC. That's the, the, if there was a, a it, thought uh, bubble on OC now, that, that's right what it would now, be. in that scene, <laughs> just that entire just wall of text just in that thought bubble. I mean, I, I, the problem is that the North does suffer from a lot of fucking problems, and a lot of it is our fault. But if you think about the, the universe as a whole... You know, at least they've got gravy. They've got gravy. They've got some gravy. And uh, we've actually found a planet with a James Webb telescope that is made entirely of gravy. And we're currently firing northerners at the planet <laughs> uh, in the hope that one of them can reside there. Wow. Okay. Is that Brian Cox? It does sound like Brian Cox. It's Brian Cox. I'm here on a planet made entirely of gravy at BBC Licence Pay's expense. Thanks for that, you southern bastard. Wow. Do you, so people forget he was in a band called D Ream. D Ream. D Ream or Dream. I always read it as D Ream. Oh. Who had that song? Things can only get better. I can only get. Uh, yeah, I can I only get. Dog shit song. Um, and uh, he was in that band. Wow. And I hated D Ream. 
And then when he started off on the BBC, uh, he was just always in some fancy location to run Santa as hands. But I have watched his stuff lately, and I watched Universe and I watched a few other things, and I'm actually now warmed massively to Mr. Cox. I'm a fan of Cox at this point. Uh, I think he's great. And uh, the way he presents is really nice, and he's actually a really likable presenter. And it's nice to know that we have another British presenter coming along who's got a very strong regional accent, who's not just going to replace David Attenborough's sort of clipped English. So if I'm here in the Gobi Desert. He's like, I'm here in the Gobi Desert. It's like, this is good. This is good, because a lot of times in the past, British people who didn't have the pro pr received pronunciation didn't get a shot. And now we're getting people like Brian Cox and giving 10 million quid to go make a TV show in the jungle just to show you this is a leaf, right? And you don't get leaves on Mars. Mars is a desert. <laughs> wow. And here I Tell am Tell me now more. In the Mars. Dr. Brian Cox. <laughs> what else do they have on Mars? <laughs> He's great. He's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan now, but uh, some of those early shows, fuck me, you could have done that in Brighton. Fuck me. You could have done that on fucking Bournemouth Beach, or you could have fucking done that in, in anywhere. Anywhere. Blackpool Beach, we got Sam there, you daft bugger. You daft bugger. Brian Bloody Cox, shit him. I shit him. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, Zylus is all in. Oh, fuck. With a well, Jack he's got King. bugger all. But if you're going to go all in, Jack King's nice. He has bumped into Ravs with fours. Kirsty with the Friday night. She's raised it up. Tom Seller with three eight should be oot. Uh... Fold, Tom. That's the fold from Kirsty and Fravs will probably give this a little little seeing to Tom Selleck. Who knows? Uh, I have a feeling Ravs is going to bang it all in and Tom Selleck's going to fold. It's going to be against the Dastly Dutchman against Ravs. As I've said before, Tom, what do we call this? A, a lower pair against two overcuts. Oh, God, just... Um... Was it the Riverboat Massacre? No. no, I've said it like a dozen times. This, oh, this year it, it's a, uh, the classic. Chip in the chair. It's the classic. Heads up! It's a race. It's a race. This is basically a coin flip. You've got a made hand against two overcards. It's essentially fifty-fifty. So uh, we'll see. Especially since neither of them has suited cards. Um, the only thing that would make it the even more classic race is if none of them shared a suit. Oh. But um, we shall see how this goes. Kirsty is still involved. She has so much money, why not? But that's how you end up kind of slowly... Uh, dribbling. Slowly however, dribbling. However, Thomas, she has flopped a, a, a flush draw, but Zaz has hit his jack, so she must hit the spade and hope he doesn't hit another jack or another queen. Ooh. For the boat. Or that Ravs might hit a four. Oh, classic boats turning up again. Love it. It's one Love of my favorite things. You know, you wait a long time for boats and then three of them come along at once. That does that's what, what, that's what they say. Um, that's what every bargeman I've ever known has said. Or you wait a long time for a barge and then three of them come along at once. Do you know a lot of bargemen? I've known many bargemen in my former life as a, a, a tunnel stepper. A tunnel stepper. Oh, yeah. You know what a tunnel stepper is, my lad? Isn't that someone who stole from barges? No. Quite the opposite. When the barges had to go through tunnels, remember they were horse-drawn? Yeah. They had to go through the tunnel. And in order to keep the barge moving, you had someone on there stepping on the roof. Oh, to move it along. Yes. They might not have been called tunnel steppers. I might have made that up. But it's a descriptive term for what they do. There's a four! There's the four! Ravs has hit a boat! Oh, shit the that, He has hit a boat, but Xylus can, can scuff him with a jack or a queen, which will give him a more powerful... Boat. A bigger boat. Yeah, Kirsty is out of the tank. Oh she cannot God. win. This is a classic Jaws moment that he is going to need a bigger boat. He's going to need a bigger boat. It's a queen. It's a jack or a queen or Xylus is out. It's a nine. It's a nine. And that's it. Rav stays in. Xylus is out. Shaking hands with all his competitors and his rivals. Does he shake the dealer's hand? Does he tip him? He doesn't. He will not be welcome in this casino again. Wow. Always tip the dealer. Or Wait, at did, least. actually, did we just catch? Did he just spit in the dealer's I face? Think he spat at the dealer. I think he literally just spat in the dealer's face as he left. Bit of late drama here at Yogg's Poker, but we <sighs> believe Xylus spat the, on the dealer. What the hell? My God. Yeah, but these are high stake games. These are, but it doesn't excuse that kind of behavior, Tom. 
you know, I'll give, I'll give them a pass. You know, high stakes, very high stakes games. Um, what would Gabnor say? Gabnor? I think Gabnor would just burn this entire building to the ground. Gabnor says destroy. Actually, um, I think I think Gabnor, as a fan of poker, would in fact stick around until the end. If we didn't have enough Ace of Spades, which is his favorite card, of course, then he might. But I'm just thinking Gabnor himself, while the going is going, while the game is going, Gabnor is a happy man. As soon as the poker is over, then he's going to torch the place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is why in the temple of Gabnor, poker is played 24-7. Of yeah. Have a seat. Uh, Fourth place headset, finished to Xylus. Grab a thing oh. and wheel on in. Oh. How oh. the heck are you doing? You know, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I, uh, you know, I, I, I hit my quad kings today. Oh, That was, you know, that, that was a victory a in itself. Yep. I love that. A, a Never dream. hit quads before. Never hit quads before. Um, yeah, no, I just, uh, I, got, I got a little unlucky on some of my hands. I, uh, at the very start of the finals, I got my, um, what was it? Like, I had jack, a pair of jacks, and yep. no one else had anything, and then OZ rivered a flush, which oh, cost yes. me, like, 80% yes. of my stack. We oh. were going nuts in here. Chat was as yeah. well. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. But, yeah, no, all in all, like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my performance. You know, I can't complain. You did fantastic. I can't complain. Well, commiserations, but... Fear not, because with this giant novelty check, oh my God. we award to Dogs for Autism $5,000 redos courtesy of Displate. Going your way, pass it along, Tom. Thank oh you. Oh, my, here you go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well my done. goodness. Oh, oh, this is for JJ. For JJ. This is for sweet, JJ. Sweet little JJ. Sweet JJ. Get him um, all the treats. Absolutely amazing. Um, you were a great competitor. Thank um, you. I this, appreciate that. This game has not gone how we thought it was no. at no. all. No, neither did I. Who do you uh, think's going to win from the players left? And Kirstie. why is it Kirsty? Uh, it's Kirsty. <laughs> she's brutal, isn't she's she? She's brutal. Yeah. She, she has no mercy. Um, she, uh, uh, honestly, the, the women are colluding. I'm telling you. What? Okay, dude. <laughs> All right. Go back to Reddit. <laughs> no, the women uh, are colluding. <laughs> I'm telling you, the women are colluding. They're against no, us. I, th I think Kirsty's going to win because she's just uh, she's going mental. Like, she's actually just... She hits really good hats. She is super aggressive in, in her bets. Uh, it's terrifying to play yeah. against her right now. So I think it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be Kirsty. Or Ozzy. It's one of the two. I think one of those bloody women are going to win. Raps, <laughs> Raps doesn't stand a chance. I'm sorry. So you're rooting for Ravs. I'm not rooting for Ravs. Okay, well, no, Ravs has already won. Were... I want either Kirsty or Ozzy to win, but I okay. think it's going to be Kirsty. Okay. All right. Well, let's Thank see if, you. if, if the femoids <laughs> win. <laughs> so much uh, for joining us. And uh, thank you for raising it. so much for charity. Oh, that God. Was so That's the uh, greatest pleasure of my it's life. going to be going to worthy causes. Uh, I know it will. I know it will. Amazing. Rabs is all in and has won with a full house. Oh, the hand wow. of the tournament is the full house. Oh, shit. It keeps coming up, so Rabs has doubled up. Xylus, thank you for participating. Appreciate we shall see you it. next Cheers. year. Yeah, will do. For Xylus. For Xylus. Not a chair mover. Interesting. What a prick. Hates I mean, women lovely. won't move chairs. <laughs> That's not. He, you know, um, <laughs> just, uh, just uh, you know, having a hard time at the moment. Uh, anyway, what are the, what are the chips looking like right now? Um, Round and mainly in Kirsty's pocket. Yeah. Wow. Kirsty. Just. The women are colluding. <laughs> <laughs> the Dutch. So he now represents you, all Dutch people in chat. He's your guy. The women are colluding. <laughs> Is that you can't keep repeating it? <laughs> That's not what he meant. <laughs> it just sounded so funny. It just sounded so funny. Well, I, I think the women are colluding. <laughs> All right, Dutchie, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mm. what do we got? Ravs, Kirsty, and Tom Selleck. Could 
Rav's Kirsty has got a lot of fucking money. Could Kirsty move over to one of the empty seats so we've got a nice three shot? Bip, bap, bap. Just thinking director here. Uh, As a director here. Does it fuck with the readers? They have to then change that. Oh, uh, yeah, that no, I don't, I don't want to put the, the lads through that. It's fucking 10 The tech then. boys have been through so much today They're already. Like, no, Perian, no. Yeah, they've been sitting up for hours. And the, yes, this is her lucky seat. That's a good point. You never move someone unless you have to. Mm. Xylus does represent you, Wessel. You gotta live with that now. Wessel. Following the Yogscast for a long time says Aztec. Uh, sometimes even dreamed of being a part of it, but I don't have the talent. Well, let me tell you something. You don't have much talent. <laughs> Honestly. To be a part of the Yogs. Uh, if As we could be sat here doing Alice this. Um... <laughs> oh, wait. That means I could perfectly fit in. Well, there. I should have read okay, the rest right, of the right, message. Nice. Uh, and you have a small penis. Thank you. Mr. Cheese for Nilesy. Thank you for the hundo. Wasted Zebra, my somethings are jingling and my jam is hamming. Great podcast, boys. Balls. Uh, balls. balls. Correct, it was balls. Uh, Klaus Sujo, Yogscast is S tier. Keep up the good work. That means very good. That's kid slang for very good. Uh, <laughs> Phil <Thanks>. D. <laughs> yep. yep, poker, poker, poker. Indeed, indeed. thank you. 50 pound from no name provided. Let's go. Indeed, let us go. Man, no name provided is so generous. Very They've generous. donated that is a lot today. Top, top lad. Sea Biscuit, out of the Vod Goblin pile and into the sweet release of Poker. Uh, Vizlak. Hail, Vizlak. Hail, Vizlak. Hey, all. I sadly haven't been able to keep up with all the streams due to classes. It's classes. Okay. And they such. Cut ass they cut out, out ass. They cut the ass from class. Wow, there's a pretty savage uh, word ban yeah. on the <laughs> donation yeah. reader. But I still want to donate and thank you all for all the great memories you've given me. Uh, Plebeian J to my oldest friend Bradley. Oh, I'm sure we already read this one out. Plebeian J. Uh, we haven't had a chance to talk recently. I still consider you an amazing friend, indeed. From Sarah. Been here since the most Minecraft blitz. Blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blah, thank blah, you. Blah. Thank you, Sarah. Blah, First time blah, donating. Blah. We love poker in Texas. Blah, blah, blah. Waves. Niles, you made me donate. Yes, indeed. Hey, guys. Great stuff. I've not been able to watch this year as much as I like to. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Love in the poker stream. Everybody. Thank you. Skydiving Elf. Thank you. Zeph. Thank you. Uh, no name provided again. This guy. Andy C. Uh, the poker stream is a highlight of the jingle jam for me. Agreed. Oh, Mr. Wheelman82. Thank you for all you guys do. Justice for Wheelboy. Shut the fuck up. That is not... What's happening here, chat? Uh, Ravs to Riches and Tom Selleck. Not the most excitement in the hands. Tom Selleck has gone down a lot in chips. Has just slowly lost. Ravs is up to 13 and a half K. Which is... A decent chunk of change. Ravs to Riches for sure. Just doing amazing work. If Ravs wins this... It's going to do the fish restaurant trade in Glasgow a great service. So good. One of them might start making money. Wow. Oh, when I opened my three restaurant, my three fish restaurants in Glasgow, I thought to myself, are the, are the people of Glasgow ready for three fish restaurants open side by side by side? Do, do Glaswegians like fish? That was the question I asked myself. It turns out they didn't. They but didn't. They didn't. But I'm gonna keep going, and I've, I'm gonna open a fourth restaurant just to the left of one of the other ones. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. Four next to each other. Aye, with the same name. Because I figure if you confuse people enough. Also, if you look on uh, Google Maps and you look restaurant, ah, for no bistro, Tom, no brasserie, restaurant. You're gonna see four in a row, and you're gonna think this place must be good. Okay, yeah, because I guess you'd be walking past them and you'd be like, fuck, I keep seeing these everywhere now. That must be good. And you'll smell fish wherever you go. Well, as long as you're within a four shop. No, you know, we boundary. pipe it out. We've got a giant chimney coming out the roof. Oh, people, oh, people love fish this, smell. Aren't they? People love the smell of fish. So we pump it out and try and bring them in. Wow, yeah, sometimes. You know, there's a lot of foods. That when you smell it, you're like, oh, I really, oh, popcorn. Oh, you smell that at the, uh, you know. You immediately buy some. And you're like, I kind of fucking want some popcorn. Or you popcorn. you smell like a barbecue or Ooh. a burger place. And you're like, okay, I could go for Ooh, that. Or the smell of dark meat cooking. I feel like you don't 
I, or I personally don't have that with fish. <laughs> no, I love seafood. I love fish. But, but it's you never not... walk past him and say, "Ah, the smell of fish." Ooh, Let us dine. That <laughs> fishy smell. <laughs> That's what I want right now. It's true. It's true. Doesn't. Uh... I mean, I, I do love. I love fish. Like really, really good fish is 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 just so good. I don't like. Um, I'm not a big fan of like octopus or squid. Oh, love squid. It's, it's okay, oh, but it, it, it doesn't grab me in quite the same way. But I, I do love. Uh, one thing I can't abide is oysters. It's oysters and not. clams. I can't eat them. But uh, pretty much every other seafood, lobster. I've never eaten lobster. Oh, ever in my life. Not out of no no fear. Just out of. If you come to London. Having... I'll take you to my favorite lobster place. A lobster thing for lobster dinner. It is. My favorite. I'd love to try that because I've never never had it, and I would try it because I like amazing. I like food. I as mean, you can, as you can tell, of course, yes, uh, we both enjoy food. And never, never give it a go. Well, lobster is for me I like it. In, I love a steak. I love a steak. I've had some steaks that are like this is the best. I've had some steaks from like this was expensive and it was a disappointment. Mm. I've never had a lobster where I was like I wish I hadn't ordered the lobster. Really? Every time I have lobster, I'm like. Yes, this is it. Because there's really only one way to do it. Well, there's, there's totally two. You can like... A lot of butter. You can steam them, I think, or boil them, or you can like grill them, but there's generally then butter and shit all over them. Love it. It's lobster and butter. And I love both of those things. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, I, every time I go to this place for lobster, I'm like, I am in fucking heaven. King six for Ravs. Oh. Queen Jack for Kirsty. This could be Kirsty is all in. Oh my god! Oh, uh, Ravs has the pair of kings. Kirsty has the pair of jacks. She has to hit a jack, or that's it. Oh fuck! Wait. Or a ten. A ten or a jack. It's a seven. Ravs is Ravs is the colossal chip leader now. Wow! Is Kirsty out? Kirsty is out. I'm pretty sure Kirsty just went out. She is out. She is leaving the building. Well, she's not leaving the building. She's leaving the room. She's coming here. What? The it's, it's Tom fuck? Selleck versus Ravs. Ravs is. I've played it cool. They told me a fish restaurant wouldn't they work? I played it wrong. <laughs> he's diligent. He's hardworking. He's committed. Because he knew. He's rough. If I put butter. Butter on the, the lobster. The Scottish will eat it. If I deep fry this fucker, they'll come around. They'll fucking eat anything they'll that's deep here. fried. Deep fry it. What? I can't deep fry. I'll deep fry the fucker. Holy shit. Uh, well, this puts a little bit of a dampener on uh, Xylus' theory that... Um, the, women are the women are colluding. <laughs> Not so much. Come Kirsty. on in. Grab um, a headset. Grab a headset. Grab the seat. Roll yourself in. What the heck? Keep uh, coming. Come keep little, coming. Come keep little, coming. Little further. I'll come in a bit more. Wow! 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 Um. Hi. We thought you were going to win it all. We were here I just thinking you were winning. I was very silly. I think I I let myself get carried away. I wanted to just. Annoy Ravs by going all in. Mm. <laughs> so I did, and he beat me. Oh. <laughs> I I didn't think I'd even get this far though. Like I thought I would go out straight away because I don't really know what I'm doing. So yeah. Is that? But I had a lot of fun. Is that true? Do you not know I what mean, you're doing? I mean, I didn't think I knew what I was we doing. We think you are a filthy liar. <laughs> but actually, you're a shark. <laughs> I mean, I, when I went into it, I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. But then I, when I got through to the, the final, I was like, maybe I do know what I'm doing. Can I ask you a, a, <laughs> maybe ask I you a do. question? Some new evidence has come to light. I'd like to press you on this while I have the chance. Mm. Have you played much Red Dead Redemption 2? Yes. <laughs> when you were playing Red Dead Redemption 2, one of the things when you travel around the world, yeah, back, yeah, mm. you can drop into like inns. You know, the, the odd inn with the odd yeah, bars. Game. And yeah. uh, mm. they have... A sort of yeah. poker game that you can play. They do. Have you ever partaken? It's just a small amount. How many hundreds of hours have you spent playing poker? Just and a there? couple hundred, you know. I, I do enjoy the I odds. don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Shock 
king. By the way, uh, <laughs> Ravs is a pair of eights, and uh, Tom Selleck is all in. So this game is about to end on this hand. Quickly, take the check. This uh, is this way, 5,000 to Huntington's Disease Association. Yay. Thank you, Kirsty. Thank you so much, Kirsty. Thank you. Um, you were amazing. We're going to get back to this. Um, also, Thank you so was much. there collusion? Can you just confirm? Yeah, yes between no. you and Tom Selleck. Was there collusion? No. The women no. were not colluding. No. Were they not colluding? We were informed we were, we that they were by Rath, a reliable and I source. I still want we Tom heard Selleck to be Rath's. But collusion. Um, but no, there was no collusion. Glad to hear it. Uh, Tom Selleck is about to be done. Thank you for joining us. Thank uh, you so much. Will, Thank you, Kirsty. Thank uh, you. This is all about to be. Oh, is he best? Oh my gosh, she got a pair of she queens! She got a queen on the end! Oh my oh, god! <laughs> what? It's on, baby! It is fucking on. Thank you, Kirsty. Thank you, Kirsty. Not a chair Did mover. Not a chair, not a Did chair move mover. A chair. For the record, it wasn't on stream, but uh, Kirsty, not a chair mover. Who was the wow. chair mover? Wow. We've had a, there's there's been a couple. Who were they? Chat, who moved the chair? I can't, I can't remember. There was, there was, there was a couple. Uh, was Narthi a chair mover? Rithian was. Rithian was a chair mover. Very good. Lydia? I don't think Lydia was a chair Lydia mover. Lydia fucking would. I don't, think, I don't think Lydia did. Sarah? Boba? I think Sarah might have. Uh, you just, people are just naming everyone You're just that has listing appeared. people in the Yogs cast. Now it's on. Now it is on. Uh, wow. wow. Okay. Managed to turn it around. Absolutely just saved it. Uh, Ozzy with a miracle queen on the river. That's the kind of luck that can win you a tournament, Tom. When it, it comes, it comes in runs. It comes it, in waves. Is it luck or is it skill? You know. In that instance, pure skill. It's Luke turning off his targeting computer to take the <laughs> shot. You yeah. know, is that luck? Well, he was told to do it. Mm. Use the force, Luke. And he thought, God, I wonder what the fuck he means. Oh, I'll turn off the targeting computer. And everyone was like, no, you could just use the force to like guide the missile in there because we have telekinesis and stuff. Yeah, fucking magic and shit. Sure, just turn off the targeting computer, whatever it takes. Well, for all we know, uh, Tom Selleck could, you know, instead of having a force ghost talking to her, you know, just the voice of the women. Ah, colluding with colluding her. Colluding. We've got... Her, <laughs> in her mind. <laughs> We got King Nine from Raz. We have got Jax from Tom. Let's see what happens here. The pair of Jax for the Jingle Jam. This has got to be a win. This is fate. This is fate. Oh my God! But the other hand is the Nine of Diamonds. Oh, he folded. He did fold. Okay, what are oh the hand the? We're heads up. That's what you say when you have two people of you. Are heads up. Why do they call it heads up? It's just the two of you. Your heads up, looking at each other. Just the two of you. You're not looking around. Your heads are only up. You're looking at your cards. You're looking up. You're looking down. You're looking up. Your heads up. So it's heads up, but sometimes down to look at the cards. Heads up, but sometimes down. Exactly. Right. Okay. Right. That that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh. So it's a tie game. Oh, they must be Five. not a million miles away from. Big blood. The blinds now are up to 4,000, so I think they're, they're pretty big. This could go either way. Uh, can we get a new like poll, poll and chat? Um, let people bet all of their things mm. and see who they think is going to win. Will bet win. now. Uh, you know, put it up for a, a minute. Tom Selleck or Ravs. We already have, we already have one. What? They already bet it. Okay. Well done. They're, they're far more prepared. Well done. Ozzy really looks bored. Yeah, because she has to deal with these mere mortals to her. <laughs> Where she has been stomping uh, just through this game. Will she do it? They so she just this is so the problem with heads up poker, which is my, my least favorite kind of poker, is that 
there's very little poker to be played. Mm. And I, I have been in this situation in a tournament where it's just you and another person and it's like the average hand is supposedly queen seven. Um, so I'll bet you'll look at your cards like 10-4. And four, if I four, bet three. even with 4-3, like aggression makes a big difference. But then at some point, I will make a big raise. You'll re-raise me all in and I'll be like, sure, you might just be making a move. And I'll call, we turn over and we both got like reasonable hands. And then you're just in the lap of the gods. So the thing that really sets uh, players apart in Heads Up is who is going to be the most aggressive? But between two good players, neither of them will get away with that. Right. So okay. it's really just comes down to the cards a lot in Heads Up play. You're waiting for a collision where both players say, I'm pulling the trigger think, on I this hand. I think I can win hand. this yes. hand. And someone might win a big hand and leave someone else with very little. And then they're just all in every time. And then it's like a roulette wheel. You just like spin the wheel. Right, what do I get? Okay. So it, it eventually really tends to come down to, I've had enough, you've had enough. I've got Jack 10, you've got Queen 9. Of whatever reason, we're both all in on this hand. Like when you look at the World Series of Poker, they always hold up the winning hand with the photo with the pile of money. And it's never like aces. It's always like Queen 3. Like. <laughs> It's like junk. Okay. Because it's heads up and, and yeah. it, it's just not poker. There's no there's very little post fox so play. What, what do you do to make it more exciting <clears throat> then? You, you know, can't, it's just the way it goes. Release bees into the room. <laughs> Water rises from the floor. Yeah, like if it was something like that. Yeah, let's do it. Or spikes come down from the ceiling, or a combination of the two. I have like a, a robot war style house bot comes in. <laughs> the house buck comes in <laughs> flame Just, throwing. Know, flame throwers and bustles for arms. I, I would get a little bit more... They have to run at all times on the spot. Something like that, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> Please, if they stop running, they're out. They'd be, it would be over in two minutes with poker players, genuinely. Just, I think all of these would be so much more fun. Um, Sergeant Bash, yeah, exactly. I, I watched one Robot Wars clip on um, TikTok, and now my TikTok is full of Robot Wars. British Robot Wars, American Robot Wars. Most damage done is like some buzzsaw against some guy with a hammer. Oh. It's like, oh, sparks everywhere. It. Yeah, it's it's uh, Big it's fan, great. big fan of the uh, robot, robot fighting scene. The only issue for me is like, I, I want the robot weaponry to be upgraded. Because quite often they're like, it's some huge hammer, it's like, bong, 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 bong. It's like, oh, there's a dent there on Destructor's yeah. front left bumper. You're like, come on, I want to see a robot getting fucking chopped well, in half. any of the ones that have the, the big, like, the big spinners. Spinny discs is a big thing. Like, you know, over the years, um, they really, like, leveled this shit up. And uh, the big the big spinatron, absolute winner's choice. Yeah. That thing just tears people to shreds. Because even if it doesn't necessarily, like, cut through it tosses them it sends and that them really kinetic far. damage oh. what i always wanted was for a robot that just has two big grabby hands just grabs the enemy robot and then very slowly lowers a big cutting blade onto them so you've, like had, that. you've had a couple of robots a bit like that that's a bit like um one of the house robots has that as its vibe the, the grabbers and the um so puzzle. here's my it thought doesn't, it doesn't really do enough it doesn't here's do enough thought, damage a magnet a giant magnet on a pole, and you tag them with the magnet, and you lift them up, oh. and then you have a like in, a oh, giant pair of, of the... pneumatic scissors. <laughs> that instantly sounds amazing. Just cut them up, and they're like just. He's signaling for help. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> and just comes in and scissors him. I like love that. The the original series, Ooh. or maybe first two series of Robot Wars, was the absolute best because it's before there was any meta, no meta. had been established. Yeah, and people were genuinely <laughs> like, "Oh, it's a granddad and his grandson." <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, "Oh, yeah, we made we made a thing. It was just a big ball, and we've got a remote control <laughs> car in, and we're going to give it our best." It's and, got a rake attached to and it. Every just... single vehicle in there basically was like, "It's got a wheelchair motor," whereas nowadays. The it's robots supercharged. cost hundreds of thousands of pounds to make. The University of Blah Blah or like some company. There's like three RQ-type robots. But the originals went, 
they were just bonkers. All yep. bets were off because yep. no one had worked out what was going to win. Yeah. And the challenges were a bit wackier. Sometimes they'd do a race. Sometimes they'd be, <laughs> you have to be like ready a for maze. <laughs> that made it way more fun. Yeah. So good. It kind of got a little oh, serious. Oh, Tom I was Summit's going with X Queen. In. Rav's can't call with 5 4 here. He is bleeding chips here, though. Uh, by off. the way, so people the think Ravs is, is going to win. Nine thousand. So fifty-two people thought Ravs. Fifty-two percent thought Ravs win. Forty-eight, therefore, believing Osi will win. That's simple maths. That's maths. Uh, Twenty-nine thousand in the pot. How has he checked? Oh, he checked, and then she's gone all in. He's thinking. It's a big pot. He can't call here. Oh, uh, they just checked it down. What's happened here, chat? Uh, did he bet and forced her all in? Did he beat I her? I can't see the flop. We can't we see, the, see flop. the flop. I don't know what the cards are. I believe... He won. He won. With a five. He hit a five and she didn't hit anything. <laughs> there you go. Ravs has won the game, I believe. Oh, she's tipped the dealer. Well done. Oh, what a... That's classy. These chips have no, new, no monetary value. But... As a gesture. I'm so sorry. Wow. There you go. I'm sorry that we didn't catch all of that. We were talking about Robo Wars. Uh, which I think people actually were here for. Absolutely. Um, not the poker. They just wanted to hear us talk about fucking nerd shit, which is... So Ravs won. There you go. 52% of you were correct. Let's get Ozzy in here for a quick chat. Uh, yeah. And then we'll talk to our Victor, our the Victor. winner, to whom the spoils go. Wow. Ravs. Honor of three, no four. Six <laughs> fish restaurants. They're gonna fucking love the lobster. The tax man's gonna love this 20k. <laughs> wow. Just <laughs> so good. Uh, what a great, what a great night of poker. <sighs> Tom, I had a wonderful time. We saw some great hands uh, from time to time. Uh, we even watched some of them. We did watch some of them. We did. Um, I see this as a chance genuinely to hang out with you and have a chat. It kind of is of how we use it and then force people... To play poker for our amusement, yes. And uh, people turn up kind of wanting to watch the poker and we just talk about just the fucking nerd shit that we want to talk Whatever about. Whatever we want to talk about, we chat about, yeah. Ooh, shit. Because, I mean, we do hang out and we do chat at the pub and stuff like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's a lot. But it's not the same when we are forced to sit here for six hours or five and a half hours. We'll really rack our brains for things to talk about where we're like, if you... We're a Jedi. You know, it's like just yeah. dog shit stuff that we know we do want to talk about, but we might not have the, the guts to talk yeah. about in another yeah. situation. Oh. Here comes your second place uh, finisher. Take a seat there. Grab, take pop your that on. headset there and wheel towards us here. <clears throat> Keep coming. Keep coming, young lady. <laughs> Um, Tom, no, it's Tom Selleck. Now. Sorry, Tom Mr. Selleck. Selleck. I don't hear anything in my headset. Uh, that is fine. You, we just need the microphone. Oh, mainly. Okay. you can hear us, can't you? Yes. Uh, Mr. Selleck, uh, congratulations. Thank so you. you've come a long way since uh, Magnum PI. Yeah. Where was that set again? It was Miami. It, my Miami. You forgot. <laughs> Tom Selleck's getting a little bit old. Uh, what are your? What are your? What, what was the favorite movie you've ever been in? I shouldn't put you on the spot like this, Mr. Selleck. He's a big celebrity. He's got a lot on his plate. <laughs> uh, Why did you pick Tom Selleck? How do you know about Tom Selleck if you don't know anything he's ever done? Well, no, everybody knows who Tom Selleck is. I just don't know anything he's done. You don't know why Tom Selleck why is. Why is Tom oh, Selleck? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's talk about the poker. Anyway, I'm being mean. Um, no, no, that's fine. I, I, uh, how did you think that went? I honestly did better than I thought it was going to. He did great. 48% of people thought you were going to win it all. Fuck. And then it came down to that final hand. Oh. But you did fantastic to get to the second place in the Yogg's Poker. I'm pretty proud. You beat proud. 17 people, 16 people to wow. get there. That's impressive. And how much poker have you played? I mean, I haven't really played since last year. Not at all, because Kirsty said that she barely played and she had 200 hours in Red Dead Redemption 2 poker. Oh, okay. No, I don't. I don't really... No. I used to play Poker Night the inventory quite a lot, mm. but I that's like the only experience I have of playing. Mm. Okay. Mm. So you have some poker experience, but not enough, you're saying? No. No, I wouldn't say so. Okay, well. But anyway, I enjoyed it thoroughly. We have a giant novelty check here. That's beautiful. $10,000 to Movember. Yes. Sorry, which my is Where you have passed it along. I forgot Tom. to go all in and put my mustache with it. Oh, get oh. the mustache on. There we go. Movember. Uh, 
Ten thousand uh, dollars. Uh, amazing. Uh, that is a huge amount of money. Thank, thank you, Displate. Yes, thank, thank you, you so OZ. much, Displate. This is incredible. Really appreciate it. Hugely generous. And I also had a great evening. And thank you so much. Your well, worthy second place winner, an OZ. Absolute star. Big claps everybody thank, thank you. you so very thank well you. done ozzy well done uh, mr selick sorry mr. Selleck. mr selick well done yeah sorry well mr done. selick also is uh, i'm sorry you missed out on the indiana jones franchise but i think harrison ford was the better choice next Sad year days. i'll be harrison ford mm. oh yes please cannot wait okay cannot thank you wait. very much guys you are Bye. so welcome thank you ozzy thank you just pop the, head the headphones down and we shall bring in our worthy winner yes. the champion of the hour Amazing. Oh, God. Sorry. Uh. I do find it interesting because people do know who Tom Selleck is, but they genuinely can't name things Tom Selleck's been in. Yeah. He's one of those guys. Uh, do we still have celebrities like that? I don't know. But speaking oh. of celebrities, what if we got our triple restaurant owning fish restaurant magnate? Oh, we've developed a lot of rich lore for you over, over the streams. And winner... Holy heck. Ravs, we'll hand you the giant check in a moment. Talk us through your victory. Well, I was thinking about all those people out there that need more delicious fish. Uh, my bobble thing popped off. Hold on. Oh. Thinking about all the people out there that needed more delicious fish. Ravs the riches. Had to keep... You know, I was getting dealt a lot of bad hands, but I got, had to keep my head in the game. Had oh. to keep my head in the game. How close was it at times? Because you, you were right on the edge of... Uh, you were right in the lightning at times there. I really was. I feel like I, that was me in the first game as well. That was me in the, the finals. Uh, I don't know how I got that massive windfall, but... Good poke. I managed to do it. Ozzy pulling that eight blew my mind. Oh. Or the queen, rather. The one oh, that the kept queen them in the game. The river. That oh, was that, was, that was brutal. Yeah, that, that was brutal. One. I thought I had it then and there. First ever two-time poker champion, by the way. Ooh. There you go. First person to ever, ever win this two place. Time. Yogg's Poker Champion. Mm -hmm. and Never happened before. To commemorate mm -hmm. this, uh, $20,000 oh to the God. Special Olympics GP, GB, uh, donated by Displate. Ravs, on. you earned this, buddy. Thank Hold it up. Thank you so very much. Oh, I dropped it. It's on Ravs' behalf. That's a huge... Thank you so donation. much, Displate. Thank this you, is Displate. a massive thank donation. Ravs. Well, thank you, Ravs. It's great your cause. charity and... You know, and they're going to be absolutely delighted with that, as they should be, and I'm sure they are. And uh, Ravs, thank you so much. You've given us a lot of entertainment this evening. Your poker has been phenomenal. Thank you. Love the character. Good luck with the fish mm -hmm. restaurants. Oh, we wish yeah. you all the best. You are buy Ravs fish. Buy it's Ravs extra fish. fresh. That's Ravs fish. Mm -hmm. What's the special this week? Haddock. 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 Oh. We do a good haddock. Oh, Malto Benet. Three pound fish. What? Big fan of Haddock. Thank you, lads. Thank it was you, Ravs. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Display. I'll see you all later. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Oh, well, well, he's well. a busy man. He's got a business. He's got multiple businesses to run. <clears throat> Cheers, Ravs. Thank you. Bye. Not a chair mover. Not a chair mover. You know what? Mover. If you're that kind of magnate, you, oh, you get someone to you move. You have your people chairs. to move your chair. You for have you. people for that. Um, oh, we didn't give him the trophy. Ravs! Ravs! He might be gone. Thank you, chat. Trophy? Yep, sorry. Trophy. Come and grab that, son. Yeah. Well done, sir. Well done. Hell yeah. Amazing. Buy fish. Buy his Just fish. Now without a trophy. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Just Display that in the flagship restaurant. Oh, above. Just right above the bar. Poker winner sells fish in Scotland would be the headline. Look at these. Look at the... There you go. Look at that. 50,000 50, buckaroos raised for charity while we've sat here and talked absolute bollocks for f nearly six hours, Tom. Just fucking nonsense. It's just that easy. Uh, it's wonderful. And it, honestly, I feel blessed to be involved in this ridiculous uh, charade <laughs> where we pretend to cover a poker tournament, but instead we just talk bollocks and somehow people enjoy it and we raise a ton of money. Um, which is what this is all about. This is all for charity. Thank you so much to everyone who is helping. Um, please donate. If you haven't bought the games collection yet, do it. It's it's a thousand bucks worth of games. A You'd be a fool worth of games not for thirty five pounds. You'd be a fool not to. Wow, madness, indeed. Uh, so, 
thank you, thank you so much, Perion. You don't need been to great. thank me. This is this is one of the highlights of my year. I love doing this. Coming and hanging out right here, drinking, oh. watching terrible poker, pr- hailing Gabnor and serving hailing him Gabnor. as best I am able. Um, I, I do think you know what's interesting. Obviously, you guys don't see this behind the scenes. Um, an awful lot of people working on getting things working. Obviously, there were a few technical hitches. We're not a professional poker production 24-7. No. So there's a little bit of, 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 of fussing and mussing. But once we get there, I think that was great fun to watch. I really do. And I think you guys all enjoyed it. I know a lot of people tell me all year, looking forward to the poker stream. Tom, I'm sure you see the same kind of stuff. It's... Um, and it means a lot to us, doesn't it? To know that people enjoy watching. Yeah. <laughs> bollocks for six hours uh, also I think a big a big shout out to the studio staff already some people in chat are thanking them you do not realise the pressure that they are under running around sweat to get this working oh. we sit here and drink alcohol and chat about Star Wars and say can you change our voices to make them so they now <laughs> as they are constantly down there the engines can it take it captain and <laughs> we got more we got more power and we like more power and need somehow, more power somehow they make it happen yeah uh, so i do have one one last little treat for you period before everyone leaves lay it uh, on me baby anyone who's left right now idiots because the Oscast cast have got something a little bit special that's coming up Sometime soon. A little treat. I'm okay. not sure if I can tell you exactly when it's coming out. Okay. But ooh, it could be a little present to be under your Christmas under tree. Under the Christmas sometime tree. Soon. The Christmas tree of your mind. Uh and so it's just a little just a little something that we've been working on. Um so Shall we sign off and then we'll go to the surprise? Is that the deal? The treat? I uh, think sorry? Sure, okay. So thank you so much. To you, Perion. Uh, mate, I love to doing this. You all, know I do. All I know of I our do. contestants, uh, thank you to all of you for watching. Um, everyone who's donated. Without you, none of this. Some phenomenal possible. donations. Thank um, you to Display for donating all that money as well. And, yeah, all the players are super sporting about, it, aren't they? They, they, we, they, we, they know we're going to make fun of them, and they still turn oh. up year after year. God bless them. God bless them, Governor. God bless them. God bless them, everyone. Them, everyone. Magic they are. Uh, so yeah, Absolutely. I guess I guess we'll be back next year uh, uh, with more poker here at the Jingle Jam. So thank you for joining us, and uh, enjoy Tom's surprise. See you next time. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! My surprise.